We are here at the MTS Arena in Belgrade, Serbia, to bring you the HLTV Awards presented by One X Bet, and I'm joined by Milan and Zvonimir. It's great that I've oh learned how to God. say your Zvonimir, name. Let's go. You're very brave tonight. Didn't I go for the MTS Dvorana, but you're going for Zvonimir and Milan, so double thumbs up. I was for me told right it's like Gorana. Like Gorana. Yeah, but, but it's like Guarana, yeah. but you just swap it with a D. So I just, I just went with Arena, uh, yeah. and we're going to be lighting up the theater very shortly. There he is, Prof, uh, the man, uh, the myth, the legend. Uh, look, uh, you, you, you've been a bit of a busy boy around here. I mean, someone has to, I have to say, uh, great team. Great team all around. You guys helping what are we everyone. Doing? <laughs> well, uh, you're just been you're showing out. up. You're showing up. You're bringing <laughs> the energy. You're beautiful. You know that's that's what we need. I wore proper shoes for you this time. You are putting in. I've that even effort. put on some proper shoes. I do have my ankles out for everybody at home, but uh, I have put on my, my proper shoes. And I'm even using the wristband as a as, as a, a pocket square. Oh. You see, look at it, it's shiny. I don't know if you should do that. You know, you're giving away the wristband, but it's but it's also pretty hard to I've got copy. A fix, out, so. Look, I got a big like, loopy thing going. I didn't do this very well, did I? My hair, my hair looks alright though. But I have to say, everything looks very beautiful. The cameras look beautiful. Looks great. Makeup looks beautiful. <laughs> Here and there. It's pretty good. And uh, yeah. Excited. Are you excited? I think this is great. Look, this is the thing, right? For people who are just joining us right now, this is the, the soft open to the show. We've got everybody behind us starting to come on in, the red carpet lighting up. Uh, we're going to be chilling here awkwardly in between all of it uh, with hopefully not too many people paying attention because this is for you at home. So uh, yeah. the people at home are interested in getting involved in the conversation. Yeah. Make the, some threads about six or on the forums, please. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the red carpet is there just behind us. Obviously, right now, there's no one there, but uh, Vitality is the next limo coming up. So we should okay. see Zaiwu and these guys. Rolling on the red carpet very soon, which is going to be kind of nice to see uh, see Zaiwu suited up. Uh, we also saw on Twitter that the Apex got his luggage lost. So what's he going to rock up in? Apparently, he's invoicing Vitality for a new new suit. He should just <laughs> rock up in a Vitality jersey. Look, look, he said like it's too much to pay 500 euros for a new suit and shoes. I'm like. I feel like he, he just won a the major. Lot. Yeah. We saw the sticker money. We saw, he posted about <laughs> exactly. it. Exactly. Pocket watching Milan striker, you know. <laughs> well, and we didn't even report on the champions capsule numbers. Who yeah. knows how much that was, man? Like Damn. maybe that was a few million more. Like what is he talking about? That's something to keep in mind. Too. Now in front of us uh, on the table, striker, we do have some lovely awards. Uh, we're going to be giving away the community awards here on the couch segment. That's going to yeah. be kicking off at seven. Uh, so we're going to be, you know, a little bit light and fluffy until then. We have uh, a man with a plan around the place, Parla. He'll be bringing all the action from the red carpet, hopefully grabbing some interviews with some of the familiar faces. We also have some top 20 medals there, Striker, so we're hoping to you know, see, see a couple players. Yeah, I mean, we have uh, in total at least uh, the four players up to the point that we've announced them now. We have four players uh, sure. uh, ready with, <laughs> with the medals. We have all the medals ready, of course, for, for every single player. But you know, we God. just wanted to yeah, we just wanted to present these. Hopefully, you know, as people are rolling in, like there's going to be Sphinx you know, coming in. He might be the first one that we get on the couch, hopefully. Uh, we can hand over the medal, you know, and just uh, give them... If he wants to join us. If he wants to if join us. If he wants to join uh, We can hopefully hand over something. We also have something very cool. I'm hoping that we can show uh, the, the the special kind of gift we gave. We will yeah. be giving to every single player on top of these these medals. You know, there are some cool things that, that, that some cool perks that people get with their top 20 placements. So which, I'm hoping we can get the show which off Which is quite that. nice. And uh, obviously, we discussed on the last episode of HTV Confirmed, there's been some controversial placements, probably a couple <laughs> more since. Uh, we're down to the to the final three tonight, which will be uh, announced here as we, we head through the show. Yeah. And that's once we head inside, where we're going to have uh, Maniac, I'm sure, in a tuxedo yet again. And uh, Freya will be joining him this time. We had Freya back when we did this the first time in person. That was uh, in Copenhagen. I think we had Lucas to the rescue back then with the yeah, production, yeah. if you remember yeah, yeah. rightly. I'll, uh, th that's the kind of, we're going out of COVID. Everything yes. was still kind of online. We didn't get anyone to be there. Actually, Kadian showed up. He picked up the, the right. highlights of the year. But other than that, like everyone was calling in and we've had this call with like Zaiwu Simple and Nico at the time who were the top three. I know everything kind of went to went to hell. Everything yes. was on fire. No one could hear us. I can say some one of the players was visibly frustrated <laughs> by the way. Uh, There's a drone in here but by you the know way. Uh, maybe maybe we hear from him uh, again in a similar fashion. We'll see. With frustration? Yeah not with frustration <laughs> but we saw Simple put out the tweet earlier about ah. the surprise that's coming uh, later in the show. If this crashes into me, I will there's be very a, like, sad. There's the, that's that's that feels <laughs> like uh, you can only do that in Serbia, I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we are here, so we can have a drone inside. Yeah, uh, exactly. Yeah, the, no, look, uh, it, it's been, I've never been to, to Serbia before. This is my first time, which yeah. seems quite surprising. Janko's always like, you should come, you should come. I haven't even seen Janko yeah. yet. So, yeah, uh, I guess he's not paying you enough to bring you, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just, uh, my, my, I've never crossed paths before, but I went for a lengthy walk in the cold the other day, tried not to slip on the ice and snow. 
Uh, from what I've seen, which isn't a whole lot, because we've only been here for what? No. One, e two, two evenings now? Yeah. Um, but uh, it seems like a nice place, so uh, hopefully my, my, I can become back. You basically speak the language. Kind of, yeah. It really, it's pretty helpful, I would say, always to uh, communicate with the locals more fluently <laughs> and smoothly. Uh, it also comes with some uh, disadvantages, because like last night in the bar, I just wanted to get some food, you know? But there's all of these, I would say, rowdy casters oh, and talent, no. you know? Really? And as I walked in and I speak the language, the guy automatically assumes I'm the guy to like sort everyone out. It's like, oh, they can't be doing this. They need to go out, you know? All uh, of the, I'm like, I, I, I mean, I know them, <laughs> but I'm not with them. I'm, I'm, I'm my own person, you know? Are you going to name some names here? <laughs> I, will, uh, I will say Paula was, was there. Paula really? was there. Okay. I'm not going to say he was the ringleader. But, but I'm not going to say he wasn't the ringleader. Okay, <laughs> all right. So you can make up it what you want. I saw poor Dinko had some flight complications yes, today yeah. and was unable to make it, so we won't be getting uh, little little Dinko here, which is unfortunate. We always like to see the tall lad around. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I did bring a box of goodies, Prof. We had to do a check-in at the hotel. Yes. And uh, you gave a box of goodies. Now, I want to see what's inside. I haven't opened it. Did you check it. in? I did check in. That's how I got my wristband. And she, she told me my seat, Yeah. Uh, which is 11, row 11, Seat nine, maybe. If somebody okay. wants to take yeah, my seat, giving out so, personal uh, information here. This is this is the box. This is the box that everybody who's come to the uh, to the event has been getting. And I don't know how I'm going to fix the fit the box in my suitcase, uh, but I would like to set the box home with me. It's mm -hmm. a nice box. You uh, can actually un unbox it, make it unbox flat, the you know? box. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, so opening it up, we have a, a nice little a, a nice little note here. Uh, so you, you know, this uh, just says hi to everybody. That's not so much fun. Uh, I, a HLTV shirt, which I will say, I did see Naphany sporting this. Yes, he was oh. sporting this under his blazer. Yeah, uh, now at the on the red carpet. I didn't see that. It's okay. actually really that's good. Cool. It's really good. That's very cool. So that's you uh, know, that's a way way to get around the whole like suit and tie thing. Yes. You know, like okay, if I don't do that, I, at least I'll bring in some, some HLTV, HLTV shirts. Merch, you, you can't know. you can't turn them down, right? <laughs> yeah. So that's that's pretty amazing. Now uh, this strike. You were having a bit of an issue before with your glasses. Uh, I believe this is a glasses cleaner, if you would it's like actually, to. to it's actually it. like a monitor wipe. Oh. But it can work for this. It can for work sure. for both. There's All no right. way it doesn't work we're, for this. We're doubling, right now, up. we're doubling up. Gamers, Very we nice. use monitors. Oftentimes they're dusty. Maybe it gets in the way of like seeing a guy in dark on, I don't know, Hold Inferno. up. Visibility is much better now, Prof. In yeah, CS2. you never know. Yeah. So, <laughs> But it's nice, like gold embroidery and everything. This is nice. Yeah, okay. I could, that could be a pocket square, I suppose. Maybe, maybe. Uh, what else we got in here? Now, they, there's different types of apple, well, not uh, fruit juice that you've given fruit here. Fruit juices, uh, small fruit juices. One of them has grapes on it, the other pear, and uh, what, 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 what type of fruit would you say that is, Striker? That is. That. I don't know what that is. What is that? <laughs> it's I don't a know citrus fruit of some kind. It looks like a citrus. Ah, I think this is uh, a quint. A quince? quince? Ah. This would be a quince. This is a very classic rakia here. Ah. Uh, oh, is that rakia? Yes. Okay. Yes. This is not fruit juice. Which is, okay. It's, this, a, lo it's a local this delicacy. This is definitely not for kids. Okay. That's for alcohol consumed responsibly. All right. Let's uh, put this one back in the box. And I believe this one here, because I saw on Shocks, he put a story up. Uh, oh, wait, it's, there's, hold up. It's, these are chocolates. I, I'm, I'm not going to struggle on the camera in front of everybody trying to open it's chocolate. not a good idea. But they're chocolates. So uh, was it, did you do this as well? Did you plan the box? I was involved. It okay. wasn't like completely my response. But I also did I carry the box yesterday, like two days before ago. So, you know. I can imagine which part of the box you had, a bit, you had the biggest part. Was part it the rack <laughs> No, actually we had a local assistant that, oh. uh, yeah, that, that helped out with that. So it was okay. pretty good, pretty All good. Right. All right. Well, that's oh, I see the, the, the Frenchies have just rolled in. The Frenchies. The Frenchies. <laughs> Some of the baguettes known. have arrived. This NBK and Smiths are there. Oh, look, yeah, there's lots of hands being shaken here and all that good stuff. Didn't uh, they win the TWC in Serbia, like in 2015? Yeah. yeah. The, some of the so. Frenchies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apex French tweeted about that, didn't he? Yeah. 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 yeah, he, yeah he was that. asking if it was this, this venue, right? But it wasn't, it wasn't actually this venue, or somebody was asking if it was this venue. It wasn't actually this venue, but it was somewhere else, apparently. Okay. But yeah, yeah. I don't remember the lineup of that team, but, uh, but it was some combination of the guys that are here, for sure. Almost a decade ago. Yeah. Uh, but we've been doing the, well, I say we, HRTV have been doing this uh, for 11 years as far as CSGO and, uh, well, now CS2. But uh, you know what? I've got some good news. We can go check out what Parla's up to. Let's see. Parla, where you at? Thank you, Chad. I've got our first guest of the evening. Dennis, come in here. Everybody, it's seized. How are you doing, brother? I'm good, you? Fantastic. The energy in here is incredible. We didn't have you in Stockholm no, last no. year. No, what no. are your first impressions of the HLTV Award Show 2023? Uh, it's uh, so huge because a lot of gamers, uh, such a beautiful, uh, I don't know, it's uh, really huge. And uh, I'm looking forward to the show. 
Look, I have to do, since we're on a proper red carpet here, see, I've got to do that, you know, award show thing where I say, who are you wearing? Can we talk about the outfit? It's like uh, from Beijing, you know, of my friends last time, so nothing new. Looking absolutely swagged out. Who did you come here with today? You with your team? Any, anyone from the family? Uh, I come here with my team. We're like, not all of them, but uh, some players, management, stuff, you know. Is there anything that you're looking forward to the most? Any of the awards, or are you just looking forward to seeing all of these people and connecting? Uh, I miss a lot of uh, guys and girls here, so long time no see, and that's uh, what I'm excited for, it's uh, to talk with them, see them like you, like long time, so that's what I'm exciting for. Yeah, see, I think we are all super excited to hang out, catch up, and that is the plan. Is there anything else you'd like to say to everybody watching? Enjoy, guys, it's going to be great. Nice, it is going to be great. Uh, that's good. We see C's. Uh, nine, nine Pandas fame. Am I getting that right? Is he, oh, yeah. He's in the Nine Pandas. Yeah. But yeah, we've got a bunch of teams here, obviously. You mentioned I mean, Vitalik. Navi fame. Maybe Navi fame. <laughs> well, he's in Nine Pandas now. He's here with a team. I mean, but well, actually, his you fame. couldn't hear him. But <laughs> okay. I could. Okay. He, 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 who's he's wearing? Uh, that was one of the questions Parla asked. Yeah. Uh, we didn't really get an answer to that. No. No. So. He's wearing his MVP. He got his MVP. Yeah, that's he, quite nice. An old MVP that he was. You know, there are some players that really want that. He, I'm not, you know, a lot of people undermine C's, call him a decoy and all of these things, but he, at, at one point, he was the star rifler of Navi. With yeah. Guardian, these two guys were like f rifling, hopping, they're destroying everyone. I'm not going to... There's gonna, no swearing in a bow you know what? tie. What are you going to do, fire me? <laughs> <laughs> well, we could He's try. Martin's here. around here somewhere. Saw Martin coming in, looking dapper as usual. But uh, yeah, we've got Vitality here, Cloud9 are here, G2, Spirit, uh, Nigma Galaxy, right? That's just to name a couple of the teams. Yeah. Obviously, you're mentioning some of the talent. Uh, Henry G's here, Machine's here. We're on the same flight, me and Alex. That makes sense. We live in the same place. Uh, yeah, just uh, we got Anomaly, but with Nade King, a bunch of people to do with uh, yeah. all the different community awards that we have coming. Then we've got the panel awards, and then we've got the HLTV awards. So a lot of good stuff to come this evening. Uh, how's the Champagne? It's actually, actually really good. I, I don't know, I like usually I'm not any. really vibing with these sparkly wines Jeez. and stuff like that. Oh, bugger. I, don't, I still technically have something. You're not going to cheer with me? I can't reach, Prof. And I hopefully didn't mess up the envelope order because we're going to need that for later. Uh, but hold up. Very nice. It's really Very good. Nice. It's really good. Really I was nice. just talking, yeah. I don't know who I was talking to at the dinner that we had the first day. Okay. No one really likes champagne, you know? People just have champagne for the vibes, not the taste. But like, I could actually drink a bunch of yeah. this. Isn't yeah. that like, Maybe I will. That tends to be like alcohol in the beginning, you know? It's, a, it's something yeah. you, you, grow, no, to, you, you grow to love. Yeah, well, yeah. this is all right. This is nice. It's nice Maybe we should life. grab someone to join us for a bit. What do you think? Well, that's the thing. We, not we, Freya. Freya's going to be busy uh, in a while. Who would you like to get? That's one of the big questions, Prof. Because we, we had a bunch of names. I thought we could get I'm Man yeah. here to be a Here's your best friend right <laughs> here. Here's the Jonas Gunderson. Yeah. Oh, we got, how, how's, yeah, what's going on? Hey, we're, we're, we're live right now. It's having a great, we could get Calcon. Of, uh, uh, you know what we're missing? The handheld mics. That is true. We should get that handheld mic so we could get so someone on, So we can't on, get actually. anybody, but that's, that's good. See, we're learning as we go here. Now, it, it is kind of cute to see uh, your nemesis of a uh, former NIP general manager fame. We're not, we're not he's, like still, he's still an IP. He's still in an IP. To be not fair. general manager though, so it doesn't yeah. it doesn't count. He's not anymore. my nemesis anymore. We travel next to each other in business class, and I help make his bed. Ah. So and we talk. Ooh. Humble brag know. right there. It's a <laughs> <laughs> After you figure out you both have money, <laughs> now you like each other. You have well, more in yeah, common. You, you try and get the upgrade on the way in. You see if you can get it cheap. That's what you're aiming for. You don't. You want to see if you can get in. You want to see if you can get in. We've got. Uh, I can see Frederick and uh, Andrew from Blast over there hanging out. So. Uh, some representatives from uh, a TO. I got Heku. She's doing. Heku's doing some interviews. With, is that with that with Maniac? Could be with Maniac. Over there. yeah. There's just people all over the shop around here. But it is what? filling yeah. up quite nicely. Tell me, uh, you're nominated. Not this even is, nominated. It is awkward, isn't it? You're a finalist. It's a little bit awkward. I feel like you're you're surprised about the whole thing, right? Well, uh, I look. When I saw the field for it happening, I was like, "I'm going to stay out of this. I don't want to. I don't want to get involved in this here because I, you know, I don't. I, I'm not going to. I'm not going to try and sway yeah. anything. I didn't do any tweets. You check the receipts. There was nothing. There was no yeah, Instagram nothing stories. Happened. Nothing. There was nothing going. But it is interesting to see. So Banks and Scrawny, they're both yeah. here. Uh, they're in the. Ca there's Trace. Trace was uh, the. Can I, uh, can I change the topic now, or do you still want to talk about yeah. it? <laughs> no, but it's uh, look. The, the community awards are interesting, right? Because that is all the people at home, everybody probably watching right now, all the people using the forums, yeah. all those lovely forum users that we have out there. Uh, but that, those are the people who voted, right? That, that's exactly the contribution. Which is four awards that we have. We've got uh, the event of the year, content creator of the year, uh, streamer of the year, and then the worst term 
talent, talent of the year. Talent of the year. Who said that? Who said that we should do like talent every time Mon. we talk about that talent? That was Mon <laughs> when we were chatting to him yesterday. But it's very nice and short, so yeah. Clowns. Clowns. clowns, juggling clowns. There you go. The enter, enter, well, not even entertainment. What do we do? You're just talking to a Talkers. mic, just like we are right now. You exactly. are, yes. Do you know I, Harry and Hugo? I feel that they got snubbed, prof. Yeah, I think well, that, they got snubbed. Uh, that is that is a part of it. Oh, we're getting, like, getting some live feeds from the from the red carpet. That's really nice. Don't we're be getting... changing the topic. I want to do justice to me to me boys, Look, Harry was, and Hugo. The, we we made the criteria. Things changed. They didn't get hired. You know how it is. It's rough <laughs> in the in the environment here. You know, they did you ten s- weeks of pro league, bro. Yeah, <laughs> that's the problem. That, <laughs> that is the problem. problem. <laughs> that is the problem. Did that bring their stock down? Yeah, I mean, it's just one event, right? So justice for Harry and Hugo. Maybe you know, maybe we're not the SL shills after all. You oh know. man, we got to get them involved. There's Dennis is here, Spitty's here. <laughs> Hugo is here as well, I think. Hugo, Mr. Byron did come. Yeah, uh, he has come to have a word to you though about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So look, that that'll be going down a little bit later, but we should be able to see if we can grab some. Here we go. There we go. Oh, Here we go. We got some mics. This one here. We got one handheld. We got two handhelds. Well, so we, we can, can do two. Them. I think we don't have to have any more than, than that for now. And yeah. 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 Beautiful. So what's the time? We're at quarter past six. Right. Well, actually, there's a timer on the screen. We're at uh, 16 past six. We're waiting for uh, potentially some of the Vitality gentlemen to arrive because we wanted yeah. to see if we could get Spinks up here, as you mentioned. Yeah, that would be great. Before. But maybe we can get somebody else. Let's uh, we're, we're having a look. See who's ticking past. If I had Twitch chat, we could see who everybody at home wanted to talk to. Not out here. Is, is he vlogging right now? It's not vlogging. I probably there's a bunch of people, like some of the the other people, the other uh, content creators as well. Some of them had like a camera on and yeah. stuff. Like, Anomaly so. definitely did. Yeah, it's, well, he yeah, doesn't yeah, show yeah, his face sure. anywhere, does he? Anomaly. Yeah. Keeping it keeping it quite hidden. And he's still doing the same, up to the same tricks. Yeah. There's man, I'm still. I keep getting surprised. I heard the number that is like 500 people going to be here, and I'm like. But there cannot be like there actually be 500. Keep, there's like new and newer people coming in, and I'm like, okay, I didn't, I haven't seen the, this guy in the yeah. last two days, or what, and like everything. I like think that, I so. also didn't think it's that much until I actually started doing the seating plan, ah. and then I started looking at how big it is on the in the actual arena. I'm like, ah, oh, maybe you should do less people. You Why know? didn't you seat <laughs> me with you guys? I don't know. I seated you with your besties. Yeah, but yeah. I'm just you didn't even ask me. No, I mean, imagine asking 500 people who they want to be sat next to. Well, that thought, would be a nightmare. Yeah, maybe I could be the exception to the rule, but obviously not. That wasn't to be the case. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, you got me sitting with Machine and Henry and, yeah. and all, the, all the other talent. Talent. <laughs> talent. 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 And, and, you know, someone needs to keep uh, Stana in check. Well, so that's, where is Trace? I wanted to get him up I here. think the, the casters are coming soon in, like, one of the, l- one of the latest limos. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but maybe... Uh, I think the Vitality one is supposed to arrive in a few minutes, so maybe that's we can... That's what we're we can, waiting on. And then, yeah. the then the G2, are, G2 are coming straight after that. I think that's the next two lim- limos that are going to be gonna coming in. Are we going to sit and so. talk to them about the JKS situation? Uh, you mean the fact that he didn't make it all, uh, onto the list, or what is the why, JKS situation? You know, why is he being <laughs> robbed here? Right? No, we'll talk about that a little, little bit later. Do. But uh, we do have, look, I, I have a list here of the, uh, the announcers for the awards yeah. that okay, we have yeah. uh, going on. So this is some of the people that you'll see tonight. Adren, uh, not American Adren, Kazakhstani Adren, oh, of yes. our major MVP fame. Edward, congratulations to Edward. We already co- co- covered this one, but uh, having a kid. Element, an old school legend. Yeah. Yeah. A couple of them I'm excited around. about that one because it's just such a throwback and it's like somebody I know from legend, you know, but I didn't actually get to watch because I got into the game slightly too late for him. Okay. I think he got out like a year before I started watching. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about him. All the Frenchies that you mentioned. Yes. Uh, we've got uh, Shock Smith, uh, Kenny S is here, MBK, Get Right, uh, Miss Harvey, Pasha Biceps. Machine's going to be uh, giving out an award. Standing in for Taco. Standing in for Taco. Who surprisingly couldn't make it. Well, they're knocked out. That was kind of funny. That was, that was kind of <laughs> karma. I have to Come say, that's kind of karma. Come on. They were no. doing another last dance. Oh, they wow. were dancing again. It didn't really uh, last for long. That, this, well, it was a very a, short song, I would say. We've got the open qualifiers going on right now. I don't know how much you've been able to keep up with that business. Nah, I mean, I, was just, uh, I just saw the Kassad tweet. Kind of sad for him. I saw your tweet, the Kassad. Well, kind of happy about that. That was kind of funny. <laughs> Another not lie. event that Bleed aren't checking into. Yeah, that's yeah, a little, I yeah. mean, Well, he was meant to be giving an award with Yanko as that's well. That's true. I think that would be that would have been a nice vibe, you know, the two of them, yeah. kind of local and all of that, to give a, kind of a welcome to Serbia. But it is what it is. But now Yanko can take some jabs at Kasab without Kasab being here, and there'll yes. be no banter back. So that that could be a bit of fun going on there. Yeah. I uh, think we just saw Nigma passing passing by. That, yeah. was, that was the. The, the team, right? I wouldn't um, mind going and sprawling out there. Look at, oh, Parler's, Parler's still chilling. He's looking for some people. So we're going to have to check back in with him It would be nice to see uh, what he's up, I'm not going to lie. But um, other than that, 
What are you most excited about for the for the show? I wanted to get a Twitch poll going if they like my ankles or not, if they prefer that I was wearing longer <laughs> I mean, you, socks. They, they're used to your knees, so now yes. they're getting a little bit down lower, so I don't know what that means exactly. Yeah, but they are. Well, uh, you know, just showing off. What, what was the question, sorry, Prof? What, what award are you most excited about? Uh, other than talent of the year. <laughs> yeah. Uh, other than that one. Um, Cool. I like. I think some of the panel awards are interesting, right? Because those are voted on primarily by players. Obviously, there's some other like pundits and analyst casters, that kind of stuff involved. A couple people from HLTV involved in that voting process as well. Uh, but those tend to be the ones that you know, like play. Your peers voting for you is is kind of a big deal. So some of those panel awards. I think a few of them though have to be quite obvious. Like if there's some of them that aren't the result that I think, I'll be like, well, how the hell yeah. did this? Like in-game leader of the year, surely a no-brainer. Surely a no-brainer. Well, the thing is, like, those are, especially that one and, like, coach are probably the most subjective ones because that's not, like, things that can come across in numbers and you can't really check a lot of that because, like, okay. you don't know who's making what calls, like, how much they're, you can only go by of, like, what people are talking about them and how much they're, are like, you, putting it out there and stuff like that. Are you ahead so of this already, Striker? No, I'm just saying, like, that's, okay. like, that's the, like, the most subjective ones. So, like, that, okay. for me, for example, like, when I was voting on that, like, that's... Like, I can only go off of what people tell me or what I can kind of see when I'm at events, you know, listening to these people and stuff like that, you know. The you don't really have one, any data. The coaching one was hard, right? The Swanee obviously brought, was brought up in a conversation over there. Uh, look, people enjoy being on the stream. Uh, the, the coaching one was one that was brought up on Twitter, especially as far as Swanee was concerned, right? Mm -hmm. um, but that's one where you don't really hear the players talking about Swanee a lot, right? You, yeah. don't, you don't get too much. So I think it was interesting to see who was, it's Sycron, Saw, and Zonic, right? Mm -hmm. And yes. uh, those are the three who made it uh, the final list, uh, or the finalists. Ha <laughs> ha, that was unintentional. That was a good one. Prof, you yeah. missed it. You missed uh, my joke. Maybe we should look at the top 30. Oh, you, uh, you want to do that now? Yeah. I guess we mm, could. We can do yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, why not? Well, if we got it ready and ready to go. Striker, this is where we, we turn to you. <laughs> and, uh, we, we ask some big questions here. I thought, I thought, you know, you were just going to bring up the whole JKS situation again. I was like, what happened no, to that? No, look, this is one, obviously, you know, uh, you, you can explain it away. But uh, yeah, sure. this, this is where the, the top 30 that we've got right here. A lot of people are interested in who didn't make the top 20. And uh, I think the one that really just blows my mind immediately is Torji yeah. at 21. I mean, to be honest, like, I don't know why that is, why I had that, like, preconception, but, like, when I looked at the year's end and I looked at his numbers, I'm like, holy shit, they, he has a case. Like, there's there's a reasonable case where he has to, where he sh could be in the top 20, just barely missed out, you know, and this was also along with some of the other people that a lot of people, like, when I was looking at the prediction games and stuff like that, you know, a lot of people had, like, an Elige there, a lot of people had Rain there. Uh, I think Exertion also, Electronic were also a couple people that were somewhere on the lower end of most people's predictions, or at least in a lot of people's predictions. So I think those are, like, un unsurprisingly the ones that, that were just below that top 20, you know, those just barely didn't make it. Of course, it's always rough when you're not in the top 20. That's always where, like, mo all of the hoopla is, uh, uh, is, you know, so it's, like, it's kind of tough that... Uh, that they, they are the ones who are just outside of that. But that's why we want to give them a little bit of a nod here, just to show them, okay, okay even if they didn't make the top 20, they were still among the best players of the year. Uh, I mean, you saw also, like, one of the other players. I mean, we... SDY is like, on the list. Exactly. I was going to mention him. I think he's probably the biggest uh, kind of... I, don't, I wouldn't necessarily call it, like, a recovery story or anything like that. But, you know, from his Navi times, like, you could... People obviously didn't necessarily give him a lot of credit for that time and like for, for what he contributed to their win at the spring final and, and, and all that stuff. And then he comes back to like a yeah. team that he's leading. He's the main character in, you know, if you want to say. And then we'll, he's almost the top 20 we'll player. We'll come back to this because I've been told we got Pala standing by, uh, hopefully to have a bit of a chit chat with someone. I'm here with a legend of the game. It's NBK. Nathan, how are you doing? It's been too long. Yeah, it's been very long, but super, super thankful to be here. It's, it's an amazing event put together by HLTV, so really looking forward to it, yeah. I don't think I saw you at last year's, right? You weren't there? No, nope, wasn't there last year. Okay, so same as seized. Um, your first impressions, please, of uh, HLTV award show. I mean, you go from, like, gamers or, like, 14 jerseys everywhere, and then you have everybody suited up and, like, really, like, dressing very well and stuff. Really a, a drastic change in dynamic. But, I mean, it's, it's very cool to see everybody. It's very cool to be a part of that. And so, uh, yeah, I, again, I think it's going to be an excellent evening. And uh, it, it's super cool seeing everybody. What is going on with that drone? Have you seen that mini drone that's been flying around? Look, yeah, I've seen it. It's scary at times, but uh, yeah, I don't know what's happening. Uh, NBK, anything that you're particularly looking forward to beyond just connecting with everybody and, and having some good chats? Um, well, I think the fact that every year is getting better and better, um, especially looking forward to the future when it comes down to that. And uh, outside of it, yeah, it's, um, I think some awards are kind of expected in a way. 
but I'm also looking forward to uh, really rewarding everybody that is a part of the community when it comes down to Counter-Strike. And, uh, and I'm sure everybody is going to be uh, very glad about the person that are nominated and voted for and that kind of stuff. So good to celebrate Counter-Strike and all that has come with it. I would also like to celebrate this outfit. You're looking absolutely swagged out. Anything special going on here? <laughs> Nothing at all. I'm not a big guy when it comes down to this. So it's just, uh, I take the things that kind of look good and then I was like, yeah, you know what, just, let's just rock it and then we see. <laughs> I've just said, you know, since we have the red carpet, I have to ask the classic, like, glamour question, right? But Nathan, anything else that you'd like to say to everybody at home before I let you go? Uh, I don't know. May CS live forever because uh, it's such an amazing game. It's an amazing community. And uh, yeah, always thankful for anything that happens around it. So looking forward to the future and anything that's going to happen. Myself also, Chad, Zvone, and Stryker, back to you. Oh, that's a nice message. Here he is. Uh, we got we got oh, Mr. Kenny S right here taking a little bit of a look at some of the medals. Mm -hmm. Kenny, how you doing, mate? You're looking you're, great. No, you look amazing. Oh. Look at this beard. What happened to you? Uh, I went back to Australia and turned into a lumberjack. So uh, yeah, you know sense. these things happen. Yeah, get get stuck in, mate. The champagne. It's uh, it's a. Is this, is this it French champagne? This is. I have no clue. No, I don't know. Uh, I, had, I, had, I had a champagne in the car. Yeah. That was really really sweet. Too sweet. Too sweet. Not like a good champagne, no. to be honest. But I stepped that up. I think it's I think it's great that it's uh, very sweet. Let us know how this up. one is, Kenny. Give us a taste. From the expert. Oh yes, yes, Kenny, yes. Mm, this one is much better. Okay, there you okay, go. Let's go. go. You guys, you guys, you guys saved approval. the best champagne, right? Let's let's go. Go. Let's go. How was the limo ride? That was short but good. Sure, but yeah, yeah. well the hotel's not far away. <laughs> That's the thing. No. It's like five, ten minutes down the road, mate. But uh, good of you to join us this evening. You're here handing out an award. Yes. How are you feeling about that? Well, surprised at first. Okay. I thought I would be uh, giving away the Oprah uh, Award. Right, Smith took that away from you. What's happening? That's not an issue. I mean, uh, going, giving away the player is, is, the, is the best. Yeah, true. That's yeah. true. That is a very good point. That's yeah. a very good point. Now, uh, I want to ask you a question. Uh, we, got a, we got a Frenchman on one of the panel awards this evening. Apex for in-game leader of the year. Yeah. Now, uh, you know Apex quite well. Do you ever think that he would be nominated for in-game leader of the year? Uh, first of all, I'm really proud of him because he's, he's always been a really hardworking guy, which is probably the main quality of an in-game leader. Uh, throughout the years, he kind of learned to um, deal with himself much better. Okay. Emotionally? Which, emotionally, which led him to be a great captain. Um, myself, I always say that he, he, was, he was always able to take the best out of myself in game, which is also replicating with Zaiwu right now. Um, so that's a big strength as a player. Um, so, yeah, I mean, um, I, 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 you can't predict the future, definitely not. Uh, but at the end of the day, I'm not that surprised. I'm not that surprised. He's a really versatile player, hardworking, really smart player as well. I, uh, he had all the quality since day one to, to be a great game leader. Okay, all right. Well, uh, he's nominated alongside of Carrigan and Snappy. Do you think he's going to win? I think he's going to win. All right, all right. Well, that's nice to hear, Kenny. Now, look, uh, we got Parla. Are you a fan of Parla? Yeah, yeah, no yeah. Parla, yeah. Well, he's standing by on the red carpet. We're going to throw it over to him, and I'll let you get back to your evening with your girlfriend. Thanks for joining us. Yes, thank you. Thanks we'll for see the you later. Campaign. Yeah, take it with you. I'll take it with <laughs> Let's you. Let's go. I'll take, I'll take two with me. Yeah. I'll take two with me. <laughs> <laughs> From one Frenchman on the couch to another Frenchman on the red carpet. Everybody, we have an absolute G. Shocks. Richard, pleasure to see you, mate. I'm really happy to be there. Nice to meet you. It's been some time, you know. Why has it been so long? I feel like we we're always at different things. It's nice to finally connect. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's maybe because right now I don't have a team, you know, so it's harder for me to find events. But honestly, I'm really proud to be there and just seeing all these people just for the passion of yes. I think it's, we're going to have an amazing time. It's quite funny that this is not on purpose, but so far we've spoken to Seized and MBK and yourself also like them. You weren't at last year's event. So can I ask what your initial impressions are of the HLTV award show? Uh, actually insane. Uh, I feel just uh, everyone looking like really fresh, you know, and suit up. It's, it, it's kind of funny because normally we see each other in jersey, in jogs or whatever. Uh, and I think it's really nice to have like a proper, uh, some proper days and a proper evening to actually like enjoy CS and to show everything that uh, I've been uh, the greatest for the last year. And uh, I mean, everyone deserves it and it just makes uh, CS to another level. Richard, you've been involved in the scene for so long and going on from what you just mentioned, how important is it to have an event like this that celebrates everything Counter-Strike? It celebrates the prior year, but overall it's just a celebration of this eSport that we know and love. Uh, I feel like, you know, uh, I would love uh, the younger Shucks uh, 20 years ago to see an event like that uh, when CS was not that much popular, video games were not that much popular and see where we are right now and I think it's just, uh, it's just magic. 
Yeah, it is magic. Is it crazy to think about how things were when you were a younger player compared to now and how much things have developed in the scene? Oh, that's crazy. I mean, like a lot, you know, like back then, 20 years ago, we were going to events and we were just playing under the table. Uh, we didn't have the money for the hotel. When we were winning a tournament, we were maybe winning like uh, a computer, but you know, like just the computer itself, like that is empty, you know, so <laughs> nothing much. And uh, right now, uh, I mean, it's popular. Uh, you know, we have a lot of fans, a lot of viewers who can play in front of, in stadium, in front of a lot of people. So, I mean, it's really big. It's starting to get like a real sport. That's why we call it eSports, right? Hey, hey, hey. Captain of Youth, thank you. <laughs> um, and that's just really fun and cool. Richard, always a pleasure to see you, bro. Is there anything else that you'd like to say to everybody watching at home? Uh, I hope you're going to have a fun time and I hope you're going to uh, like the show as we're probably going to like it, right? And uh, I mean, uh, just uh, let's enjoy this evening because uh, it's, uh, we need to celebrate it uh, as we should. Wonderful. Well, we need to celebrate something else right here. We're going from an old legend to maybe uh, a new legend, somebody who was 18th in the world last year, 2022. We're in 2023. Sphinx, thank you for joining us. Number five in HLTV's top 20 for 2023. Congratulations, mate. How are you feeling? It feels amazing. I'm just, uh, I'm really happy about this year, also as a team and also in the individual. Last year it wasn't uh, so easy, the last uh, six months, and uh, I remember last year I was so nervous if Stryker is going to send me a message <laughs> if I'm going to be in top 20 or not, because I didn't know the protocol of top 20, yeah. I didn't know how, uh, how they're doing it, and uh, I, I feel such a relief this year that you know 100%, not only top 20, but top 10, top 5. It's such a good, it's such a good uh, feeling. Yeah, well, congratulations. You had a great year. Uh, some big wins with the team. Obviously, the major victory being, I imagine, the highlight of that. But uh, you're looking fantastic. And you, you've just been... Uh, look, I do a bit of... I follow the Instagrams, mate. You've been on holiday. You've been looking like you haven't been a good time. Where were you at? Was it Thailand? I was in uh, Thailand with uh, my girlfriend. Yeah. I felt... Uh, after Sydney, I told the uh, Apex, we are going to win the uh, full finals. Uh, we didn't know which, we, which player is going to be the fifth. And I told him I'm going to grind the shit out of this game. We are going to play 24-7. We are going to win four finals because the Danes uh, left. Yeah. We, and we wanted to win because it's Denmark, Denmark uh, place. So I played a lot, so I also needed a good holiday after. Yeah, okay, fair <laughs> enough. Can imagine. So you feel like you're rested now, ready for a new year? Yes, definitely. It's uh, all the gas in the tank and uh, the entire team is ready to go. Okay, nice, that's what we want to hear. I want to say, like, Vitality are nominated for, like, seven, eight, eight awards this evening. How many do you think you're winning? What, what did you say you're about? nominated for, like, seven, eight awards, Vitality. How many things do you think you're winning? Mm, I think we are going to win Team of the Year, Player of the Year, Mathieu. That's two. Maybe highlight of the year for Zayu again. <laughs> He's helping us. He's helping us with the award. <laughs> uh, I think uh, maybe three, something like this. Okay. I hope okay. at least. Okay. All right. All right. All right. When now, we, when we did the interview with you, and you know, you were joking that your goal for the next year was to steal steal an MVP away from Zayu. How much does that, you know, seeing Zayu and you know, like, is it? To, to some degree frustrating, you know, to see like, I, I'm like, this guy is like, he's impossible to surpass, you know, is there, does he serve as a kind of like a motivation for you to like step up further and try to steal that or how much, uh, how much pressure do you put on yourself from that? I always uh, said it uh, to the U.S. well, I always take electronic and simple as the example, Yeah. because I think electronic for me is one of the best riflers ever in the game and he have only one MVP. But everyone still agrees he's one of the best rifles in the game. It's just because he has simple. He's taking the MVPs. So I said it to Zayhu, as long as it's you taking the MVPs, yeah. I'm fine. Take as many as you want. But uh, I do want to win one in my career. And uh, taking an MVP from him, from him, it's a huge achievement. Yeah, that would but, mean a lot. Uh, you know, we'll if you see. I think him. it's uh, the hardest job I will have to do as a player. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to give you something. I don't know if we're going to be able to open this. I don't know yeah. how this works exactly, yeah. but okay. Like so if we can just to slide out the thing. Okay, here we go. Slide out the thing, and then you open the Juicy thing. Juicy stuff. Yeah, props the boss around really here. Cool. There you go. Yeah. There's something, something cool we kind of prepared for everybody. Uh, I'll let you take a look. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I, I saw it on Twitter. And yeah. it looks fantastic. 
So for people who don't know, this is like we prepared keycaps for every player with their number, with their number on the keycap plus like an HLTV logo as well. So they can just literally put like a keycap on their on their keyboard with uh, the placement that they got on, on HLTV. But it's going to be hard to see. But with, with the who, what you're going to do? Put one, one, two, two, <laughs> one, one. You need to help Yeah, he, has to, he, he can like probably start, uh, circulate them, you know? Like yeah, he has like the, it, the year there as well, you know? So like one, one tournament. One, 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 and then two, two. Might have to become <laughs> his F keys, you know? He's going to have to yeah, fill out the top yeah. of the keyboard. Is that going to go on your keyboard? Definitely. All yes. right, all right. Well, super. Spinks, congratulations on fifth in the world. Uh, look, we're going to jump back and see what Paul is up to and uh, hope you enjoy your night. Thank okay. you, guys. You too. There you go. Awesome to hear from Spinks. Now time to hear from two of the best players in the world. We've got Anna and Tori. Guys, how are you doing? I'm really great. I'm very honored to be here amongst all the like uh, celebrities of CS, if we can say like that. So I'm, I'm very happy to be here. And Tori? Yes, we're doing very good. As Anna said, uh, feeling very honored to be here, uh, like in front of all these legends. Guys, it was another fantastic year for your team, Nigma. How do you look back on it? How do you think overall it feels knowing you did such a good job? I mean, it's always like a pleasure and it's always fantastic for us to do such great things together, to do such good results individually and as a team. So I'm very proud of myself. First of all, I'm very proud of my team. So. And I hope in the future, like we can like motivate other girls to, to do the same thing like us. Tori, it was a great year for your team. Are you happy with how it went? Of course, I'm happy. We are six times world champions. <laughs> One final thing, though. You're both up for female player of the year. Any tension between the two of you? For me personally, not at all, because I know she worked as much as I did. So it doesn't matter who wins tonight. I'm going to be as proud as I would be winning. So. I, uh, I don't care who wins between me and her. Like, I'm proud of her, and I cannot wait to see the, the final results. Tori, do you feel the same? Of course, I do feel the same. Like, I love Anna, and I know how hard she is working, and I would just give this award to her, like, without any questions. Guys, thank you so much for your time. Anna, is there anything that you'd like to say to everybody watching at home? Obviously, I want to say thank you to everyone who supported us who like believed in us from the zero, from the, from the first step of our career until the last, and I hope we made them proud tonight. Tori? Of course, thanks everyone who is supporting our team, and especially I want to say thanks to my mama. Mom, I love you very much. Thank you for your support. HLTV Award Show 2023. Anna and Tori, thank you for your time. A wonderful shout out. Make sure everyone's being kind to their mums out there. But uh, look, I got a big man behind me right here, but I got a young man, the Flash, a, uh, another absolute legend in the building here, and it's starting to pack out. Number four in 2023. Last year you were rookie of the year. This year you're number four in the world. Thanks for joining us, Monacy. How are you going, mate? How are you feeling? I'm feeling excited, to be honest. Like last year I wasn't here. I didn't visit the ceremony because of some uh, moments. I couldn't go here, but I feel ex actually excited. This, this is like really officially, for me it's for the first time I'm in suit for the last two years. Last time I was in the school. <laughs> <laughs> but actually I'm really excited and uh, really, it's really good to share this moment with everyone. Now uh, you've got a big security guard with you here. Does this guy come with you everywhere or what's going on? He is coming with me everywhere. This yeah? is my security, Mr. Victor. Yeah, uh, the, uh, the what, what, why has he got the sunglasses on? He doesn't want to show his eyes. Okay. He's really serious. Okay. Well, uh, look, it's glad that you've got security. There are a lot of people around, so we're glad you looked after. But uh, look, we'll give you it. Striker, you do the medal. Of course. Yeah. Now, uh, there you go. That's I an shouldn't improvement. have even touched it. What, what was last year? Seven. Okay. Right? Well. I, you were seven last year, right? That's good. <laughs> He's checking <laughs> if it's his on. Is it real? There is That's a name good. behind That's it. Good. It's going to be hard to get out. I mean, it's not bad. Oh, uh, adding year. it to the collection. So what's next year? Well, this year, I suppose. Just give it, get better. Okay, so you've only got a few places you can go up, mate. I, I can be first one, I can be second one, I can be third. Okay. I can be higher or, I don't know, lower. I, I, I just want to get better and see if next year I can compete higher level than I'm now. Sure. How are things been going? Uh, you've obviously got the next year in the team, you've got Taz as the coach. Uh, you're coming into a new year. Uh, how much practice have G2 been putting in already? I'm just ready to sacrifice all my time to get better. I personally don't care. I don't really, I don't really spend too much time with my family and with my friends. I just know that uh, he's all in. I just need to be not all in, but to be smart with my time. Okay. And I need to sacrifice my time to get better. So, all right. 
Victor is going to help us. Victor is going to help my team and I mean our team to be on point and to be on the good level. And uh, just let's see how it's how it's going to be in this year. Sure. Now uh, we've got another another uh, little present for you here. Yeah. This is what we prepared for all the top 20 players. Uh, you have your uh, own keycap with your number. Keycap uh, and also an HLTV yeah. keycap that you can use on your keyboard. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. good. There you go. You can you can after hide, hide is this, it in that. Is this going like to end up on the keyboard? You think? Well, wait, I can't. He can't talk and can put it back in the door. Maybe, maybe, maybe. maybe. Yeah? maybe I'm going to do it. Yeah, of yeah. course. Let's see how it's comfortable that, to put, you know? That, that'd be pretty baller, I think. Yeah, we'll see how sure. it feels. All right. That's good. Well, congratulations. Thank you so much, Martin. And uh, we hope you enjoy your evening. And we got to head back to Parla and, uh, well, see who he's talking to now. I feel so lucky to chat to all the people that I've been chatting to. And right now, I'm more excited than ever. Everybody, give it up for Pasha Biceps. Show some hype in that chat. Pasha, great to see you. It's nice to see you, Pala. Hello, HLTV Awards. I am here again. This is my favorite event. <laughs> Pasha, uh, how have you been, mate? What, what did you get up to last year? Uh, this is, uh, you mean last year, right? Just over the last year, yeah. Yeah, well, last year was uh, perfect. Uh, I, I, I hope here will be like, much more perfect. It's a lot of people, new people, like uh, my old friends, which I spent a lot of good times, a lot of good, me good memories. So party going being very good. Final question, have you had a chance to chat to Monacy's bodyguard yet, that bald, tall guy over there? We just uh, give a handshake, handshake each other, but I think uh, after midnight it will be good talks. <laughs> Everyone, passion biceps. Now look, uh, I've been caught here talking to the security. Uh, sorry everybody, uh, we've just been chatting with uh, the security for G2 and we've, we've brought uh, another G2 member in here, another HLTV Top 20 uh, of 2023, Hunter. The gentleman himself, congratulations, 13th in the world. Uh, another one to add to the cabinet. Uh, mate, keep going from strength to strength. How do you keep doing it? I don't know, first of all, thank you. I mean, it, it feels good to be there, to be like between all those players that are amazing. And of course, to be in front of some of the players that are as well amazing, that gives some extra confidence. And it's always here. And of course, this is the first time for me to, to be on a war show. Feels good so far. I hope for the best night to, for everyone. That's nice. We're in, uh, well, we're in Serbia. We're in Belgrade. Yeah. We're having a good time around here. Now, uh, did you almost say your hometown? I almost did. <laughs> and then I realized I, I mean, could get in not, trouble. But for I that. feel like you, nah. you spend a lot of time here, right? Boot <laughs> yeah. camping as well. Like Nico is here, most of the guys that you know. So it is kind of a homely yeah. atmosphere for you, for sure. Yeah, 100%. I, I mean, Belgrade feels like a home because my home is like not that far away, like one hour drive. So yeah, I'm, I'm often here and we boot camp here. Nico is living here. So yeah. I don't want to look. I know that there's like some interesting conversations with that. I had a chat to Yanko about it before, and he tried to explain it to me, so I won't even try. Who are you most excited to see uh, tonight? Most excited to see? Yeah. I mean, everyone. Like, feels good to, to. I mean, we now have a bootcamp season already started, but it's always good to see after the break other players, other yeah. people around that are usually on events, so yeah. Also, some of your old teammates are here. So yeah, the Latnis, yeah, course, the Emmys, Kenny, yeah. and King Gors, and all the Serbian, uh, yeah, Serbian yeah, lineup. Yeah. So that's also going to be a yeah, nice It's reunion. amazing. I mean, hope that you will do it every year because it feels feels good. And just keep going because you're doing an amazing job and nothing else to say. How are you feeling about Kassad right now, mate? Uh, he's got to go into the last open qualifier tomorrow with his new team. Uh, <laughs> he's my old coach, my first coach in I Nation back then in the days. I wish him all the best, of course, and I hope they will qualify and we'll see each other on RMR. He will not be able to come tonight here because he needs to prepare, but <laughs> this is a life. I mean, hopefully he will be there next year and we'll see each other. That's it. I just wish him all the best and his team as well. Yeah, all right. Uh, obviously, uh, Nico still in the running this evening. Uh, he's placed high time and time again. And, uh, you know, one of the... We're, uh, we were talking about this before. The Riflers yeah. in the last couple of years haven't been in the top three. I think the last time a Rifler was in the top three, it was when... Cold Zero won in 2017 and Nico was number two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. now we've got Nico and Rops both in that conversation for this evening here tonight. Uh, uh, look, do you think Nico is ever going to be able to get that number one spot? Do you think he's ever going to be able to clinch it as a rifler? I mean, it's tough. You have a lot of good opers around. And of course, I will try my best. My, uh, my whole team will try, try the best so Nico can get there. We have Ilya as well who can get there. I'm pretty sure he's pretty young and he has a lot of games and a lot of years in front of him. But yeah, we'll try our best. I'm really proud of Nico. It's not easy to be number two, as you already said. There's a lot of good players, and especially Opers, that it is not easy to be better against. So yeah, I'm really proud of him, and I hope that he's already here eight years in a row in top 20. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I hope he will continue his streak, and yeah, I will, I will try to help him the best I can. All right, well, congratulations again on your placement yeah. in this year. Uh, and uh, there's your, your lovely medal. 
We also... Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> There's another little surprise. Well, it's not a surprise, but another little gift they're giving yeah. away this year. All right, perfect. Thank you very much. It's for keyboard, yeah? Yeah, it's a keycap. A couple nice. of keycaps that you can, nice. uh, you can put in your keyboard. Thank you guys very much. Thank oh, you. Congratulations. And, thank you. Uh, anything you want to say to the people at home? I mean, nothing. Thanks you for, thank you for support, guys. I hope to see you soon, everyone, in the arenas and for some playoffs games. And yeah, nothing much to say. All Enjoy right. your night, guys, and see you around. Perfect. Thank you very much, Hunter. We're going to head back to Parla. Okay. okay. Back to me, back to the red carpet. We had Hunter and Monacy on the sofa with the boys. And they had this looming figure behind them looking a bit like a security guard. Sir, sorry, what's your name? Uh, I cannot tell you, sir. Sorry. <laughs> Everybody give it up for Taz Make Some Hype, an absolute legend of the game. I've said that multiple times tonight, but it's just because I'm meeting so many legends. Taz, great to have you here. Firstly, what's it like for you to be here at the HL TV Award Show 2023? Hey, I'm just here with the guys. I'm, you know, their bodyguard, their coach, whatever they need, I am. <laughs> could you, you could be anything or just the bodyguard. Yeah, I mean, there was one more bold guy like that. Taz, it's so great to see you again. Can I, can I start by saying huge congratulations on becoming coach of G2. That's, that's massive, mate. Thank you. I mean, at the moment, the congratulations, you know, are like uh, kind of not needed, but thank you. It's, I still need to earn it to feel good in this place. Do you see a long path ahead? Like, are you ready to sort of go through these trials and tribulations to come through the other side stronger than ever? I mean, I enjoy coaching. I like the way how complicated it is and uh, it's just a new challenge on my in my esports life so i'm excited and taz overall how have you been how's the family um, i very often think about the videos that we recorded back in the day inclusion of poker like i hope you still live in awesome life hey i have uh, two beautiful daughters a beautiful wife i'm uh, happiest man alive taz um as i said at the start such a pleasure to see you. It's been too long. Is there anything else that you'd like to say to everybody watching? You're a veteran. Your, your knowledge and, and wisdom uh, to be shared to them at home. Hey, I'm back, baby. <laughs> he's back, baby. Okay. That's, uh, uh, that's an out. I think he half. stole that one, didn't he? Uh, or no, I'll be back. I, I don't think so. Okay. I think it's completely copyright, copyright free. Copyright free? Just like Mickey Mouse is today. Okay. Is that uh, true? I have something, by the way. Okay. So. Um, that's not the actual size of the kid, is it? I think it is. I oh, think this on, is that might just be. match worn. Oh, Don, come on, first no. land winning jersey. Is, oh, he's signed so by small, Don, Don, which is which is really nice to have, but it's also not a great replacement for Donk actually being here. Wait, they're not here. Yeah, they're struck by sickness. Spirit is. So we. So does that mean I get to take Shiro's medal home? Yes, that means that is exactly <laughs> what it means, Chad. Come on. Let's go. Something I could have never won ever. But uh, yeah, uh, hey, I'm really happy, and I also think this is a pretty sick design, and also has One Xbet on, which is the sponsor of this show. So <laughs> that worked out shout out to One Xbet for supporting us and Spirit. This, so, uh, are you going to keep that? Yes, okay. I also have. Uh, Wait, you, you I have go. another one. Oh wow! Oh, okay. I got you another got one. So if you want this one, you can get this one. Oh, you can buy that one. No, do you want it? Oh, are you giving it to me? Yes. Well, no, okay, no, yeah, no, okay. No, no, no. you keep it. Like, I, I'm a Donk fan. I'm never going to offer you anything again. Was so it for me? No, it wasn't. Oh, well, no, I don't want to, you know, uh, look, I'll, I'll get my Donk merch legitimately, bro. Okay. I want to support these eSport teams. Uh, just like if anybody so you wants want, to. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you actually want to give them the money. I'll purchase it. You know, it. they needed after they bought Chiro. You know, uh, we hear that that wasn't a, a low amount. No, so. 1.75 million, <laughs> according to un, unnamed sources. Right are, they in a, are they in the, uh, the blast spot as well? Do they, do they, they got the blast. Yeah, they got they the got blast. blast. We can so maybe, uh, they would have had to have paid for a blast, right? They, they, prof, well, what's going on there, mate? I don't know. It's something's going on with my mic. <laughs> I need assistance. Well, that's all right. We could get someone out here you to help stop you. moving as much. Now, I had someone in my ear. Let me just stand up and see. Who's Parla... in your ear? Well, I can see Yanko. Yanko's here. He's looking good. Maybe Par... Is Parla doing something? Do we need to... I don't do know I if he's a... doing something. I don't... It'd be on a single shot of me if we needed to throw it to Parla. Is doing something. I would call her over, but I think that would be a bit too much to do like an interview and content at the same time. Well, that's Nico. interception. He's one, the... he one of the... It's like interview... So... <laughs> Who's that? Oh, Nico. Nico's looking amazing. Yeah. A nice. What color would you say that is? Beige, brown, tan, 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 tan. tan. All right, hold up, hold up. We do have Parla standing by with uh, Janko Paunovic himself. Yes, I'm here with Janko Paunovic himself. Wine K, so great to see you, mate. How are you doing? I'm doing awesome. 
And you're joined by your wonderful Anna. partner, if you'd like to introduce her as well. Yes, this is Anna, my girlfriend. Uh, lucky to be here with her. And I think it's just awesome how many people came out to Belgrade. You know, I'm very proud that we can hold an event like this in my hometown, in my home country. I want to give props to, you know, the HLTV guys, also to everyone at Relog who's helping with producing uh, this event. And, you know, just with the hospitality side of things, I think they're doing a great job. And, yeah, just love seeing uh, we're able to put up an event like this in Belgrade. I wanted to ask you about that. When you heard it was going to be in Belgrade, the capital city of your country, what did it mean to you? I think it was great, you know, Belgrade in the last couple of years is becoming more and more an eSport destination for a lot of the teams. Um, I think it's convenient for a lot of reasons to hold events here, to come for events here. So, yeah, I think it's awesome to have, first of all, it's only the second sort of HLTV awards done in this way. First one in Stockholm, I think it went great. So for us to get the opportunity to hold the second one and take it maybe a little bit higher, I think it's great. I feel like everything has leveled up. What are your initial impressions? You know, we've got a swathe of people. I don't know if you've seen the theater yet, but it's incredible. I've been here before, <laughs> you know, but uh, not, not, not the setup for the awards outside of the, the stuff on social media. But yeah, it, it is a bit Surreal? interesting. No, it's a bit strange seeing all the people not in sweatpants. 90% of the time, I think every person says that, but I think it's also kind of cool, you know, dressing up, showing a different side of yourself. Everyone having a good time celebrating uh, the, the, some of the best players that we have in our game for this past year, but also uh, talent, you know, all the awards that we're having, uh, the best uh, female player of the year too. And yeah, it's just great seeing such a big crowd. Yanko, so great to have you here and in the capital city of your home country, no less. Is there anything else that you'd like to say to everybody watching at home? Just uh, hope you guys enjoy the show and have a great time as we're going to. We absolutely will. The HLTV Award Show 2023. Yanko, thank you so much, brother. All right, Yanko, the comedian, is always there. A couple of nice little jokes that he was able to, uh, to steer really into that one. I really appreciate that he started off with this like cold open, kind of put a catching paw on the right yeah. foot, with, like the wrong foot. I really like that. Yeah, that's nice. I enjoy, like, I don't know. I was, I was telling Paula we need some like comedic moments from him, but I, I don't feel like he's giving them. We're getting a couple. I don't know. And I feel like he needs to step up his game. You I can't don't know. force comedy gold. I, I mean, for, for I think Paula can do it. I think Paula has it up his sleeve wow. to do more. Okay. But I actually, I like this. Yanko is like uh, challenge, is, uh, challenging him at his own game. Well, he needs to step up tonight, Yanko, yes, obviously, exactly. without uh, Kassad here to, to carry him along in some of the yes. moments. They're There's only happening. one of the two clowns Precisely. tonight. Precisely. So. Uh, and obviously, as we all know, with their relationship, on air, they must dislike each other and not be very good friends for many yes. years. Uh, but look, gentlemen, as we uh, edge ever closer to 7 p.m., that's when we start steering into the awards because that's what we're all here for, right? So far, we've just been having a chin wag, having a bit of a chit chat, uh, catching some, some people in, on the couch, giving away a few, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, but we've got the community awards. Well, so as we know, Shiro's not going to be here, so that one we'll just have to sit and wait. We'll have to get that to Shiro when we can. Uh, but we have the community awards uh, with the couch. So the three of us, plus, I suppose, the winners, uh, will be coming up to get their awards, which is just here on the table in front of us, uh, once we come back from the break at 7. Uh, those awards, I mentioned them before, we're going to have Event of the Year. Uh, we're going to have Content Creator of the Year, Streamer of the Year, and Talent of the Year. I've even got the list in front of uh, me right here if we want to go through all of the names. But do you want to, Striker, maybe explain for the people at home uh, how well, this was voted upon what the community awards are all about. Right. I mean, we just wanted to introduce something where the community gets involved in the in, in the awards, you know, and uh, like what better way than to, to, to put it on the things that are subjective, that are about like what, what people like the most, what the people enjoyed, you know, during the year. And so, of course, these are categories that we cannot objectively decide, like what was the event. So we are leaving it up to the people. It was the HLTV people of the HLTV forums. Uh, HLTV users that got to vote. Our favorite users. Uh, exactly, yeah. Yes. Uh, the, that got to vote on, on this and decide this entirely on, on their own. So this is it. It's uh, only influenced by the people voting yes. at home. So uh, that's something to keep in mind. And something else to keep in mind, Parla has machine. That is absolutely correct, Chatty B. I have machine himself on the red carpet. And I'm so hyped right now because I've asked a couple people this question, Alex, but I know I'm going to get the best answer yet. Who are you wearing tonight, Alex Machine Richardson? Because you look incredible. Thank you very much, man. I, yeah, I, I bought the jacket. It's for Anderson Bell. I saw, I double checked the name. Anderson Bell, cool designer from Korea. Love that. Uh, these are my Yoji Yamamoto ground Y shorts or short, scorts, whatever you want to call it. It's just incredible. Thanks, you, bro. Yeah, I'm kind of going for um, 
futuristic business samurai. And then the Balenciaga on the feet. Don't forget about them. Don't yeah. forget about the Balenci's, bro. Yeah, well, I tried it with the dress shoes, bro. It's not, it was not a look. It's the only thing I could get. <laughs> we, <laughs> we were talking off camera because I was like, I know what this is, but I don't know what it's called. What is it, Alex? I don't know. A cowboy tie. That's what I'd call it. Right? You know, like, that's what they would wear. But, bro, look, it goes without saying, you're looking absolutely incredible. But uh, red carpet question meme decide. So good to see you. Um, it's great to have you here. What are your initial impressions of the HLTV Award Show 2023 here in Belgrade? This is my first HLTV Awards, and it's definitely not going to be my last. It's packed. It's been awesome. The limo ride to the red carpet. It feels very special. It feels like kind of something that Counter-Strike deserves. It's cool that HLTV of all names, like the household name, are the ones pulling it off. And they're pulling it off. Like little gift boxes. I've got a little cheeky rack here in my pocket if you want some, bro. <laughs> Which pocket if you're like 16? Yeah, 17 pockets. This one. You want some? It's got the rack. No, no, no. no, no, no. Join me. You're I'm just no, sipping no, a little. Just a little one, man. <laughs> Where you whistle. I wish I could see chat right now because that would definitely be something on chat that would... Um, I'll do like the littlest, the, the littlest taste. Ah, delicious. Thank you, Alex. Made me lose my uh, train of thought there. Uh, Alex, it feels like um, it would be a miss for me to not say that once again, you've had an incredible year of casting. You're, you're one of the greatest talents, I think, across esports, sports, whatever. Um, what's it like looking back for you on your 2023? 2023 was wild. I really loved the way it ended, like being in Sydney, having Henry and Chad cast in that grand final, and it was being such a good grand final. And I've had some, uh, some well, a couple of months to just throw myself into Counter-Strike 2. It just makes me really excited about the new year. I'm going to come in with like new energy, a bit more of a, yeah, a, a hyper focus on what I want to do and achieve next year, this year, this year. Well, Alex, always a pleasure, mate. I mean, you're one of the best people. Is there anything else that you'd like to say to everybody watching at home? Just how much I love you, Parla. I hope we see more of you next year. This year. It's 24. It's 2024. Everybody, Alex Machine, Richardson, Chad and the boys, back to you. The Hedgehog TV Award Show for 2023 in 2024. It's going to trip a lot of people up. It yeah. did last year. It did the year before. It's maybe going to we, forever. Maybe we made a mistake. You know, the Golden Globes were just going on. They are calling it the Golden, Golden Globes 2024. You know, so maybe, maybe we missed that? the vote. Apparently, but yeah. the Oscars are like the 75th 70, Academy. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, they yeah. avoid that. But when we go to like five, I think we can. Maybe like the fifth HLTV Awards. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Could we now move it? Because, hear me out, the major will be the last event of the season. And we just do it right there, right then. Well, maybe, yeah. Well, uh, yeah. well we need some time to actually decide. You know, ah, I don't know about that. To work. I don't know about that. Well, give, give it a day or two. You guys can just sit there. Well, like Peter so. is here, you know. I can't believe I saw him. Yes. The legend himself. Have yes. not seen him since, I think it would have been pre-pandemic. Probably yes. Star yes. Letter. He hasn't been in the show. That we're obviously talking about Peter from HLTV, TW. R I one live. S yeah. or the game will restart in one second. Yeah. Uh, in short, uh, yeah. who is the founding father of the top twenty? I think it's fair, fair yeah. to say. And without him, we would not be here right now because the the top twenty existing in the Player of the Year kind of be, being that Ballon d'Or for Counter Strike, right? Uh, what we were missing was the ceremony. We had the award, we had the reputation and the renommé, but. Uh, just we have now put this together but without him it wouldn't make sense so it's really nice to have him here and uh yeah to have his like child labor child uh kind of elevated to a, to a new level yeah and it's not just the founding father he's still basically yeah, one of the main people yeah obviously involved. working on it still but you know the yeah. the the initial years were just him like all the articles and the stats and everything now we have like 10 people doing essentially what he was doing on his own uh, back in 2010. Yeah, yeah, I mean, at least like from the writing perspective, we're still deciding it three people. It's like a small committee, yeah. you know, but at least from like, it's crazy to me, you know, looking back at like what he was doing alone in the, the first couple of years. You know? OK, well, uh, look, I think we might have time to just go and check in with Paula one more time before we need to head to that break. Paula, who have you found this time? Chad, some might say I've saved the best until last. We've got scrawny in the building. Look, mate, well, you're at the very least top three talent of the year for 2023. Yeah, according to the people. Yeah, according to the people, man. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> All jokes aside, how does that feel, mate? It feels, uh, it's an honor. Um, it's cool. I mean, 2023 is a year that uh, uh, was very important to me, had big moments, and it's, it's just really awesome that that kind of gets recognized by everybody, and, and I feel very appreciated, honestly. That's how I'm feeling, Paula. I'm feeling appreciated. I know what the answer is going to be, but what's your favorite moment from 2023? This one right here. 
Well, we're in 2024 now, so that'd be cheating. Give me the real answer, Connor. I mean, obviously, casting my first major grand final was, was something special. I think that anybody broadcast related is always aspiring to be at majors. It's kind of the goal we all we all look to, forward to, and it's kind of like a, you know, it's a chip on your shoulder. So to me, obviously, Blast Paris Major. With that in mind, I'd like you to keep a special focus when uh, the, the full show kicks off yeah. and we have our love letter to Counter-Strike. Go. CS go. Okay? Keep an eye on that one. I will. Thank you, Connor, how else have you been? How's life in Canada? Uh, cold and, and yet heartwarming. Yeah, it's been a great chance to recharge my batteries, Paula. I'm so excited for 2024. I feel like we've really hit the ground running with such an event. Professionalism at an all-time high. You know, it's it's... It's a dawn of a new era. Is this the best way to kick off an esports year with an award show like this? I think so, genuinely. Yeah, jokes aside, I actually do think so. It's, 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 just, it's a quick reminder that even though we're all just a bunch of gamers and we're all just playing Counter-Strike at the end of the day, there is a certain level of professionalism that we can now wrap Counter-Strike in. Um, big shout out to HLTV for putting this together just because it, it is, I think, the best possible way to remind ourselves that what we're doing is bigger than just playing video games now. Absolutely. I'm keeping an eye on the time, Connor, so I'm going to have to let you go. May always a pleasure to see you. Best of luck in your award. Anything that you'd like to say before I let you go? Thank you to the men's that voted for me, and um, good luck, Paul, out there. Stay safe tonight. Always repping the men's and the women's uh, on the forums, getting it done uh, with a lot of smiley faces, as it were. Yeah. But... Uh, that's Scrawny, that's Parla, and this has been, I suppose, our uh, nice little soft opening to the HRTV Awards show for 2023. We're going to head to a break, and we are going to return with the Community Awards. Don't go anywhere. Very complicated job, but I love simple things so much. One move. One push. One touch. One love. One click. One X bet. There we go, I'm oh, back. Uh, yeah, as man. I was saying, let's get down to business. Uh, good. Now look, they're wondering First hour off. where's Striker? Where's Striker? Very nice. Uh, I was actually looking at a suit hey, very striker. similar to that. Milan. This is the kind of suit we were looking yeah, at. Look, I hope that, I was, that we were thinking about right buying. We kicked this him guy. off. We got rid of him, right? We threw him out of here. We kicked him off. We got him out because we're about to do the community awards and we wanted to free up some space for the winners. Now we got Striker out here talking somewhere. Talking about his suit. In the wild. Just bragging about his bloody suit. This is the tamest hot mic of all time. He's caught red-handed. Yes, that's a very nice suit. Oh, <laughs> yes, I was looking at that suit. I was like, oh, my God. I don't think Striker's ever said a bad thing in his entire life, to be fair. That is kind of true. So that he's probably safe from this. But again, I want to reiterate, okay, we're back. The business end. We're about to get into some meat and bloody potatoes. Uh, of what this tonight is all about, which is the awards, the community awards, four of them to give away. Again, we've got the event of the year, content creator of the year, streamer of the year, and talent of the year. And uh, Prof, just so they really know, I'm going to say it again. Voted by you at home, the HLTV forum. Well, not just forum users. Maybe you don't use the forum. Maybe you're a lurker. Maybe you just yeah. like to read, but maybe you have you just like to follow some teams, you know. Maybe yeah. you, you know, just want your automatic time zone. Maybe you want to actually DM some nice people like me or someone that writes an article and be like, oh, you had a typo over here. You can do all of these things with an HLTV account. See, look at all of that. That's a, that's a bonus feature. You can DM Prof. Everyone send Prof a DM right now, but there they are, the awards on the screen. And uh, we're going to be kicking things off with event of the year. Now, look, initially we had uh, a bunch of nominees, right? That's been narrowed down to the finalists. The nominees were IEM Katowice, Blast TV Paris Major, IEM Cologne, IEM Sydney, CS2 Asia Championship, the Blast Premier Fall Finals, and the Alyssa Masters Espo. But without further ado, let's check out our finalists.
Blast TV Paris Major. I am Katowice. I've been entrusted here with the envelope uh, for event of the year. It even has some lovely instruction on the back. But without further ado, let's crack this bad boy open and announce the winner of event of the year for 2023. And the winner is Blast.TV Paris Major. And then the crowd goes wild. Everyone's going nuts. And then we bring out some representatives from Blast. Hello, hello, hello. Congratulations. 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 We've got, uh, Congratulations. Congratulations. We've got one microphone here and one on the table. Frederick, we can give you this one. So, uh, all right, there you go. Uh, we've got Frederick, the executive producer. Is that the correct title? And uh, Andrew, well, the commissioner. Oh, okay. I was uh, my, my my people gave me the wrong information. So, uh, look, uh, congratulations. We've got yep, yep. Here it comes, and uh, this is your award for event of the year for 2023. Uh, first it's better time. than our trophy. <laughs> hey, there, you got ahead of it. That was oh, one Jesus. I was, uh, was going to ask the question about. Yeah. <laughs> it is, it is, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Same size, though. Yeah, hey, very similar in stature. But uh, the first major for Blast, and uh, you walk away with the event of the year, and even with the shtick you got about the trophy, you're still event of the year. Is that is that a surprise? Um, a little bit. I mean, uh, we're really happy with it, like, overall. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that we wanted to change maybe but um, but yeah I mean just like super excited like we we're proud we we're proud about the event overall uh, um, yeah uh, I, th I think you should be <laughs> right no that's the thing right other than the people having a bit of a goof and a gag about the trophy yeah, yeah, right yeah. Yeah. I was there at the event I got to, to take part in it and it, it, it's a standout event it's obviously event of the year it's the only major of the year and I think you guys did a phenomenal job with it it's fantastic to watch and the people at home seem to think so as well so there are some sane forum users out there prof yeah, seems like it. Seems like it. People, people like your event. I mean, what does it, what does it mean to you to to win this and like kind of carry it into 2024? Oh, it's it's hugely important. Obviously, for a while the community had asked, would Blast do a major? So to then be be asked to do one by Valve was incredible. There was a, a lot of pressure then on not mucking it up essentially. Oh. So really pleased to have that validated by the community award. So thank you everyone, um, and it gives us the the kind of real kick up the backside to make sure we continue to evolve and get better into this year and hopefully do another major soon enough and uh, evolve from there. You guys always have like some fun innovations that are nice to watch like the the coach camera on the head I thought that was like it's like it's something that seems like such a cool idea getting to see the game from the perspective of the coach standing behind is there anything that maybe you can tell us is coming up that we can keep an eye on for uh, future blast events? Um, we, we always try to just um it, it's a hard one because like, we, we want to do more uh, and we all want to push the teams to do more. So like part of my, my mission of going here is also just like to talk to a lot of the players, talk to a lot of the teams and say like, hey guys, like how can we do, how can we get a little bit closer um, and them give, uh, giving us the access. I, I, I feel like there's, there's, there's more to be done on, on that and uh, that's just what we're constantly trying to push. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, uh, congratulations uh, again and uh, event of the year for Blast, Top TV, Paris Major. Congrats. Anything that you guys want to say to the people at home or we all happy? Uh, I just I maybe want to thank just a few people. I mean, yeah, thank you to, uh, to Miguel and Martin, uh, who are like uh, the main producers uh, with us, did an amazing job. Uh, like all of our internal departments, obviously, the creative department who did a, like a fantastic visual identity and uh, like the tech team, like it was, it was new to us doing like multiple streams and, and the partners we had around the world, like Liga Ace and... Um, uh, you helped me here. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're very lucky to be part of an amazing team at Blast, and we had great partners, uh, great commercial partners, and uh, looking forward to working with them. We had President McCorn announce the event, so uh, not much better we can do than that. So we're uh, looking forward to what we'll do in 24 and coming up with some new fun things for you. Yeah, wonderful. All right. Well, thank you very much, gentlemen. And uh, we'll get you out of here. Thank we're going to keep this one moving along, get the next award coming. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Congrats. All right. Either way, yeah. There we go. Congrats. Cheers. All right. Well, uh, there One we down, go. Uh, to go. Yeah, and uh, we're going to run well the the video for the uh, event of the year. I've, I've, uh, look, I will be honest. It is a bit loud in here. I did miss that cue, so uh, <laughs> I'm going to make a couple of mistakes. But this is uh, the Blast TV Paris Major Event of the Year video. Let's whack this one on.
All right, well, we're back. I uh, just there adjusted my hair. Yeah, so, you look uh, uh, fresh in a different way. Well, I should adjust my hair. Yeah, I can't, you know. Well, I still have it. Yeah, look, uh, I got a good guy I for you, I need to mate. get your contacts, yeah, right. you know. My guy works drop, some drop by, here. drop by Malta for, for, a, for a quick little check-in. He could be the eSports hair transplant guy. He would be making a, a, a mint. We could get people in to do the pro league seasons and oh, they could yeah. get a hair transplant done then, at the same uh, time. Nato Suffix made a tweet about doing a hair transplant. I saw that. Yeah, yeah. and I'm sure Fallen did one. I'm sure Fallen no, did be one. Doing him after, like that. just look at his pictures, like 2016, like 2015, wow. before winning the major and after. I'm you're, just saying you're doxing him right here. Maybe I'm not. Maybe he didn't. Maybe he just had some magical, like good hair treatment. Jeez. But it looks like you <laughs> know those million dollar majors. He set it up. <laughs> All right. Well, we're also, about did to you see just just for a second his wedding being live streamed? Oh yes, indeed. We Kinda were sick. we were talking about it live. Kind of sick. Yeah. Look, uh, sick. Fallen really revolutionizing the game, but. Uh, we do have another award to give away here in the Community Awards section. This next one is going to be Content Creator of the Year. And as I uh, mentioned before, we'll go through the big list of names that we had as the nominees. Uh, we got the War Hour, Swagger Souls, Superstism, Sparkles, Shoke, Polex. I hope I'm saying that correctly. He's a Brazilian fella. Nada out here, Nade King, HS Top. Uh, I'm going to get this one wrong. K K Kachoro, Leet, uh. Uh, Anomaly who's the guy walking around in the balaclava, which is surprising they let him in the building, but apparently they let him everywhere like that. Actually, Swagger Souls wears like a, he like wears the, like a helmet. Yeah, the helmet, yeah. full on. Like people like hiding their identity. And uh, Three Clicks Philip. So those are the uh, nominees for the creator of the year. And uh, well, here we go. Let's check out the finalists. The finalists for Content Creator of the Year Award by OneXBet are Three Clicks Philip. Nart out here. Nade King. All right, well, there it is. Three clicks, Philip, Nade King, and of course, Nart out here, here, all creating some different content. Uh, do we want to talk a bit about him, or should we get straight into it? I mean, I just want to say that obviously the category uh, is more like wide than just hardcore esports, hardcore Counter Strike, you know, competitive Counter Strike. So maybe some people are surprised by the nominations uh, and the finalists in the end. But like, we wanted to kind of expand what we're covering and give some highlight to the people that are not just like top tier Counter Strike, IEM, Karovice, and Nate sets, and like all the drama that we are doing on the podcast and stuff like that. But also the people like that get the early stage adopters of Counter-Strike in and kind of give them some uh, shine as well, right? Because the War Owls, even though he's not a finalist, obviously he is uh, kind of a tunnel to get into more competitive Counter-Strike. So I think that's also something worth noting. Sure, all three of our finalists this evening representing a little bit of something different. And uh, well, let's see who the winner of Creator of the Year is for 2023. And it is Three Clicks Philip. Do we have him in the building? We should do. We're, we should have Three Clicks here, do we? We give him a clap, we give him a round of applause and we bring the man in. Come on in. Congratulations. Oh How you doing? We'll get you on the couch. Hello, hello. Hello. And we'll get you your award. So Ooh. this is for you. And uh, congratulations. That's for you. Uh, creator of the Year, voted by HLTV.org. What an honor. Yeah, well, thank you for joining us. Yeah. Oh, thank you for having me here. I mean, this feels simultaneously very real and not real at all. Now, Philip, I'm going to need you to talk into the mic so the people at home can hear you. Certainly. <laughs> Hello. No, but that's, uh, it, look. We should be used to this with my job. Yeah, well, we were just talking about, uh, obviously, the different type of creators we had, and the yes. finalists being uh, Nate, Nate King and Nada here and yourself, and yes. you all three of you create quite different content. There's no overlap, is there? No. You can vote for all three and not betray anyone. Yeah. And I, I think uh, your type of content, it's, I, it's, it's very unique because you're one of the only people that I listen to creating content that's looking at things from, I want to say more of like a developer perspective. You're looking at the nuances of the game that we're not talking about while we're so worried about what Nade Simple threw or what Zywoo did. You're looking at the game from this more overarching picture and you create some really unique stuff. So congratulations on the award. Thank I, you I, so much. I was just watching your smoke video today. <laughs> yes. I'm having a good time with that yeah, one. You look like yeah. you're having a lot of fun, mate. That stuff. Oh, I love that doing that one. I'll yeah? tell you what, you put what I do succinctly, much better than I've ever managed to do it. <laughs> People ask me, what, what do you do? I'm like, stare at smoke grenades or you yeah, know, you watch one of my videos. The you know? nuances <laughs> of the you. game, it's, it, it's great. And, and I think it's, it's uh, something that especially HLTV's audience, you think more hardcore esports, hardcore yes. Counter-Strike. The fact that they appreciate what you do as well, I think that's great. So it's, congratulations. It's, it's really flattering and I really appreciate everyone who voted for me. I mean, this means a lot to me. Online, I, I guess it's like a, a cloud, isn't it? You see so many comments and so many things, and you never quite know how 
how it's going down. So to be nominated and to win this award is just phenomenal. Oh, thank you for joining us. It feels very us. real at this very moment in time. So. Yeah, congratulations <laughs> again. Yes. It, it is good. Do you, I guess when you're creating, do you have any like a like a log of videos that you want to make, or just when things come up, it just you just make it. I had years of videos planned. I thought, you know what, I'm going to delete them all. I just do whatever I want. Yeah. And I felt so much more free since then. That okay. smoke one came up because I didn't have anything I wanted to do. I thought, I want to look at smokes today. Damn, that's so, really cool. Yeah, yeah, it's um, awesome. I'm very happy with how that video turned out. So yeah, awesome. I'll keep doing that. Yeah. Keep doing things with that, an idea of how it's going to turn out. I think. All right. Well, that's wonderful. Prof, yeah. just like uh, I guess a question because. Um, you know, you were voted by the HLTV crowd, but like, do you use HLTV? What's your, what's your favorite <laughs> team? How do you how do you look at all of that? I browse. Yeah, I browse the what's forums. What's your favorite? What's your favorite thing? I guess it's just a nice resource, isn't it, to yeah. see the latest matches and everything like that. Um, I just keep it yeah, keep up to date with the scene with that. Yeah. Do you ever I dabble in the forums? Do you go in the forums? I look. Yeah, okay. I look, okay, but I don't okay, post. Okay. So I'm, okay. I'm one of those. <laughs> okay, that's cool. If, if people say something, I tend to see it. He's so. one of us. Yeah. He's <laughs> one of us, man. Not a sports mode user. Not a sports uh, mode all user. All right, all right. Well, uh, Philip, is there anything you want to say to the people at home? Thank you very much for voting for me. It's uh, a real honor to be here, and I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the show. Wonderful. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, let's play the winner's, Philip for three, <laughs> the winner's video for three clicks, Philip. Uh, let's check it out. Uh, Philip hanging around. We're just having a bit of a chit chat here off camera, but congrats again. And uh, well, he'll be here for the rest of the show. So have a good night. We'll see him around. Okay. Well, he loved that. Yeah. Yeah. I'd love to see him. So uh, good stuff. Okay. And now he's being uh, chaperoned to uh, get some uh, photos taken, like nice professional setup that we have with all of the winners. So oh, that's great. That's, we're going to have some of these coming up on, uh, on the social medias that you can uh, follow with the HLTV Award Show hashtag. Oh. Uh, we would appreciate if you, if you use this so we can catch up on what people are thinking, what they're saying, and uh, yeah, how they're enjoying the show. I saw Zywu was trending today in Serbia on Twitter. What the? How's that happening? I don't know. Doesn't people make it. any sense. Maybe we're all tweeting. He did tweet his uh, suit for the show, so maybe that's what that's kicked it good. off. Yeah. We didn't get any Zywu action yet on the stream. Well, but I think we're going to get plenty of Zywu action tonight. I feel tonight. like there might be at least, at least one. If there's it's not in a one, bunch it's of categories. Yeah. So, well, we'll see him definitely this evening. Now, uh, we also had uh, in that category, we had uh, Nat out here. Obviously, yeah. someone we know who is doing a bit more of that hardcore content. So, shout out to Nat for uh, making his way out and Nate King as well. I, I mean, played Nart in a for like, his hardcore audience, uh, I think he kept well. Versus these like oh, goliaths yeah. of YouTube, right? Yeah. In terms of his YouTube is so much smaller, but his uh, I, I feel like what he's doing for the community is huge. Yeah, and uh, Nate King as well. I got to play in a uh, PUBG tournament with Nate King at, okay. a, at a Gamescom in Cologne a couple of couple well, it's more than a couple of years ago now. But he he sometimes asks me to do some of his videos, and I I'm always too busy, so I'm gonna have to get myself in a Nate King video, I think. But uh, they were our finalists alongside of three clicks, the winner, and uh, well, we got another award to give away, don't we? Two more for this evening. Uh, moving into our next one, which was Streamer of the Year, and I've got the lovely list of the streamers who were nominated. Uh, we had uh, Bystax, Flom, Gaules, Isaac, uh, Jaxi, Loba, Owner Pixel, Olof, Root the Gamer, and Trillix. Yep. And uh, they were our nominees. And uh, well, let's check out the finalists. That are Gaules. On a pixel. All of Meister. Go. I'm back. Yeah. Hey, we're back. Another diverse like group of finalists. I, I feel don't like. think it's any surprise to see Gaules on the list, no. right? He's an absolute gargantuan of uh, presence in the streaming scene. 
But Olaf is someone who's taken to streaming like a duck to water. Yeah. Right? Uh, from the best player in the world to, you know, one of the best ex-professional streamers. I think he's one of those guys that maybe is not like a super entertainer that like he doesn't try to entertain, but he has like similar to Forrest, he just has a, like a chilled vibe. Yeah. That's enjoyable to put on. Like the other day, actually when I was packing for this event, I just put on Olaf Meister stream. And it's just, it's enjoyable to have in the background this like, Nice Swedish English accent. It's Swinglish, I believe. Swinglish is like it's getting a lot stronger than he when he was on phase. Yeah. I feel like he's playing with all of the boomers. You know, it's getting like very uh, you know uh, pure joy as they as they call uh, it. That is how they say. It. And of course, uh, owner Pixel, the meme machine. Uh, he gets at all the events you head around. There's signs held up for owner. Yeah. He's streaming all the time. He he's explore. Like I don't know. I am not into skins and stickers and all these things. And he just explore. I'm like. What, what is happening? Yeah, well, yeah. As, the, as the Germans say, off get Junger. Now, let's find out uh, who the winner of Streamer of the Year is. Dun, 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 dun. This is where we should have a drum roll, please. And the winner of Streamer of the Year for 2023, Owner Pixel. And then we, we, we give him a nice round of applause. And, uh, well, I believe we're going to call in with Owner yes. Pixel. Uh, but we also have an Owner Pixel representative here. We have Donna. Uh, who's going to join us right now. Congratulations on behalf of Mr. Owner Pixel. We're going to get him up on screen now. You're not going to be able to hear him. Take a seat. Yeah, why not? We'll one. get him here. He grab, the, grab the trophy. We'll give you this one. We'll give you the trophy. Uh, this one's for, well, it's for okay. Owner Pixel, who hopefully... Oh, no. Oh, look, he's got a bow tie on. No. <laughs> I mean, it's not a full suit. I just see a bow tie, but we'll let it fly, you know, for now. Let's say it's too hot in your studio right now. The last time I wore this was, was the 100k opening. This time it's a little bit nice on you. <laughs> what's, uh, what's on the lower half, owner? You got trousers on, mate? Uh, have you actually, you know, you. you... <laughs> I can't show that. Ah. I can't show that. <laughs> Are you streaming right now? Yes. Okay, so everybody's standing by watching, celebrating the victory. Well, congratulations on Streamer of the Year for 2023, as voted by the HL TV community. Mate, congratulations. Crazy. Thank you so much. So, so much. I, I, th I thought Loba, uh, I thought Gauls was going to win. Uh, uh, whole Brazilian community. Uh, much love to everyone who voted. Much love to the community, of course, um, who keeps supporting. Dona, don't drink too much tonight. Tomorrow, major qualifier. Now she can't hear you. Uh, he <laughs> said, he said, have a wonderful evening, and uh, tomorrow, mm -hmm. if and you're hungover, great. he will carry you. Yes, yes. Ona, yeah. can you hear me? Yeah, she, yeah, yes. he can hear you. Yeah, Ona, congrats. <laughs> 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 now look, are you happy? Are you happy, owner, for her to take the award home for you, mate? Yes, one hundred percent. One hundred percent. He said he's happy for you to take the award for him, yeah. so you I can be the custodian. There you go. That's with, a, with a with uh, a with a pack of Pokemon cookies, okay? <laughs> yeah, please. He's <laughs> <laughs> very excited about that. Oh no, is there anything that you want to say to the people at home? I guess your community is watching right now, but uh, uh, maybe the people on HL TV stream. Uh, 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 much love. Thanks to everybody who voted. I uh, I don't know if people from from uh, uh, the forums <laughs> voted. Sometimes I, I check the comments and they just say, oh my God, he's just always just being loud and stuff. If, <laughs> if some of you guys voted for me, I appreciate that. I don't know how, how I won this award. Um, thank you so much. And I hope that fucking 2020... Can I say that? Sorry. Well, you did already. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I hope that 2024 is going to be even more amazing for the whole CS community. Oh, no, i got to ask one question, mate. Because when I tune into your streams and you're getting it nice and serious, I've watched some of your uh, major qualifier stuff and you're giving it one of these ones. What's what's this one about? <laughs> <laughs> what's that all about, mate? I don't know. It's it's when I lock in. Some people say I, I was a DJ in the past. I'm not going to read too much about that. Guys... It's, it's, I'm excited to watch the whole award show tonight. Um, much love to all of you. All right, great to see a smile on your face, mate. Congratulations yet again, and look forward to watching some of your streams in 2024. Congratulations. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Congrats, Bye -bye. Donna. All right. Well, there you go. Donna, thank you for uh, well, grabbing us the trophy. Yeah, yeah, there you go. You. We can give it to a real person, not just yeah, a man on the screen. I will send it to him. And can I say, can I say something? Sure. OK, if you have time. Yeah, I just want to say that uh, yeah, Owner is the best streamer. And he, uh, I don't know, he just, he just brought CS community alive, you know, like the streamer, uh, streamer community alive. And uh, he's doing it for many years. He started from nothing and he just exploded. And it's just crazy. No one has done what he has done. And uh, yeah, we all love you, Ona. Oh, that's a lovely <laughs> message. I'm sure you really appreciate that. Well, thank you, Donna. Thank you, Ona. And uh, let's check out his uh, victory video.
All right, well, we've got one final award for the Community Awards to give away this evening, and this one gets a little bit awkward for me, Prof. Uh, this yeah. is the, the talent of the year, uh, as we are calling it officially from Martin. Uh, but uh, just to give the nominees, uh, as I have done for all of the others, we had Maniac, Freya, Banks, uh, myself, Machine, Anders, Henry G, Scrawny, Stunner, YNK, Maui Snake, Moses, Pimp, and Launders. A bunch of those names are in attendance tonight. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's check out the finalists. I threw to that one pretty quickly. Hold up. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Enough questions to do enough interviews, mate. Is there anything that you want to say? Uh, I think we heard from Monas. If we didn't get Hooksy, we didn't get Monasy. And as I said, this one does get a bit awkward for me, so I'm going to hand this envelope over towards Prof and uh, we'll give him the honors here. So, what do you think the chat is saying right now? Everyone else had really sick moments there. Mine was walking around with a buzz. I cut. mean, when do you get to be on camera? That's the cast? true. That's true. What kind of content can we have? Yeah, you? that's a good point. That's a good point. But Banks with some hype moments. Yes. Connor doing. So you got a bit of comedy in there from yeah. Scorny as well, well as some you hype should, as you well. You should ask your company to get more. Like, My company. Faster. Hold yeah. up, mate. The, yeah. <laughs> the stick was already you bad enough. Ask getting all of the nice Scorny moments. All right, Nothing I'll shut for up. you. You know, maybe they don't like you. I'll shut up. Let's just say, um, I actually have to say. You do not know what's in this. No, I we don't. We actually did a really good job of uh, keeping this a secret from uh, from Chad. And I can also say that this was the tightest category that we had. Wow. It was decided by a total of 21 votes okay. between number one and number two. And number three was like maybe 200 behind. And um, I will now reveal the winner. And the winner is Sponge. I there can't is. clap for myself, can I? <laughs> Let's see, this is the awkward thing. I didn't want to, yeah, OK. See, uh, okay. Well, thank you, people at home, for voting for me. This is well. Maybe we can get the guys to come in, either Scrawny and Banks to come in. Why? Why would we do that? To we should, they should come in. They should come in. We okay. should all get like, wanna, a bit yeah, of. Uh, he wants you to come in. Thank you. This is. Yeah. Hey, we can, we, can, we can pass it on. We can pass it on to the uh, third. This couldn't be more awkward, could it? All right. Um, hello, gentlemen. They Thank you for coming up here to try and make this less He's awkward. On. Yeah. <laughs> We're good. Yeah, apparently well, he said there was like 21 votes different here. Wow. So. And uh, Banks was second. So it was, okay. uh, right. it was, and you were like maybe 50 votes behind. So it's all in a very, That's very, very close. Tight. That's really tight. It could have been anyone. I don't want to swear, but I feel like a massive dick winning this. Yeah. Why? Because <laughs> I'm here. Yeah, mate, you're, you're the one that cares the most about nah, the game. No, no, no. Covers the game. That does all that. I have it. to say it would be nicer if anyone else won. Can I was kind of hoping for that, but what can I do, you know? Can we split it three ways or something? The men's vote. Voted. The men's, the men's, the men's, men's voted. voted. Which is funny because I'm the one that kind of helped get sports mode introduced. So you think they'd be against me. Yeah, no, you see, so uh, uh, time change. Sports. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think I see it this way, man. You're just representing all of us. Because yeah. my thought was like, if, if, if it was me, if it was James, whoever's coming up, it's just, it's the Counter-Strike talent that everybody swears by. And, and I think that like, at least in 2023, when I think about the year and I think the idea of even mixing everybody's roles together to make one big vote with 16 nominees, it's like, that's the person who represents all of us, Chad. So yep. at least from my position, I'm congratulations. It's well-deserved, and I feel well-represented in you having that award, bro. Thank you. And it's what you do for the game and how much you care. Maybe People maybe not see what we see in the background, how much you care, the time you dedicate, how much you still love every part of it. Wrong or right, you don't take a side. You take what is best for the game and best for the community and best for the people, and it's really good that the community see that. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, it's good to have you gentlemen here, both looking very dapper this evening. Uh, try it, try it. Looking great. Yeah, looking great. No, I, know you guys, I know you're hosting, like you're in host mode, but you should also take this moment in, right? Because like, I, I think for, as you, we were talking last night, Banks, and you're like, you, both of you get so much shit from the community oh, at yeah, different that, times, right? And then you look at those like, oh, who's the top three? It's like, it's you guys. Scrawny, I think you're... you're you are more generally liked, not that much drama. <laughs> but these two guys wake up with like abuse of all different different types on their Twitters, right? So I think it's a, it's a nice moment to understand that there's a lot of loud negative people out there, but there's also people that just enjoy what you're doing. So you should cherish that. And like, what does this 
award mean for you? Oh, and you should, you should hold it for a bit so we can take some pictures. All right, sorry, I, I will do that. No, but it, look, it's very nice, especially with, with that framing, right? Because it is very easy, uh, and I think a lot of people at home, you know, if you're not in the position where you're waking up and having a lot of negative messages and threads and stuff made about you on a regular basis, um, you, you, you're going to gravitate towards the negative. Uh, but to have something like this and to have the people at home who have uh, voted for me, that, that's, a, that's a positive. Those are people who uh, obviously like what I do, and that is a, a nice feeling. Because at the end of the day, um, I think the sentiment that you're putting out there, James, is the one that we all are looking for, is to do the best by Counter-Strike, right? Like, we're going to do our job to the best of our ability to elevate the game, for the game. We want good moments for the game. Because, well, uh, you mentioned this when you were talking to Parler before, what we do is real life for so many people. We have 500 people here. We go to these massive events. We have all these teams. We've got uh, across all these different divisions. The majors happen. We see how much money is being made. We see this is like, for some people, generational wealth that's being made for them and their families, and it's changing people's lives. And I've got to play Counter-Strike for 20 years, since I was 14. I'm now 34, right? Uh, it's something that I've seen grow and evolve and change, and it's still here. Right, the, the game is still here and it's the strongest it's ever been. Sure, you know, we've got all the conversations about CS. We'll get past it. Exactly, right? And I don't even think, you know, when you look at how things are, if, it's gonna, if they're going to turn things around quite quickly, we'll be back in no time. And I, and I think we'll get to see with this major coming up just around the corner that PGL are running in Copenhagen, just how good things can be. But uh, I need to shut up because we need to play a video and keep things going. So cheers to Counter-Strike, gentlemen. Cheers to CS. Cheers. 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 And we'll go HLTV for FaZe. Yeah, look, Nico, I've asked you enough questions. You do enough interviews, mate. Is there anything that you want to say? That I want to say? Yeah. We are winning tomorrow, man. Uh, I think we heard from, from almost everywhere. We didn't get Hooksy, we didn't get Monacy. All right, all right, we're going to keep things good. moving because uh, in about 25 no, like, minutes' time, good, we're going to be getting into the meat and bloody potatoes. We've got Flamesy sitting right here. Uh, I, Flamesy. Yeah, what's up? How you doing, man? I don't think it's good. good. You don't, but I'm doing right. good. That's good. That's what yeah. I want to hear. How are you yeah. doing? I'm doing well. Yeah. I'm doing well. You, you guys got a really nice event. What's the vibe, love? What's the vibe check? One to ten, where are you? What's your vibe? Well, uh, we, we, went, we came here by a limo. Okay. So it was 10 instantly. Okay, <laughs> I'm let's a 20 go. year old CS player and I came in a limo. No okay. way. <laughs> but it's good. I like it. You're nominated tonight, right? You're in a category, a panel. Uncle award. of the year. But it will be undeserved if I get it because Magisk was the, 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 the best anchor of the year. He was the most consistent for nine months. If I get it, I, I, feel, I would feel like I stole it a bit from him. Okay, all right. Well, well all right. Well, uh, look, I'm being told we need to go to an interview. So before we go, do you want to say anything to the people at home? What? Do you want to say anything to the people at home? No, no, I'm good. I'm All right, good. we're going to go to an interview with Adren. We'll be right back. We'll see you later, Flamesy. Yes, it's absolute chaos in here. We've got Flamesy sitting on the back of the sofa, but I'm joined on the red carpet by an absolute OG. Once again, I'm going to use the word a true legend of the game because he's nothing but that. Thorin, a.k.a. Adren, a Kazakh national icon. Brother, great to see you. It's been far too long. I was missing you, bro. I was missing you. I was missing to see all the old players around gathering together in one place, you know. I saw the Pasha biceps. I said, get right, shocks, everyone in one place. This is amazing. Now that you've been to this one, and by the way, the full ceremony and the big awards haven't happened yet. Are you ever going to miss another one? Miss another one? Ever not come to this event? I, I never come. This is my first time because, you know, you see how I'm looking. Because I didn't know that we have to dress up like uh, going to a wedding, you know. Yeah. Like, like, <laughs> I thought there's going to be like some swag. So that's, I'm just like, I don't know, maybe Will Smith. Where did you get it all from? Is it like Kazakh des designers? We got some LV on the shoes, yeah. for instance. L LV is a Kazakh designer. <laughs> yeah. So, Doran, what else have you been up to? I don't know if everybody knows at home. Like, I, I use the phrase national icon in, in, in Kazakhstan because you are like, you're huge there. Like, what have you been up to there? And like, tell us what's going on in the life of Doran. Not that huge that I want to be, but still, uh, yeah, a lot of... Uh, Young players who played CS, everyone recognize me, like uh, players who are around the esports uh, don't know me. But not that much that I want to be like, uh, you know, Gennady Golovkin, maybe. Uh, the, the, yeah, the, yeah, the, G, triple G, yeah. yeah, Triple G. Huge one. Like, Shavkat Rahmanov, every sport player is like you huge in Kazakhstan. 
I want to be like super. <laughs> That's what I'm looking at. You know? I want to go to the stars. Yes. All right. Well, um, Dawn, it's such a place to chat. Are you looking forward to getting inside and seeing the theatre and, and watching all the uh, awards play out? Uh, sorry? Are you looking forward to being inside and watching all the awards? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. I like, like what I'm doing here. Let's just leave it there, all right? Is there, is there anything that you'd like to say to everybody at home, uh, that the Kazakh audience maybe, feel free? Всем спасибо, кто смотрит. Всем привет. Смотрите квартиру 36. И с вами был Адриан. I love you all. Thank you for who cheering and watching me till this time. Uh, I will come back never to see us. <laughs> there we go. And we, we'll, do the, we'll, do, we'll do this. Okay. Well, everybody, Adrian, legend. Oh, dude. That was amazing. Yeah. That was great. What is happening? There's some of the comedy you were looking for. Yes, pilot comedic moments. Yeah. That, that's what we're looking for. No, but Adrenaline, another one of the absolute legends of the game. We got a couple what of the, them. What's the, what's the unbuttoning happening over well, there? Was that's already, like, oh, I'm, I'm the talent of the year. <laughs> it was already it. unbuttoned. I just no, think I, it was holding itself I, together a little okay, bit. Better. There you okay, go. okay. Yeah. All right, all right. Uh, but no, fun. good to hear from Adrenaline. He's going to be uh, giving out an award here this evening. Yeah. Uh, major MVP. Yeah, once upon a time, Krakow 2017. That was a PGL major. Uh, and, well, I remember even watching him in 1.6 days, him playing on 100 ping, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, in early CSGO as well. I mean, he was called yeah. the, the king of 100 ping, right? That was, that was, that was, that was his nickname. Bardolf, Bardolf coins, if I remember. That was pretty good. Yeah. That, that was a good nickname for him, I think. Yeah, look, uh, playing on high ping in CS2 is definitely not too much fun. I don't know how much fun it was back in the day, but he made it work. Now, look. Uh, Maybe that's why he's saying, like, come back to CS never, you know? But he's having a good time, you know, <laughs> talking about, you I mean, know, he's streaming, he's doing stuff. He's, he's not, like, out, out, you know? He's yeah. just not competing. Yeah, but, like, we got that personality coming through in English, he's obviously speaking his native tongue yeah, when he's doing yeah. so. If he's that funny in his native tongue, you know, he's probably having a great time. People loving everything he has to do here. But uh, look, we are getting towards the tail end of our little, uh, well, this was the community awards segment. Yes. Uh, what would we have called the opening segment? It was the just the pre, pre show. The feeling it out segment. The pre show. The pre show. Vibe yeah. check. The vibe check. The vibe okay. check. Keeping up with the kids, what would you say? Is it mid? Is what's the is it? Is I think it it's top? pretty. I think it's pretty top. What's is it? I top? think it's Does pretty top. Peak? Is, I think is, that's, that's cap. Uh, I think you're capping. You're capping yeah, right now, yeah. hard. Okay. Yeah. Right. Can we get Flamesy back? He might be able to help <laughs> us with the lingo, mate. We we lost the young kid. I can see no, Henry G wearing we, a pinstripe suit. Oh, I didn't see him at all. Uh, but we do still have one big thing to do before we go into the not yeah, a big thing. In Maybe, about uh, in about three minutes time. It's a very. Um, not complex thing that we're going to have. Not, compl okay, Not wow. complex. Look at this guy. Yeah, we will be talking to someone very special in about uh, four minutes. So if you are waiting to hear from uh, somebody who featured in the top 20 this year, don't go too far. We can allude to that at least. Oh, actually, you know what? Symbol's ready right now. Uh, let's get the man on the line uh, because uh, we've got Sasha the Smasher himself. No, oh, if, 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 I think that... Whoa, well, okay. Here he is. Sasha, how are we doing, mate? Hello. Well, we can't hear you. At we least can't I can't. Right now, but we can see him. He's looking dashing right now. He's even. He's got. A, he's got a shirt on. For we can't hear you, simple. But we can see you. How good are you I at sign? Oh, there we go. We can hear you. There we go. We can hear you. Okay. Hello. Hey, How you guys. Hey. Thanks, bro. Chat. Yo. Congrats for the work. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I was watching, bro. I yeah. was watching. Oh, that's great. That's uh, very nice to hear. Now, simple. Where are you at at the moment in the world? Right now, I'm in Warsaw. Warsaw, my friend. Okay. Just uh, what? You just pugging away, having a good time. Yeah, I'm actually doing a lot of uh, a lot of work. Okay, now uh, I saw you made a tweet today, uh, a bit of an announcement that you wanted to make. Yeah, yeah. You think it's time? Well, uh, do you want to let the world know, or is it? Are we losing simply? Are you going to Valorant? What's happening? Yeah, it's actually hard to say, but um, yeah, I decided to retire. I decided to retire from competitive scene and. Uh, I know it's, for, for some people, some people know this, but some people don't know. And uh, I just want them to know that I'm just kidding. Hey, <laughs> what are you I'm doing? Not gonna, I'm not going to slide number one once again. <laughs> and, actually <I> want, <laughs> and actually, I want to say that uh, for the past one year, I'm working with my new project. I'm working with my brother and uh, our team. and. Uh, I'm practicing right now a lot to come back, but besides that, yeah, I'm actually doing a lot of job, and I know that this is going to be a revolution in educational project related to gaming, and uh, in this project I put my heart, my soul, 
and everything to teach people not just to play better competitive, but just for other people who want to play better in normal games with friends, they will learn a lot. And uh, the launch is planned for April, and I cannot say more details, but you will know much more later. Okay, simple. So uh, you're working on some educational Counter-Strike. Will it even help me? Bro, it, it definitely helped you because I was giving you a lot of advice and you never listened to me. <laughs> right now. Yeah. But now you cannot escape. Escape. You cannot. All right, look, uh, we played a pug together like a year ago and you were like, oh, you're actually not that bad. So I took that as a compliment. Hey, you got some champagne going on. Of course, bro, of course. I don't have a fucking huge amount of people behind me, but still I want to celebrate with you. Yeah, that's beautiful. Okay. Well, it's great to have you. Congratulations on Cheers, the project man. you're working on, Simple. Cheers. Uh, look, Cheers. and are you going to give us any information? When will we see you coming back, or are you are still enjoying your time at the moment? Uh, it depends. It depends. I want to come back, but uh, there's a lot of a lot of details. But still, uh, I'm still working on a lot of things. How do you feel and, in terms uh, of CS2? How, how do you feel about your individual level? Uh, my individual 10. level better than 97% right now. Oh. Anytime okay. I play Blast Premier, I got cheaters. Anytime I play Face It, I got noobs in team. So please, <laughs> give me some team. I'm just kidding, I have team. I have my lovely organization and everything will be all right. But uh, yeah, as I said before, three months and you can play CS again. It's only two past, so. Maybe when I come back, I'm going to be like in one month or two months, it doesn't matter. Right. I, hope, uh, I hope Valve is going to make better TS. Cool. All right. Well, uh, simple. It's been uh, great to get to talk to you, mate. Now, I saw your tweet where you uh, placed in the top 20 this year. Are you still not happy that you made a, made a placement in the top 10? I'm happy. Of course I'm happy. Because uh, I'm in top 10, I think, I, I, I don't remember, but maybe six or seven years in a row. And I'm actually proud of this because uh, I put a lot of effort to get my name on this level. And I don't want to stop. But uh, I think uh, for, well, myself and I think most people, uh, they look at you as the GOAT, the, the greatest of all time, the, the best to ever do it, definitely the most entertaining figure and player that we've had. And uh, I look forward to getting to see what you put out with the project that you've got. And thank you for joining us tonight, and thank you for gracing us with your presence. It's great to see you. Uh, we're going to jump into a video and check out uh, what you've got coming up. Thank you, guys. See you. April 2024 looks like Simple is going to be releasing, as we were talking, some educational content for Counter Strike. I'm going to be intrigued to see what that is, and if it uh, if it actually can help me, you know, I'm I'm on the hunt for a bit more Elo, so I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't mind some simple tips. So uh, yeah, it's great that he's done that little announcement with us here during the award show for HLTV for 2023. Now, look, we're going to keep the ball rolling because the doors have just opened to the theater. People are going to start filling bums in seats, but uh, I've been told we've got Parla standing by with Naphany. That's absolutely correct. I mean, you can actually see us over your shoulder. I mean, Chad, you could just walk over here and say hello to Naphne with me. Naphne, great to see you, mate. How are you doing? I'm great, thank you. Hello. hello. Great Chad you. saying hello to Naphne. Uh, Naphne, your first HLTV award show. Uh, how are you finding the experience so far? Actually, it's, uh, this one is a great one. Uh, I heard a lot of from uh, Shiro and Exile that the uh, previous one was good, but this one, I guess, better. Uh, first of all, it's kind of like home city for me, and uh, I'm happy that like here's a lot of faces that I know, and it's really nice to have a moment that I can chat with them and etc. Right, so, yeah. So Naphne was telling me off camera, you're living here now, right, in Belgrade? That's where Bet Boomer placed out of the team. Yeah, actually, we have a game house here, and uh, also I'm living here for like uh, one and a half year already. 
maybe even more. I don't really know. But uh, yeah, I mean, I like Belgrade. I like Serbia. So that's it. Yeah. And Nafani, tell me about BetBoom. I mean, you've been at the heights of Counter-Strike. This project now seems like one that you're going to have to build to take to the next level. Are you looking forward to the challenge? Yeah, of course. I mean, uh, it's always hard to build something new, especially when you don't have like a lot of uh, like stuff around you. And we're trying to build it like uh, brick by brick. And it seems like uh, we already did good work, but still it's uh, only major matters right now. Because if you will be on the major, you will have like a lot of different invites. Uh, let's say you, you, you will be on a major. I mean, that's important. And uh, it's closing qualifiers soon, so I, be I just believe that we will do good work at this tournament, and that's it. Nafani, best of luck. Is there anything you'd quickly like to say to everybody watching at home, and your fans? Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, thanks everyone who support me, and uh, it's really uh, nice when I can understand that uh, people who supported me in Gambit or uh, in Players or even in Cloud9, uh, and they still continue to support me. I mean, it's really important for me, and uh, I feel like like a lot of people uh, doing that. And yeah, I, I'm really appreciated. Thank you. Nafni, thank you so much for your time. Look, mate, you better start heading into the auditorium. This tr uh, show is truly ready to get on the road. Color is uh, bang on there. Now, look, we're going to get proceedings underway very, very shortly. But coming up next, we have the panel awards. Strike, you want to give us a quick uh, rundown on the panel awards, just so people know what they're about to see? Yeah, of course. I mean, th these are the panel awards that were decided by, in majority by the players or representatives from the, from the top 20 teams of the year. We kind of decided the top 20 like the last, in the, like about a month ago, you know, and just gave out the, uh, the voting kind of sheets to them. So 20 of those people voted in for, for the, the categories that we have in the panel awards plus uh, some pundits, I think it was 10 pundits plus five people from the HLTV staff, you know, so this is really voted on by your peers, you know, by, for, for the players. Yes, and uh, that's what we're about to jump into now, and then we're going to come back for a bit of an interval, and then we're going to have, uh, well, the HLTV Awards presented by 1xBet uh, to close out the show for the second half. Uh, I think we might be ready to get things underway, gentlemen. So are you happy to get inside, get into your seat, and uh, get ready to watch Maniac and Freya bring us the show? More than happy. All right, well, let's get the show on the road. Very complicated job, but a lot of simple things. So much. One move. One push. One touch. One love. One click. One expert. It's my absolute honor to welcome you all to the HLTV Awards 2023 presented by One Expert. We are live from Belgrade, Serbia in an evening which is all about celebrating excellence which has gone down in 2023. My name is Freya Spears, joined by Mathieu Miniak kikre and we are absolutely privileged to be bringing you the proceedings tonight. Yeah, it's going to be a beautiful evening and before we start, I just want to say, you guys look amazing. Thank you for playing the game. Give a round of applause for yourself. Absolutely beautiful. It's such an incredible turnout tonight. But let's just think about what has happened in the past year, Matthew. We've bid farewell to CSGO, had the final major going down in Paris. We said hello to CS2 as we welcomed in the proceedings at Intel Extreme Masters Sydney. So I think it is only right that we reflect on the past decade of global offensive in our love letter to CSGO. I think that Cancer Strike is the best game ever created. Yeah. 
Is he is dying? No, I hope not. I need to stop talking about Kansai dying. I think CSGO is going to be one of the games taking over the best title. I don't enjoy competing in it as much as 1.6. The future for 1.6 is a bit uncertain. It's CSGO now and, and I hope it stays with the CSGO. You know what? Who cares? Nip who is going to win. I think people should uh, appreciate what we're able to do here. Next. He's walking around and just walking in a stack to a pillar. Your ESL and Kalanita champions are fanatic! Gonna hit the ground there, it's cold. Oh! I don't know about you, Matthew, but I just get pure goosebumps looking at how much has gone down, how much the scene has grown throughout the past 10 years of Global Offensive. Yeah, beautiful images as well. I just wanted to give a shout out as well uh, to Connor's crony, Gervin, who's in the house. He's had a couple of moments here. Put your hands together for Connor as well. It's Connor, beautiful lines. Absolutely incredible stuff. There's been so much that has gone down. I mean, in the past 10 years alone, let alone I the know. last year that has been 2023. But I don't know about you, Matthew. Do you want to get into our first category of the Let's evening? Let's do it. Let's do it. Coach of the Year, the first category here at the HLTV Awards 2023, presented by One Expert. And this is a very interesting one to be kicking off with, Matthew, because it's not only about being a motivator for your team, but a mentor, particularly in a difficult transition, you know, coming from CSGO into CS2. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And it's been a movement full year, to say the least. You think about Blade, Renavi getting a brand new international roster. You think about Zonic departing Vitality, Ecstas is coming in. Hell, even has now has got a job as a coach. We see he's right there over there with his <laughs> sunglasses on. We see you, brother. He's got a coach role as well now. So it's been hard to keep track of him, but we still got the highest quality. Well, with such high caliber finalists, I think it's only apt that we bring out, you know, the most respected, the most esteemed, the most decorated coach of all time. But unfortunately, Blade couldn't join us this evening. So put your hands together for our second best option, it's Yanko. So stylish. Yes, it's, uh... Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Wonderful intro. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, yeah, I know a lot of you are disappointed because in the announcement, it was not only supposed to be me presenting this award, but also Kassad. Unfortunately, these days, he's been having some issues with his alarm clock. You know, he's turning up late. <laughs> So a lot of different things, but you know, coaching isn't easy. I know Kassad, he just came back to it. He already lost a lot of hair, got a lot of gray hair in his beard. I don't know why he's done that, but enough about him. We have a lot of great candidates, so without further ado, let's check out the finalists for Coach of the Year. The finalists for Coach of the Year award by OneXBet are Saw, Cyclone, Sonic. Yeah. 
And the winner of Coach of the Year 2023 is Zonek. Now, unfortunately, Zonic couldn't join us in person tonight, but he has sent us a short video. Hello, hello, boys. First and foremost, I'd like to thank Hazel to be for making this wonderful award show. I think it's nice that players, coaches, um, analysts, and, and content creators get some get some praise for for the good work they do throughout the year. Um, secondly, I would like to thank yeah all the Vitality guys for helping me win this award, uh, from players to to staff. Um, and obviously also the management helping us focus on, on CS only. Um, it's a, a, I think it's a, it's an individual award that you really never get tired of, but super proud of, of winning it. Um, especially want to, to thank the players for, for helping me win this award. I would be nothing uh, without them. Um, but also staff in, in terms of um, Pesh uh, and Lars and Matt, uh, Lars for helping us win the um, the Paris Major. It was a mental tough task, I would say, but also Matt for being the heart and soul of this team. And and um, this uh, this award is not just for for the head coach; it's also for him because he he deserves it just as much as I do. Um, finally, would like to to thank the most important person, and that is obviously my wife for. For making it possible for me to have this 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 work with two kids it's it's not always easy to to plan everything but super happy to to have very important people in, people in my life who, who who i would like to share this success with so thank you guys and thanks to all the fans especially the golden Hornets, for supporting us last year in vitality um and yeah lastly looking forward for 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 this year with falcons uh, it's a new uh, challenge and um, sorry I couldn't be there, but but uh, I guess the Vitality guys also know how tough it is to to create a new team from scratch. So so I had to put all my focus here and uh, and yeah, see you guys on the server and uh, enjoy the show. Yeah, huge congratulations to Zonic. Just think about the year that he had in 2023. We're talking about his fifth major trophy, the first obviously with the international squad of Vitality sitting in that front row. An incredible year from our coach of the year. Matthew. Definitely, Trailblazer as a, as a coach, and we're gonna follow his steps now in Falcon, see where he's going with this, but we have to give it to him, 2023, a great year. Yeah, Zonic certainly ain't done yet, but I think we should move on to our next category of the evening. IGL of the year indeed, and I know it's a category that always creates a little bit of discussion. How do you rate a leader? How do you rate a leader? Is it results and trophies? Is it the brand of Counter-Strike you're playing? Do you think about the quality of the roster? And what we do always is that we just use the logic that follows our narrative. So I have my favorite, I'll use my logic, we'll see if this time around it works. And I think that's what's so exciting about our three finalists for this category, right? Because you look across the board and what they've achieved in 2023 was incredibly different. We've got Carrigan obviously netting his first Intel Grand Slam back at the beginning of the year, a litany of CS2 trophies to follow. Apex obviously taking his second major trophy, the first with that international squad. And Snappy as well, leading the young guns to the charge and taking that that trophy at IM Dallas. Yes, indeed. And now we do need to have our guest announcer. And I have to be honest with you guys, there is a bit of a personal connection here. You see, 20 years ago when you used to play Counter-Strike, you could change your nickname in the console. I know I'm getting technical for half a second. You could basically use the nickname of stars and players you were looking up to. And I was a 12-year-old kid, and they were already professional players at the time. And I used to fake nick this guy. I used to pretend I was this guy because I was already such a fan. And I cannot believe I actually get to introduce him and meet him in the flesh for the first time. So I would like you to put your hands together for former Eolithic SK and NOA player element. Thank you so much for that humble introduction. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Steam players, fans around the globe. Tonight, I'm not here just as a former in-game leader, but as a fervent admirer of this incredible sport that has evolved so dramatically over the years. 
Now, reflecting back on my years from 2001 to 2008, the world of Counter-Strike was a different landscape. We were pioneers navigating uncharted territory of strategy and teamwork. And every match was a lesson in leadership and skill. I still remember to this day the first time someone had the balls to use a smoke flash in an official game. Unfortunately, I happened to be on the receiving end of it, and Heaton became world famous for using it against me in the CPL final. Back then, we relied heavily on instinct and raw talent, building the foundations of what has become an incredibly sophisticated and strategic game. Today, I'm in awe at how far we've come. The role of an in-game leader has transformed, demanding not just in-depth game knowledge, but incredible skills in communication, psychology, and strategy. The in-game leader And as we prepare to honor the best among these modern titans, let's remember the essence of what really makes a great leader. It's not just about the strategies devised or the rounds won. It's about inspiring your team, adapting to challenges, and above all, upholding the spirit of the game when times are tough. The person we're about to honor embodies these qualities and much more. So join me as we celebrate the past, the present, and the future of in-game leadership. To the legends who paved the way, the champions who hold the torch today, and aspiring leaders who dream of holding it tomorrow. Thank you so much, and your nominees are. The finalists for IGL of the Year Award by One Expect are Apex. Kerrigan. Snappy. Your in-game leader. <laughs> uh, your in-game leader of 2023 is Apex. <laughs> Well, thank you, everyone. Um, first of all, I would like to thank my teammates and staff. Uh, we changed a lot this year, but it's been an amazing year, and, um, and I'm really proud of what we made this year. It's been four years for me to be in Game Leader, and achieve what we did this year, and getting this award is something that uh, I dream for, so thank you very much. I think that most of in game leader have to do more than uh, than the the other players to be recognized i'm thinking about the guy here he's called oxy and uh, he's made an amazing job this year as well he's not nominated in the third in the three there but he's done such a good job to the last time g2 won a trophy was when i was there in 17 and he won it uh, again after a lot of years so i think Players like us need uh, maybe more credit, and I'm proud today to get this trophy. So thank you, everyone. It has been such an incredible year for Apex. Just think about his career trajectory for a second. We're talking about a man who started off as an entry frag. He was the first into every single situation and just how he's developed now flourishing in that role of in-game leader. I'm still amazed, honestly. I mean, for the people who've been here a while, we know how Apex was when he was a little younger, right? He was a bit of a wild animal. I used to play beside him. I used to know how he was. And you write the path he's gone as a man, as a leader of men, just commands admiration. An absolutely amazing feat from Apex. Well, we've begun off with our first two awards, but it's time to take a quick break. But when we are back, plenty more awards at the HLTV Awards, brought to you by One Expert. Bomb has been planted. A very complicated job, but I love simple things so much. One move. One push. One touch. One love. 
one click, one expert. Very complicated job, but I love simple things so much. One move. One push. One touch. One love. One click. One expert. A short and sweet ad break. That's exactly how we like it here at the HLTV Awards. I don't know about you, Matthew, but our first two winners of our first two categories here at the HLTV Awards 2023, incredibly well-deserved, just looking at the impact that they have had upon the past year. Is it because they're from Vitality? Is that what you're asking me, this? I guess we're both a little... Because we're supposed to be unbiased when we're on stage. We're yeah. supposed to take, you know, take it easy, respect everybody. I mean, Can't they're coming up as Team of the Year later, and actually, you had a bit of an input on these exact finalists, right? Because these yes. are our panel awards, just to reiterate once again. Uh, of course, we had some talents, some players, and some members of HLTV voting on who is going to be winning in each of these categories. Yes, 35 people, uh, to be exact, as you say, member of the panel. HLTV, I had my say as well, so you can always tweet at me if you disagree with the winner. I'm not going to read it, but you can tweet at me anyway. <laughs> we had a say, at least, in these panel awards. Well, I believe Paula has a very special guest to be checking in with. So, uh, Paula, what is going on down there in the audience? Where are you at? Bill Gray! What is going on? <laughs> Freya, I have more than just one guest. I'm going to start with this young man, Flame D. Everybody give it up! That sound. <laughs> that sounds good, that sounds good. Could be louder. <laughs> enjoying the vibes, young man? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Uh, I think the event looks amazing, and I'm happy that, uh, you know, Zonic, who was my coach, is the, is the winner of the Coach of the Year, and now Epic, and I assume there is one more to come, at, at minimum. <laughs> uh, so I'm happy with the team. Uh, the energy here is amazing, and I love it. Everyone, give it up for Flames! <laughs> Have to check in with this suave, sophisticated man as well. We've got Spinks here. Spinks, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Short and sweet. Uh, are you enjoying the event so far? Yes, it's been an amazing job from uh, HLTV. Yeah. Are you ever going to miss another HLTV award show, or are you always going to be coming back? Uh, I told the team before we are coming back, we are coming here, that it was a hard travel day. Maybe we dodge next year. But uh, after being here, I told them, no way we dodge. We need to go again. <laughs> Who else in here is going to be going to go again? <laughs> Thank you, Spinks, for your time. Of course, I have to check in. No? Oh, Freya, I think we've been in this situation before. How did, how did it go? Interview? No. It, it, no, I don't know. Interview? Interview? No, 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 I don't know. All right. well, with that being said, give it up for Zai Woo! <laughs> Quite an interesting dynamic here because we've got two absolute gunners sat shoulder to shoulder, separated by just a small margin here. Everyone, an absolute legend of the game. Give it up for Nico! <laughs> Great to see you. Nico, you're looking fantastic. As I've asked everybody else, you enjoying the event so far? Yeah, it's been amazing. I have missed on the last year, and uh, I'm really happy to attend this one, and uh, it's been amazing so far. Yeah, Nico, does it mean even more considering that it's happening here in Serbia, which, where you're based out of at the moment? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely to have it uh, in my home, or not home city, but it's where I'm living right now, so uh, I couldn't miss this one. Nico, anything else that you'd like to say to everybody watching at home? Um, I'll keep it for the stage. Oh, okay, I like that. Everyone wants to get give it up for Nico. Of course, we need to go down the line of G2, Monacy and Hunter. How are you boys doing? I'm feeling, thank you. <laughs> good reference, reference game on point. Hunter, yourself? Feeling good, feeling good. Wicked, wicked. Guys, give it up for these two. Then, of course, we'll head on over 
to Mr. Nexa. Congratulations on joining the team. How are you feeling, mate? Ah, I'm great. Thank you, Nico. <laughs> is, that, is that where the opportunity predominantly came from, or was it a bit more complex than that? A bit more complex. All right. Nexa, are you enjoying being on this squad? I know it's, the recent results haven't been exactly what you want, but I feel like you're positive considering the conversation that we had outside. Um, yeah, of course. I'm happy to be back. Nice. Yeah, Nexa! Whoa! I already spoke to this dangerous man, but I'm going to say hello once again, because of course we're speaking to G2. G2's latest coach, Taz, everybody. <laughs> uh, am I allowed? Is this like, are we good? Okay, all right, sorry. That one's not going to work. I don't want to mess with that man. He's about like one foot taller than me. Going to have to speak to this guy right here. Everybody give it up for the UK's best, the UK's very own, M to the E to the Z, I, I, Mezu. Is that too much for you? Because I know you're a shy man. Uh, it was fun. It was good. Good yeah. intro. Good intro. How are you doing, mate? I mean, over the last few years, your career has just gone from strength to strength to strength. It must be pretty awesome to reflect back on it at an event like this. Yeah, no, it feels good. Uh, two months with the team and couldn't ask for a better start. So, uh, no, it feels good to be here. Wicked. Everybody give it up for Mezzi. I'm not entirely sure how much time I have, but I always have time for this man here. I've been using the phrase so much over the course of the evening in the interviews, etc. but it's because it's applicable to so many people here. A true legend, someone that has made history in the game, that over the span of their career was competing at the highest level for so long, really laid a foundation for so many of us here. Please give it up for Christopher Goodright Alison! Were the entrance? Say what? Were the entrance? Was it enough for you? Uh, it was a five out of ten. <laughs> Get right. How are you doing, mate? How's the streaming going? Uh, it's going well. I'm just happy to be here and seeing this amazing show, and I'm just happy to be back. It's great to have you here because we had you here last year. Have you seen how everything has been upgraded? This auditorium is probably twice or three times the size. We've been providing hospitality outside. Has the experience been up to par for your Swedish tastes? Yeah, it's okay. It's just about, just about. All right, Pasha, I spoke to you earlier, but just can I get some quick thoughts on the floor from yourself once again? You're looking suave and sophisticated, sir. Thank you, Pala. It's nice to hear that. <laughs> I think you always have. Um, Pasha, similar to people like Get Right, you know, you've been involved in the scene for so long. You are truly an icon in our scene. Are there any words that you'd like to say to reflect on that, your career, and to everybody at home? Guys, eSport is just amazing. Uh, I like to be here, so this is kind of uh, one of favorite my events of the year. So I am enjoying uh, waiting for the party, and I, I need to talk with some people from the eSport. <laughs> and I am ready for this, for the night. Pass your biceps, everybody. Oh, wow, this is incredible. It's like I go through every row, I look at every face, and there's always a person of interest. After this one, we will head back to the stage, but it would be amiss if I did not say hello to my good friend here. Once upon a time, the fastest orb to ever exist. He is still a titan of sorts. Give it up for one of my favorite snipers of all time. It is Kenny yes! <laughs> Kenny, how are you doing, brother? I'm doing good, and you? Yeah, good. Enjoying the vibes. Just trying to, you know, do my job, and that's talking to you, so. You're doing great. Oh, thank you so much, brother. It's a pleasure to have you here. Um, how are you finding the vibes? How are you finding this event so far? Uh, so far, so good. The champagne is amazing. <laughs> how many glasses deep are we? Nah, just three so far. Just three. All right, well, you better get on it, mate. Everybody give it up for Kenny S. All right, I think I'm going to be down on the floor two or three more times to have some fun. If you'd like to chat, just wave my way. I'll be looking at you. Freya and Maniac, back to you on the stage. Yeah, watch out. Every single one of y'all. Paul is coming, and there's nothing that is going to stop that man. Yeah, I got to say, if I was asleep at the beginning of this segment, goddamn, I'm awake. <laughs> Holy hell, Yeah, those loud. check ins were worth every Woo! bit of tinnitus that I am going to get yeah. from it. But uh, we I'm got back. the vibe check from the Frenchman himself. The champagne's on point. Would you agree, Matthew? I have no idea what you're talking about. I haven't had a glass so far. I've just I've been on water right now. Banks seem to think otherwise. Uh, maybe I had a couple, you know. Maybe we should move on to our next category of the evening. Got him. AWP of the year, indeed. We ended up with, with Kenny as talking to Paula. We're staying on brand. Um, 
what else to say about the pedigree of our nominees than talk about the people who didn't make it to that list. And I think that in itself sends a huge message. If you think that Sam Pius, sixth best player in the world, didn't make the cut, you think Shiro, seventh, didn't make the cut. Simple, doesn't need an introduction, did not make the cut. This is the, the caliber, this is the quality of the AWPs we're looking at here at the HLTV World by One Expert. It's such an exciting category to be diving into, not least when we think about the actual context, right? Because moving from CSGO into CS2, um, it wasn't easy for the it authors wasn't. to be adapting. They had to optimize every single point of their game skill to be coming out on top. And that's why these three nominees stand head and shoulders above the rest. You are absolutely correct. And we're going to stay on track with the French scene for the next announcer. You know, France has produced its fair share of great snipers, and he's no other. We're bringing up the DreamHack Winter 2014 major winner, but more importantly, the author of the famous quote, Yo Liz Noobs. Please welcome Smith. Et yo les noobs C'est comme ça, c'est comme ça. I'm uh, really happy to be there. Uh, thanks to HLTV uh, and Relog to, to organize this kind of event. I think uh, back in the days when I was starting playing Counter-Strike, uh, I was hoping and dreaming that uh, eSports would become like a sport. And for me, uh, people was thinking I was crazy. And I guess I was not. Now players are getting paid. We can organize like this type of event. So I think it's amazing. So thanks again. <laughs> and I think it's really an honor for players right now to pursue their dreams, to have these kind of awards. Back in the days in my career, I would have loved to, to pursue these kind of title like AVP of the year. So. The nominees are the finalists for Oper of the Year Award by One Xbet are Brokey. Monacy. And the winner is Zaiwu! To be honest, uh, I start before because I'm a bit stressed, you know. But to be honest, I used more already my Joker, but uh, no, 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 I don't know. So it's a bit too late now. But yeah, I'm really happy to have this title again. And not again, but yeah. <laughs> I'm going a bit too far now, but yeah, I'm really happy to have this because it's been a lot for me to, to have this open. Yeah. Dan, stop uh, laughing, please. But yeah, I'm a bit stressed now, you know. I'm just, <laughs> but yeah, I'm really happy to have this because it means a lot for me. Vitality helped me a lot as well for, for having this trophy out of the year because alone I cannot handle this pressure under me. And having a Vitality behind me it's mean a lot for me because I can just play my game, just having fun, just being me every time I'm playing this game. So thank Vitality, also my family who support me every time behind me. So thanks everyone for, who vote for me and support me every day.
man forever, the humble king in Zywin. <laughs> Just think about the year that he's had. It could not be more poetic that he lifts his first major trophy on home soil in Paris, of course. Yeah, you're absolutely correct. What a year it's been for Zywin, and I have a tingling feeling it might not be the only time we get him on stage. It's great to see him as well, get a bit more comfortable with the interviews, get out there, get his swag going on. I think we get to see more from Zywin every now and then. That's a pleasure. Yeah, he's up for quite a lot of nominations this evening, but I think it is time to move on to our fourth category of the evening. Anchor of the Year presented by HLTV and One Expert. And I don't know about you, Matthew, but I think this gives props to what I would say is the unsung hero of the squad, right? These guys don't always have the sexiest positions, but they always need to be a reliable force within the team. You're right, it's the foundation of any championship winning team. And if you look back towards the year, the big events, Every winning team has an anchor that left the mark. You're talking about JKS in Katowice, Majisk at the Major. You're talking about Flamesy in the Royal Arena. Whenever a team is winning, this is when you get to realize what it really is to have a, a great anchor that's really pulling his weight. Oh, and by the way, before we go live, uh, if, if JKS doesn't win, I would like someone to have eyes on Chad. So make sure Chad is okay, because you know, we might have a doubt. Just yeah, so security, Chad's eyes on sponge. Check, please, yeah, somewhere in the audience. Don't know Maybe where celebrating he is. his talent of the year win. I don't know. But uh, to present this particular award is a player who has lifted 17 trophies over the course of his career, including one major in a career which has spanned over two decades. Please give it up for Edward. Hello, 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 everyone. I would like to give you a little confession, and um, you know, I always had one addiction, uh, and I assume you all have. Like, I mean, the players, professional players, we always had the same addiction to the HTTV.com. Yep. I mean, once we hit the, the web, that web page, we dive deep in the treats, topics, news, we always read the comments, and sometimes it, we got blue, we got sad, we got happy, excited, and my point is, I just would like to say thank you, HLTV.com, for being a part of my life and being a part of my career. Yeah, just thank you for that. And uh, a little bit shout out to my current team ESC, Frankie, Christopher, Artie, uh, Elsa, I love my wife. Shout out my parents. And let's cut the chase, shall we? And the nominees are Anchor of the Year. The finalists for Anchor of the Year award by OneXBet are Flamesy, <laughs> JKS, Magisk. Oh, we have done? Okay, uh, and the Anchor of the Year award goes to... <laughs> Magisk. Now, sadly, Majisk wasn't able to attend in person tonight, but he has sent us a video acceptance speech. Hello, everyone. This is Magisk from Falcons. I just want to say a huge thank you to Angel TV for giving me this award. I appreciate it a lot. And then, obviously, also everyone in my talent team who's been supporting me and making this award possible. Thank you so much. And then, most importantly, all the fans out there who's been supporting me, cheering for me throughout good and bad times. I appreciate it a lot. I hope you all have a wonderful night and enjoy the award show. Hello, everyone. This is Mattis. An absolutely incredible year from Majest. We're talking about his fourth major trophy, obviously the first time with the international squad of Vitality, and now he's looking on to uh, more in his future with his new squad.
Yes, indeed. Uh, an incredible amount of major as well. Such a strong player. I would say underrated. I think we're doing a better job at giving him the flowers and the praises that he deserves. Incredibly skilled, very solid, and we're going to keep an eye on his next adventure in the New Jersey. We have another adventure, which does involve Parla once again. So where have you found yourself in the crowd now, dude? I'm just on the other side, Freya, actually. I'm just in front of you. Hi, hi, hi. Everyone still feeling good? All right, I'm going to take a gambit here and see if any, if any of our content creators would like to chat. I'll start with Philip, who won our Creator of the Year. Give it up for three. Click. Philips. How are you doing, Philip? I'm doing right. very well, thank you. Yeah. Iconic voice, by the way. I never get old of hearing it in person. Are you aware of how like, awesome your voice is? I used to hate it, but I've come around to it now. Philip, does it, has it meant a lot to win this award, or is it just something that's like an icing on the cake for your empire on YouTube? Oh, it's brilliant. I mean, a lot of my time is spent in the virtual space. So to get something real like this means the world to me. So thank you very much. Anomaly, can I say hello? Yes, hello. Everyone give it up for one of the biggest CS creators of all time. It's Anomaly! Anomaly, how are you doing, mate? Very good. It's uh, not hot at all. <laughs> it, 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 oh, yeah, you look like you're probably like sweating profusely. Yeah, I am. All right, but... Are you having a good time? Yes. What did you mean by biggest YouTuber, by the way? Was that a... Twisted my words there, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Everyone once again, give it up for Anomaly! I'm walking, I'm striding. Dennis, we've already spoken. Everyone give it up for Seize, the true legend of the game. Oh, uh, looking swagged out. Yeah, so we spoke outside, we did an interview, but are you enjoying sitting here? I told you the auditorium was awesome, right? Yes. <laughs> I like that. Anyway, I think this row is going to be a bit more talkative, a bit more chatty, because uh, their job is talking. Hugo Byron! Thank you, Paula. I told you I didn't speak to you out there, because I knew where you were sitting, and I wanted to chat to you here. Hugo, are you having a fantastic time? Absolutely. You're killing it as a hype man, Paula. Uh, I'm glad HLTV showed out the big bucks. They are worth every penny. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. You got... Now, who are you here with? Talk me through your posse, brother. Well, we've got no Harry here tonight. We've got no Launders. So maybe I'm hooking up with a, a new commentary duo for next year. We'll see what happens. We've got, we got Connor Gervin, nominee for cast or for, for, for talent of the year, sorry. So happy to be with Connor again. Absolutely. Connor, I told you outside, keep an eye on that um, the video. What was it called? The exact word? The love letters, Town Strike. Did you hear your iconic line at the end? Yes, I did. I did hear the, the Paris intro. Yes. And how did that feel, seeing it on the stage, replayed, echoing through the halls? I mean, when I think of 2023 and Counter-Strike, that to me is kind of the moment I'm most proud of. Um, so to have it there in HLTV's Ode to the Year felt really special. Everyone give it up for Scrawny! I would love to descend more down the row. I can see Banks, I can see Venn, I can see Alan Hender, I can see Heku and Hawk, but it's going to be weird if I start like trampling over different people. All right, I'm going to move down to row number nine. This is one of my good friends, an absolute G from the German scene. Give it up for Dennis! <laughs> Dennis, mate, it's great to see you here. We haven't seen each other in years, so what are you up to these days? Just going to the gym, festivals, enjoying life, <laughs> doing nothing. Life is not so stressful anymore, so it's great. But you're looking fantastic. Mate, for someone like yourself that's, you know, that had played so long in the scene, does it mean so much to see an event like this and be a part of it? Yeah, of course. It feels amazing. It's just the atmosphere and the venue is crazy. I saw so many people again from back then, like you, or even my old teammates like Nico and stuff. So it feels really great and it's a lot of fun. Where's Chris J? I have no idea what he's doing. I didn't talk to him before. Chris, where are you, man? <laughs> Dennis, anything else you'd like to say before I speak to Timo, before I speak to Spiddy? No. All right, I like that. Spiddy, great to have you here as well. I'll lean ahead rather than make Dennis lean forward. Are you having a good time, sir? Yeah, I fully appreciate it. Like, I could not believe that the event is that big. Like, I was, I'm honored to be invited. Okay, wait, I hate to expose you here, Timo, but what's going on in that pocket? Because that's not exactly a pocket square, is it? I mean, I got, like, something special, like, from a special guy. Way! I don't know what's going on. Everyone give it up for Dennis and Spiddy! Producer, what were you saying? Do I continue or do I throw back? All right, we've run out of time. Sorry, everybody, but we will be back on the floor at some point in the show. For now, let's get into the good stuff. Head back to the stage with Freya and Maniac.
Oh, there is plenty more time, Parla, for you to grill. Oh, Literally we're going back to him. every single person in the audience. I hope you're looking forward to that. How do you rate the, the pocket square being, you know, the fashionista of Counter Strike? You mean the rose as a pocket square? Yeah, is that innovative or? I think it's, you called avant garde. It's avant garde. I think I, I like that. I might just show up with a rose next time, a rosary, just like yeah, out of my chest. It's a different take. We I'll like a bit it. of uniqueness. But time to move on to our next category of the evening. The closer of the year, indeed, and you know the quote, you save the best for last. I feel like it sort of applies to Counter-Strike a little bit. You look at the three nominees, and we're talking about people amongst the five best rifles in the game, period. These are the people you want to close your rounds. And now that HLTV cannot really silence me, I'm just going to take a second to say what we all think. Frozen should have been higher on that list. That's it. I said it. Sue me. There we go. It's on the record. But anyway, I, I make my claim. You do know HLTV are doing your paycheck for this But they already paid me. Event. They already paid me. Oh, I'm you good. get paid in advance. I'm you, safe. You, you get paid to be here. Anyway, yeah, obviously closer of the year. It's all about being that late game player, right? Able to optimize any single situation, even when the odds are stacked against you, being able to flip them back in your favor, right? Absolutely, flip them back in your favor. And this is just what our guest used to do when he was playing. We had Smith earlier on this stage, and just like Batman and Robin, Mario and Luigi, or Tom and Jerry, one doesn't go without the other, so please put your hands together for shocks. Hello? Hello? Want to meet Yes. All right. Hello, everyone. It's been, uh, it's been a long time since uh, I've not been uh, on the stage, so it's, uh, I'm pretty stressed, okay, let's be honest. Um, first, I wanted to thank uh, HLTV for being there. It's a real uh, pleasure to be there, honestly, and I'm really proud. So because of that, I guess I need to take a confession tonight about HLTV. So more than 10 years ago, uh, around 2011, something like that, I was maybe known as a CSS player, but not at the early days of CSGO. And because I was kind of fan of myself, I actually created a fake account on HLTV. And I, yes. And uh, I created a topic, you know, about shocks. Who is he? Damn, this guy is really good. <laughs> All right, so that, that's the first. <laughs> that's the first part. Second part, uh, I'm gonna actually um, give the award for the closer of the year. Um, we talk about AVP, we talk about IGL, about Anchor. Uh, everyone, I wanted to actually uh, take this moment to tell to everyone who is actually watching us, uh, even at home, that CS is, uh, before all, a team game. And a team can be there and can't be good without a good IGL, a good sniper, a good closer, and a good anchor, and after we'll see the opener. So everyone got a role, and to talk about that specific role, uh, I don't know if the winner is going to be there tonight, because he's probably lurking somewhere, I guess so. Um, so if he's not, uh, I will uh, take the award, uh, I mean, for the good old days, if that's fine, right? <laughs> and uh, the nominees are... The finalists for Closer of the Year Award by 1xbet are... Frozen. The winner is Rops. Yeah, unfortunately, or maybe fortunately for you, Shocks, uh, Rops couldn't hey, join yeah. us here tonight, but we can check in I with him in a short video message. Of the year award. And I'm super grateful to be in this position. I think overall the past year was successful. 
um, he did close out the Grand Slam, and we had some success in CS2 as well. I would like to take this moment to thank my teammates, of course, uh, the staff, thank my girlfriend, and of course, my mom as well. I'm looking forward to seeing how this next year plays out, considering CS2 is very unpredictable in terms of results. And I hope everyone's having a fun evening uh, out there. Thank you. We're having a fantastic evening. Thank you very much, Rob. And congratulations. I mean, such eloquent words coming out from him. And what a crazy year. The Intel Grand Slam, as he mentioned, but also such a hot start to CS2 and definitely one of the biggest innovators coming into the new iteration of CS. Yeah, he's been a trendsetter for the game, I think it's fair to say. Uh, and talk about modesty, saying we've had some sort of success in CS2. Yeah, it's, it's fair to say. You've had a fair amount of trophies immediately. One, two, three trophies back to back to back. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty good from Rops and the entirety of Phase Camp. But we must move on to our next category of the evening. From Rop's winning closure of the year, we move on to the flip side with our open of the year. And amongst so many attributes a player to be successful in this role must have, I think the one that stands out for me is calculated aggression, right? You always know how to flip the odds in your favor and open up a round for yourself and your team. Yeah, and you talk about ungrateful role. I think opener fits in that category too. I mean, the question is, are you more than just a meat shield? Are you the one we're throwing first? Are you an entry death? Or can you actually create something out of the situation? I think the names that stayed on that list are names that have an impact significantly, even though we just basically kicked them in the front of the round, and they indeed have an impact. We're here to present this award, 2017 major winner, major MVP, and the best 120 ping player we've ever seen. It's Adren. Assalamualaikum. Hi, everyone. Uh, it's nice to see you all here. You know, I, I, I like to see all the guys, old school guys, new guys, everyone. I'm glad to see, and I'm glad that Ashal TV bring me here to be an announcer. Always wants to be an announcer, you know. So, um, everybody, everybody knows, like, uh, half of my year I've been an uh, open fragger in my team. Like, half of the year, just imagine, 15 years, maybe more. Uh, and I'm happy that uh, this makes a big, bigger than it was before. Uh, I mean, nobody recognizes now the roles uh, like opener or closer. Everybody looks for stats. Everybody, like all players, looking for, you know, much more frags. Who is doing frags? He's a leader. Not, not, this is not, this is bullshit. Uh, everybody know that, uh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Every top player can be um, super good without support players, without uh, supporters that go on, without a team. So I'm happy to announce the opener and see the announcer, uh, finalists, sorry. The finalists for Opener of the Year Award by 1xBet are Nico. <laughs> Rain. Exertion. It's nice to see my ex two teammates in the finals, you know. And the winner is... <laughs> Nico. Hello everyone, uh, 
I'm really honored to be, to be here uh, since I have missed on the last award show. And uh, it's really nice to see everyone, uh, so many legendary faces as well. So uh, I'm really happy to see you guys tonight. I think it's important that uh, we acknowledge what HLTV is doing uh, for our community and our scene. I think, uh, I'm not sure if of myself I'm aware of how big and important this is, but uh, I think it's great and uh, they're doing an amazing job in uh, helping our scene grow and uh, making it just even bigger. And uh, when it comes to the award, yeah, winning it back-to-back, -back, I'm really proud of myself. And uh, obviously, I couldn't have done it uh, with, without my team that is uh, right in front of me for allowing me the space and do what I love. So uh, thank you guys for uh, helping me win another medal. <laughs> and I also just want to give props to uh, my ex-teammate, Rain, I honestly wouldn't be sad if he would have won this as well. Thank you, guys. An absolutely astounding 2023 coming out of Nico. If we're looking just at the trophies alone, he went back to back at Intel Extreme Masters Katowice yes. and then IEM Cologne as well, which were two trophies he had his eyes firmly sat on to be lifting. Extraordinary player, of course. Uh, a joy to follow, to watch and witness. And I believe back to back opener of the year by HLTV and 1X Bad. So, you know, he's out there. He's, he's got his hands firmly on the trophy and you got to pry it out of his hands. An absolutely incredible feat. And I mean, looking at 2023 alone, it's been so impressive. Just but just think about the career trajectory of this man, right? We're coming into new iteration of CS2, but so many years gone by, he's been able to stand in the upper echelons, and I think CS2 is going to be breeding the exact same fate. Nico. Yeah, I think Nico is always going to be a name that we mention in these awards. For as long as he wants to play the game, there's not that many like him out there. Well, we will be moving into our next category very shortly indeed, which is the top three highlights of the year. But before we do that, I think it's only apt that we relived some of the very best moments in our 1X Extraordinary Moments. Hiding in plain sight. Yeah, he could eventually start to look up. Can he find the angle? He's got the Mark, but it's up to KD to make it work. Oh, it's in a 2v4. Alexi's looking to give a haircut. I'll take begins. He did two of them. Oh, my lord. And that one be cooked. Should be. Oh, my god. Oh, oh come baby. on. Don't you dare. Rob. Oh, oh, there's a kid. There's a kid. Oh. What's going on? Sideways. Oh. To get out through the apartment glass from Neo Frag. Guns get swapped around. What? But, uh, the captain looks to try and do it for oh, yeah. Yeah. Side down below. They have no idea. It is the side of drop. But oh, this is going to be even more difficult. He just doesn't know. Oh. Now he does. Oh, oh, oh. Nika does right there. Backstreet hits the shot. A second. Every man's nightmare. Pushing to this one's running up for these guys. Oh, and he gets it. And on. But in that moment, it's going to be hard to hide. Okay, it starts. Beautiful. Oh, oh. 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 Hey, yo, what the fuck? Oh. The negative map of that. He is by the way with another view. And there it is. What is the last CSGO? the button that will kill everyone try again if you don't like it take your ass back to valorant motherfucker <laughs> what you can do it there's no way oh, the shadow i shut the fucking shadow See you short fest and console then press F10 and Netra. Got it! What the fuck is this shit? Valorant.
Valorant's the number one fucking first person shooter right now. I promise you, CS2 is Ow. easier. Who cares? Let's move on. The future looking bright, but right now I'm just gonna live in the moment. Every day I get a dub. This over here, you can hold it. Tonight we gon' shut it down. Tomorrow I be ibuprofen. Welcome to face, motherfuckers. Short player comes through. Two health. Chip pass to a headshot. Man, that has got to be one of my favorite compilations of all time, not least because of the absolute chaos that ensued when we were entering CS2, which uh, that video definitely reminded us of. <laughs> Reminds of how, how hard it was to start a CS2 game. I didn't know we could work out the Garden of the Galaxy in that video. I, we made it. We made it work. One expert shout out for that. It was a great video. Absolute pure res reference game on point. But alas, it is time to be moving into our top three highlights of the year. Now, I do not envy whose ever job it was to be turning that long list of clips into a short list of literally just three, because my god, Matthew, did we have so many incredible plays to go down in the past year. Yeah, we had an incredible amount of very valid and crazy highlights, and I think there's two roles you can go about it. You can try and be rational and think about when the... I don't care about that. Let's, let's just let the emotions run wild a little bit. Let's see how you feel when you watch a highlight. And some of them really got me right where it matters. We love to be a romantic when we're looking at CSGO highlights. But alas, we must be presenting our announcer for this particular category. And this man is one of the most versatile talents in the entire esports space. We're talking about guest, a uh, desk host rather, to commentator, to stage host, interviewer. But most importantly, the best mime in all of Counter-Strike. It's Alex Machine Richardson. Guys, we've got, we've got to keep clapping until they get up here, otherwise it's awkward, it's awkward. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, in the absence of Taco, I've been tasked with revealing the Highlight of the Year award. Uh, before we start, I've been a bit moved by some of the speeches people have given this tonight. I think Nico, in, we've seen that Taz clip at the start, the love letter where he references, there's nothing better than Counter-Strike, I think we're all bitten by that bug, that's why we're in this room. Yeah, thank you, I agree. Yeah. But, but what I'm going to say is that, that when I spoke to someone who very good at this video game, believe it or not, I, I've, I'm friends with uh, Simple. I call him Sasha. Uh, I, I'm first name basis, yeah. But I was outside and I was talking to him and I was like, why do you keep playing? And something he said to me stood out and he said, it's because I can do something that no one's seen before. And I think that's what these highlights are going to reference and show. The reason we keep coming back year after year, it's for the what ifs, it's for the he can't, but could he? The, that kind of thing, that vibe, and that's what these highlights feature. Some incredible names. Let's take a look at the nominees. The finalists for Highlight of the Year Award by One Xbet are Kadian. Zaivu I get to open the envelope. Your winner of Highlight of the Year, it's Zywoo. I don't know what 
to say now. <laughs> what can I say? Just thank you, everyone. No, I'm just kidding. The, to be honest, this highlight was really important for the major because he was kind of tie game against G2, this guy. <laughs> and and, and to, to be honest, he was really easy round. Even one before against this guy. He just was just normal round for me, kind of. <laughs> no, to be honest, it was just a good ally to play in the major. Like I said, it was a really important one. I managed to, to win this one, but for me, it's not, it doesn't matter to win this. It just we want the, the next one, and we managed to win this game. So obviously, it's a highlight, but for me, it doesn't matter. And obviously, we, why can't I say more now? <laughs> I'm done. Thank you, guys. Oh my god, both the showmen apparently on and off the server now. Yeah. It is Zyru, the only man that could be taking this one home. Not only all of the year, presented by HLTV and one expert now getting the highlight of the year. I remember witnessing this go down in person and just thinking, holy hell, how can you pull this off, Zyru? Apparently, very easy. Yeah, I mean, he, he's got the wrist going on now, you know, he doesn't need, <laughs> he really, he's got the vibes now. We have to have him more. Maybe every single time he comes, comes up with more jokes and more swag. It's just a normal round for Bro, him. He's going to steal your job next. Watch out. Oh, man, <laughs> I could be. Well, uh, you know what time it is, ladies and gentlemen. It is time to be checking in with Parla once again. And he's given us so many incredible intros. I'd like you to join me in a Parla, 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 Parla. Where are you, man? I'm here again. I'm here again. Is this a tradition now? Thank you, Freya. I will say, Matthew, though, hearing you say Riz and swag, ah, it was tough. Anyway, let's move through the crowd. It was cool, though. It was nice. All right. I think this is the final crowd check-in, by the way. You guys have been a fantastic crowd, and so many more than last year. Give yourselves a round of applause. Yanko starting off. I like that. Yanko, let me start with you, mate. Uh, we spoke on the red carpet. Uh, you also presented an award. Uh, we still got a bit more to go, but what an experience, right? Yeah, it's been awesome. Uh, I, I want to welcome everyone for coming to Belgrade and Serbia. Just thank everyone for coming out in uh, such big numbers and also give props to HLTV and Relog for putting up, you know, a great uh, event. It's awesome to see so many people come in and just have a good time and celebrate Counter-Strike. So, yeah, thank you all. Absolutely. Everybody put your hands together. Sorry about Adrian trying to steal the show, man. He's, he's obsessed with the camera. It's all right. It's been like that ever since I coached them. So. Hey! <laughs> Trace, can I get a quick word? You've told me strictly not to say hello, but I can't help myself, brother. Yeah, I mean, lovely. Thank you. Blessed. Thank you very much. What's up, Paula? How are you doing? I'm good. It's great to see you. What time did you wake up today? Bro, like 30 minutes before I had to be here. So it wasn't looking good, and I'll be honest, every time I come to Belgrade, this shit's out of control. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Crazy. I, mean, I love all of you regardless, so thanks for having me. Everyone in here, give it up for one of the best desk hosts of all time, Trace Stunner Sarantos! And as I spin and turn my attention to Lucy and Beadle, give it up for them as well! <laughs> Lucy, Beadle, great to see you here. How are you finding the event? I, I think we're about halfway through, or just over halfway through. What a, what a time so far. Yeah, it's been amazing. Obviously, the best awards have come up. The, the Women's Player of the Year and Women's Team of the Year, that's what we're all here for. So we're very excited for those. And B-Dog, what about yourself? Yeah, look, it's uh, an honor to be here. Thank you, HLTV, because first time ever attending sort of an award show. It's here for eSports. I mean, it's amazing. It is absolutely amazing. Everybody give it up for Lucy and B-Dog! <laughs> I feel like I'm doing yoga every time I'm getting into these positions. It's, it's lucky HLTV hired an athletic man, right, Alex? You're killing it, bro. You're killing it. No, talking about killing it, dude, so you were asked last minute because Taco couldn't come. That speech up there, everybody in here, that was a pretty damn good speech, right? When did you come up with that? Was it, it can't have been completely on the fly. Well, I knew I'd spoken to Simple and he said something cool and I was like, I can say that and I'll get all the praise. But it was, <laughs> it was Simple that said it, yeah. Well, Alex, it was a fantastic speech. How was it to give an award, stare out at everybody and then open the envelope? Is it, is it a tricky moment? Uh, certainly a little nerve-wracking if we don't keep clapping until they get to the stage, guys. Then they have that awkward bit where they're talking to Freya and Maniac and it's all quiet. <laughs> so you know what that means, everybody. You've got to really step it up for these last awards. Are you guys ready to do that? Yeah. Alex, thank you so much. Look, there's one guy that I'm staring at. I don't know if I'm going to get his attention. He's refusing to make eye contact with me. If we just pan the camera side slightly, Pastor Mel, Alex's lovely partner. Henry, is there any chance I can pull you out here without you? Walking on the chairs. 
<laughs> You're going to what? Stay in the seat this year. Okay, sh- so okay, go on. Well, no, I just wanted to echo the sentiment of Yanko. I think it's really important we acknowledge how special it is to be having an award show that's HLTV. It's such a name synonymous with Counter-Strike. It's no one that's just kind of going and looking for advertiser money. It's someone that cares about the game. It's really nice. Anyone in here agree with that sentiment? <laughs> Alex, thank you so much. Henry, if I swung around to the other side, is it possible or is it a flat no? It's a flat no. Everybody, nonetheless, big shout out to Henry G. He took some time away over the last year. He's been absolutely killing it. Still one of the absolute best on the mic. Give it up for Henry G. We, we, we can sh- show him. There he is. There he is. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, great. We've got some other industry people here as well. One of my oldest friends, Marcus Mod, now works at Red Bull, a prior DreamHack head admin. Things don't happen without people like him. Give it up for Mod! Marcus, how do you find the event? It's amazing. I mean, when I went to the first one, I felt that we really made it um, in esports. Um, so I'm really happy that I can be here for this one as well. And look, how how much has it stepped up between last year and now? Last year was incredible, as you said, but here we've got even more people, an even more awesome venue, larger venue. It's pretty crazy, right? Yeah, I mean, it it feels like 10 times bigger, and uh, yeah, we feel really important being here, so it's nice. Any favorite moments so far? You. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) That's an easy one. Everyone, give it up for Mod! I'm going to keep walking back. Um, I think my time on the floor is going to come to an end soon. Everybody in here, look, as Alex and many other people have been saying, what a privilege it is to be in a part of an, be, be a part of an event like this. It's a celebration of a game and a culture that, for many of us, we've been involved in. What's going on here? Is there is there like a giggle? Okay. All right, you'll have to excuse me. Um, what is your name? Hi, my name is Milan. Everyone, give it up for Milan! Okay, and uh, M- Milan, you here? What? You're part of the crew, right? Yeah, yeah I'm a uh, part of stuff. Okay, cool. Well, yeah, um, yeah I, uh, it's great to meet you, and thank you for making this event possible. Anything else that you'd like to say before I do my closing speech? Uh, I would I just like to say hello to my mother, Dushanka. Yeah. Big shout out to Mumsy. All right, yeah, that'll be it from me on the floor. Once again, just to finish what I was saying before, is a sentiment that has been echoed by everybody else. What an amazing event. Literally nothing like it in gaming and esports. We get to celebrate this game, this culture that is such an important part of our lives. And HLTV, no one's doing it better. Everybody in this room, give it up for the HLTV Award Show 2023. And a privilege to have Parla checking in with the crowd. I don't know about you, Matthew, but nobody else better than this man to be putting people under the spotlight, whether they like it or not, Henry G. Sorry about that one. Yeah, I was a little bit disappointed. I was really hoping to hear from Henry, but maybe maybe later in the night. It's always yeah, nice to get the check-ins. Maybe later on, because we do have a brief intermission before we move on to the HLTV Awards presented by One X Bet. So a chance for you guys in the audience to head outside, get some sacks. More importantly, get some more drinks, because we've got five very special categories going Going down after this break. complicated job, but I love simple things so much. One move. One push. One touch. One love. One click. One expert.
halfway through the evening. I hope everybody at home is having a good time tuning into the show. We just finished off with the panel awards. I was winning a highlight of the year. And uh, Prof, I'm, I'm tweeting a photo with Zai Wu, okay? Okay. okay. Are, are you feeling a lot less uh, stressed now that everything is rolling? Yeah, no, it's, it feels a lot better. Like, things are underway. I think everything's going okay. We didn't have any massive mess up so far. We'll see. I accept that. <laughs> Paul of destroying everyone's <laughs> ears. That was insane. He definitely gave it, uh, you know, a few decibels, didn't he? I think Paul Maniac has a good excuse if he, like, doesn't hear his, uh, his girlfriend. I saw if him immediately like pull the in-ears yes, out. Yes, yeah, yes, that's yes, understandable. Yes, yes. Now, uh, we're going to do some unofficial awards right here, Strax. So okay. I hope you're ready. I hope you get your voting ready to go. Okay. Out of the announcers, right, the uh, individuals, the players okay. who have come okay. to hand out the awards, who's had the best speech? I like Shocks the most. Okay. I think Shox was funny. Shox was legitimately great. All right. With all his right. story about just like posting a fake yeah. like forum post Shit about posting. himself. Yeah. Like that was so funny. Manipulating it's a, the it's dialogue. It's a thing that we all knew happened, <laughs> but we never heard of, like someone admitting to it. <laughs> what is that guy? That's Martin over there. Martin's almost over. He's walked a good into time. a set. You can walk Do in. Do you want to come say hi? Yeah, come take a seat. Here's a microphone for you and all the good stuff. Uh, this is uh, Martin, CEO Here's of HLTV. This is big, the boss. The big boss. Hello, big boss. Hi, guys. Are you having a good time? I mean, uh, it's been an amazing week, uh, meeting everyone, uh, old legends, new talent, uh, you guys, I mean, it's been amazing. Very good uh, vibe, I feel. Oh, yeah. Everyone uh, bringing uh, like a cherry mood to, uh, to the hotel. I mean, it's been a fantastic, uh, it's all I could dream of, I must say. So I want for everyone in Twitch chat to write one if I should get a raise <laughs> and a bonus. And yeah, but you know, it's, it's rough times. And, uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know. The esports winter and all of that, yeah. I tell you what, I'll, I'll give you a big discount on your next salary, right? <laughs> hey. Maybe 20%, right? That's Maybe not I bad. can get two for one, right? I mean, oh, uh, yeah, it sounds, sounds great. Yeah. Sounds good, yeah. Uh, well, uh, Martin, we were just having a discussion about uh, the individuals, though, the players, the legends who have come to hand out the awards, who'd given the best speech so far. They reckon shocks. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think uh, I think Element uh, I did, agree. Uh, did a really, really good job. Uh, when he was uh, like an adult speech, yeah. really thoughtful. Uh, I mean, uh, he's been away from us for, for a while. Uh, so, I mean, it's been great meeting him. I think I, I haven't seen him. I saw him in uh, Berlin for the sure. major, 2018 or something. So, I mean, it's great to see him again. It was an amazing speech. Yeah, I agree, because especially when he's talking about in-game leaders and a lot of the things he's instilling with that right there, I enjoyed that for sure. I think Adren has brought some swag. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's he's gangster. Really, he yeah. made up for, like, the lack of dress code. I guess it got lost in translation somewhere, but he made up with, uh, with the energy. So yeah, we, yeah. we can give it a I, give I must it a say, what that impresses me the most this year is that I feel like everyone is, uh, is dressing up a bit. Yeah. Like, last year, someone was coming, like, uh, you know... Like decent clothes, but this time almost everyone, especially the ladies, look amazing. Yeah, no, I even put on proper shoes for you, Martin. Yeah, so. no, no socks I can see. So <laughs> no, there uh, aren't socks. They're just little, little socks, you know. So <laughs> I, if next year you want socks, I can wear socks. Yeah, I think I'm. I think we're gonna do HLTV socks. Uh, okay. I feel like a bit of a meme. But nice socks. Yeah, so. get me some socks. Get me some men's socks. Yeah, we should have that. Yeah, totally no, have that. Anyway, the merchandise can grow because you guys, you, you're really lacking on the merch. I would say. I mean, uh, do you really want to have HTTV? Uh, yeah, you can make some cool. It could be cool. Yeah, I mean, we did like a photo exhibition this year. I hope uh, most people got it. So uh, hopefully we can put that in a book and uh, make like a yearbook uh, for everyone to, like a time capsule for everyone to, to get and have at home. Yeah, that's just upstairs from here where we are right now. Yeah. I took a look a lot earlier in the day when it was going on. And I think that was the moment for me in the day where I went, oh, this is, this is a really big deal because... I'm walking through it and I'm looking at all the moments and I'm looking through all the moments that I either got to witness in person or watch from home. And that's gone, to me, it's gone, hey, this affects a lot of people. This is, involves a lot of people and what we get to do is, is awesome. And now we're getting to celebrate that here at the start of the year. So uh, yeah, you guys have put on a fantastic show and I just get to sit here and talk about it. So uh, good job, you guys. Give, give yourself a big pat on the back. You've done great. I know this is a dream of something that you wanted to do for years. We spoke about this years ago. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think uh, the community should kind of celebrate itself. I mean, uh, it's called the HCTV Awards, but basically it's for everybody, right? This year we got the, the content creators as well and streamers and all this stuff. And I mean, it's also a big part of, uh, of the business we're in. So I'm very, very happy with how it's going. And you're getting a lot of praise out of almost every individual up there winning an award saying how good this is, right? HLTV.com. Yes, from <laughs> Edward. Yeah, I, I, he, said it, he said it twice. I kind of died a bit, but uh, I mean... Uh, it was fun. It was fun. <laughs> uh, no, but he, he did touch on something, right? The fact that the pro players are just as integrated in using the website as 
the people at home, right? Because the pro players are going on there, they're checking out maybe their own stats, you know, but they're looking into other players, looking into those details, and they're digging into the forums, having a little bit of a read yeah. about what the uh, public opinion on them is. And that's a really cool thing. I don't know how many other walks of life that really happens in, right? I mean, I feel like uh, Counter-Strike obviously has gotten more and more professional over the last few years, uh, but I still think that the like the barrier between the, the fans and uh, and the players is really short. I mean, discussions on X, on HTTV, and Twitch, and streams, I mean, it's really fun that it's a small barrier between yeah. the pros and the, the fans, right? Yeah, for sure, yeah. for sure. I think that's one of the, the good and the bad things about what we have in our space, right? You're so close to it, but you're also so close to it. So. Yeah, everything's been going great. Uh, is there anything that uh, you're unhappy with that you want to let him know about, or you save that for after the show? No, I mean, uh, I think uh, I think uh, this show. Uh, I mean, I was so happy uh, last year, one of the best days of my life. Uh, but this one, uh, even better. I mean, uh, gotta say a big thanks to my uh, my man. What's, what's your favorite improvement? Let me, uh, Sorry. What's your favorite improvement? Uh, I mean, I think it's uh, nice that uh, we got a bigger venue. I mean, uh, more people. Uh, I think uh, I think that's amazing. I think yeah. there's good good flow to the show. Yeah. I think I the whole like, uh, like the the fun video was uh, yeah. was a nice that new was touch great. to, I to that. everything. I like that so, a lot, yeah. yeah, that was a good video. Also, the emotional video. Shout yeah. out to the emotional the, video. The, the love letter. The love letters to see us go. Yeah, I mean, like when 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 the when the show started and we had the emotional video, I mean, I had goosebumps all over. So yeah. that was. Uh, I didn't cry this time, so I mean, I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah. very proud of myself. Shout out to, to the creators. Both actually came here to watch it live, so that's that's kind of cool. We yeah. also will have uh, the top 20 frag movie at the end, as we usually do. It's closed uh, down the show, a, right? With, yeah, with a with a new editor, so it's uh, it's really good. Striker watched it; he yeah, likes it, it as well. So I, I like uh, stay stay tuned for that one at the end. I mean, also just in general to update people, we will be going back to the wards shortly. We just had a little break here for everyone to have a drink. A little intermission. Intermission, as it's called, intermezzo. Use the bathroom, you know, get stocked up. Uh, yeah. The drinks are flowing. They've heard a couple of people knock some glasses over. Yeah. Were you? Uh, Knocking any glasses? No, over? no. I was. Uh, I'm trying to do to, to be an adult. I brought my wife to make sure I don't do stupid stuff. Okay. So, uh, How's that going? Yeah. I mean, I think she's doing a quite quite a good <laughs> job. Right, so. Uh, look, if anyone at home is wondering why the, the there's a couple, there's a select group of clapping going on while they're getting all the way to the microphone. That's instigated by me, Machine, and some of the other talent because <laughs> we need to keep the clapping going, guys. We need to. Yeah, they yeah. Gotta get, it's got to be all the way up there. People are losing the energy. I think that's because Parler's given it up for everybody. I mean, it's brand new. It's the second show. I mean, we all have to learn, right? It's a, it's a learning process. I'm trying to lead by example. So I'll be back in there. I'll be clapping away once we get back I in there. I will be clapping with you all the way. OK, see, now we've, uh, you need to get on board, the two of you we're as well. Good. You I control clapping, the other I side. Clapping, clapping the whole I haven't been hearing it. We're going we're gonna to sync it up. We're there gonna we go. Up. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. bring more energy. Bring everybody bring back into it. <laughs> <laughs> we have to get Banks on the other side. I don't know if Banks is going to sue me after this one, but <laughs> I hope not. You kind of saved me from Parler as well, right? He went and hit the talent side of things, just as you said, we got to go. So we got got out yeah. of that one quite nicely, so that was pretty good. So thank you very much for that, Prof. Uh, we've got Trace on a Saranthus walking around. What's happening there around. in the background? What's happening Where in the background are we looking? Oh, Anomaly has a gentleman on his back yeah. of some variety. Uh, Don is getting involved in some things. It's so uh, perfectly normal that in the watch shows, stuff like that happens. Yeah, well, we're at the moment where it should be more rowdy, right? When the drinks are starting to settle in. Yeah, I mean, let's uh, see in a couple of hours. Things will probably get the crazy. So. Well, there is an after party, which... Uh, did you organize the after party as well? Yeah, kind of, yeah. Okay, we're excited to see how that one goes down. So we still have about, what, an hour and a half worth of awards. We still have I mean, the... not even a little that bit much. Less, yeah. Okay, so yeah. the top three, we got Rookie of the Year, we got Team of the Year. And we the got, Women's uh, Awards. And the, yeah, the Women's yeah, so Player five and awards Women's left. Team. Okay, so we got a, you know, a bit of stuff to get through still, which is exciting. I think, obviously, the main one is where everybody wants to tune in and see who's number one. We're going to do Boss of the Year next, uh, <laughs> next year? I mean, every year, wouldn't you? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's the point. I mean, I got the cup at home, right? So, I mean... Yeah. Uh, Self-appointed, self-appointed. Now, uh, we had some other bits and bobs here that we could look at and talk about if we wanted to jump into. Like, we did the the players who were outside of the top 20 earlier. Do we want to whack that up again? We can yeah, maybe I mean, look we can, at... Um, we didn't really get to, to do that much about it, so we can we can take a look at... Um, yeah, so players 21 to 30. Yeah. I take mean, a it's look more at that like, again. You know, like, we, we do show, like, 21 to 30, but, like, I have to say, like, it was more like 21 to 25, and the rest is kind of, like, loosely ordered because... 
the bill of the 26, let's say, we didn't really necessarily consider them like ser seriously for a top 20 anymore, but we still wanted to do like an extended list to just kind of show people like an extended list of people who just, just were outside of that, you know? Okay, but so like the, the, the up to 21 25 to 25, 25, we had a very set because those were the people that we realistically thought, okay, that could be number 20. Okay. Or like somewhere in that range, you know? Yeah, Toji so those was were 21, just, if I remember Toji rightly. Toji was 21, Electronic 22, I think Elige was 23, yes, Rain yeah. 24, Zurchin 25. Good and memory. And then there's like Exile, SDY was the fun yes. one that we were talking about, really. NAF like was in there? Uh, NAF was just at the end of it, yeah. Uh, SDY bits, and I That's feel like I'm missing one SDY player. That's SDY would make a top 20. That like is he is realistically could have made a top 20. He got an MVP, he was like playing so well. Realistically, and also IGL and gets, gets realistically nice. like, if he had a better sample, like he had a realistic shot. He just didn't play it enough, you know. Like he only played from basically the major onwards. Yeah. And like he was good enough in there, but not like extremely good, you know, like yeah. some of the other people who just barely like kind of made it so like the sample size hurt him but seriously like he was a legit player this year like somebody who could have could have made it if he he played enough Emma yeah. was in there as well uh Emma was somewhere at, yeah. the, at the end and was exertion yeah. in there or? no exertion was 25 yeah okay it was exertion exile sdy bit uh that's 26 27 28 good, good memory you've done uh, well here man you don't have to hang with us anymore I think no i'm like you guys are way too smart of this you could just leave us if you want to go get a drink or go to the bathroom or whatever you don't you don't have to hang around anymore thank you so much boss i will i'll do it no i don't want you to sit here awkwardly you know you can no i'll just sit here for like 30 minutes no thank you for getting me on and uh do you think guys all right thank you very much thank you thank you thank you all right well uh that's martin we all love martin uh, great to have him here. Now, uh, what else were we got going on on this little list? We have something coming up. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. I mean, oh, this that's is, this right. Is, the squad of the year. I mean, that this was is basically here. this is basically kind of like a roundup of of the the, the awards the, like, we just the, saw. The, the panel awards, you know. Not like, we so just kind exotic. of wanted, <laughs> uh, We just wanted to kind of put put this together at the end of it for the squad of the year, just to show kind of like going along with the best five theme that we I don't know how much people were following along the year but we always did like best five awards for the big tournaments of the year and this is kind of like the same idea just across the entire year could and obviously this, this is based on what sorry could this team work I mean this it actually that's, could that's exactly the point of this this kind of a, these awards you know so yeah. so to put together like a five players that are were the best in the year that that could actually be in a team together and work in a role like from a role perspective you know so if you look at it, okay, like Apex is kind of like a sp oh, okay, <laughs> it's it's That's gonna be yeah. we could we, we know could what's on the screen. Yeah, 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 of course. I mean, like Apex is like the IGL plus space creator. Like you have Zai was like the star opera that makes makes a lot of sense. Nico can be like the aggressive lurk. Uh, Magisk is like kind of the the best anchor. And who am I missing and right Rops. now? Uh, Rops, Rops is, is a passive lurk. kind of like more of like a passive lurk yeah. on the other side of Nico. It could be a bit awkward with like Nico Rops on T side sometimes yeah. maybe some of these things, but. Generally, like you could actually make this team work, and that's yeah. kind of the point of these awards, you know, to make sure that we actually I'm pretty do happy awards. with that line. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, I mean, it looks very cool. You always have these awkward moments when you have like Nico, you know, making it into like an opener of the year, even though he's like obviously he's on the lurker side, but he's very aggressive lurker. Like, he gets a lot of openings, yeah. and that's why he falls into the opening category because he is very aggressive. So yeah. he's not like a traditional opener, but he d he does enough of it that he does fall into that category. Yeah, and when he goes for openings, he wins them a lot. He's right? great. So like, that's he's why very, like basically in terms of wrestlers, I think there's nobody who even comes close in terms of like his success in openings and like that. I think there was a big gap in, in that. I think like last year you could make that argument. For Yakindar, for example, right, yeah, like last year, relatively you, close. Yeah, yeah. That, that was like a really good year for him, and like being very aggressive, but also being very successful. Like yeah. that, that was that was some insane stuff. But uh, yeah, this year I think Nico did uh, so well. I mean, you were talking about this before with like the the riflers, you know, being in the top three. Like a couple of riflers we have in the top three, and like Nico is just like he's just stood the test of time in terms of like what he can bring as a rifler. You know, he can actually match up to numbers like. You know, he out out damaged Zaiwu. You know, like he was much better than him than in, in damage. He almost matched up his fragging. You know, all that yeah. stuff. Like as a rifler compared to it, like as Zaiwu, it's kind of crazy. Let's address this gentleman. Let's. Uh, you're doing, you're doing I can't really hear you guys too well, but you look phenomenal. They're gonna turn your microphone you back on, mate. No, no, you didn't turn it off. I think they got to turn it back on. Let the me. PGL Audio guy working. There working? we yeah. go. Is that what it is? <laughs> hey, you bet. Hey, Trace, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. You know, uh, you I've flew been all the way over from Alabama. I, I really did. You, did you buy this just for this award I show? I'm not going to say I bought this, but it was definitely rented. <laughs> okay, I definitely okay. rented this tux. Honestly, I like I the color. It Thanks, looks very dude. Cool, it was yeah. like yeah. a catalog. It's like a whole process. If you're a dude out there and you need to go to a formal event, 
Uh, they have like just catalogs. They, they make it stupid easy. Okay. You know what I'm okay. Saying? okay. Okay. So, no, I think you guys have put on an incredible show here. Oh, okay. I'll tell all three of you. He's really doing. He's doing all the work. I know he's doing all the work, but I want to like <laughs> spread out the love a little bit. Like, I get it. No, prof. Prof, hands down, you've done a great thing here. That, I love now, it. I brought you up here for one reason, and uh, there was a rule, Trace. Uh, there was one key rule that Prof sent out in an email, and he wanted something respected. He wanted, What's up? He wanted the seating arrangement respected, and I just want to say that you haven't been sitting in your seat this oh, evening. Now, I understand security. the dilemma here. Now, let me get down to the nitty-gritty, and I know I'm not going to do some dancing and <laughs> shit. Like, I'm not doing all that. I'll get down to it, and that Kassad didn't show up. Okay. It is past his bedtime. You guys knew that before you set that schedule. <laughs> you knew he wasn't coming. So I was like, well, it only gets weird with the two chairs. Might as well sit there. So he's but also, I don't trust myself around Henry. So you Henry, saw an I'll opening, and you went for it. I, like I said, I don't trust myself around Henry and Tom Newman. So yeah, really, that's, that's, that's very so true. So you've yeah. left me with them. <laughs> All right. Well, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Now, Trace, uh, yep. we're going to get everybody back bums in seats. Did you have any food? You got another drink? You feeling good? Yeah, you know, the, they've got the rosé cold now, which is nice. Okay, mm -hmm. that's so what you want to hear. kind of digestible. Like, again, I just I appreciate you guys having me, truthfully. All right. Thanks done an amazing out. thing here. Chad, to the studio. Well, this is the thing. We're going to get back <laughs> into it, and you actually are a host. So do you want to throw us to the break? We're going to be going into the Hatred TV Awards presented by 1X Bet after this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Give me an ISO. Where are you at? Uh, mm, I don't think you can get it one. Be, it should be this one, <laughs> Do right? the wide. If you can come to right. my seat. No, this is fine. We'll, we'll do it old school. You ready for a break, buddy? Yeah. I'm let's ready. let's do it. Let's do the damn thing. That's exactly what we're gonna do. This is the HLTV Awards brought to you by One X Bet. And of course, we've got just a few more awards to give away, so don't go anywhere. Be right back. Very complicated job, but I love simple things so much. One move. One push. One touch. One love. One click. One X bet. Welcome back, everybody, to the HLTV Awards 2023, presented by 1XBet, where you guessed it, it is time to get into the HLTV Awards. But I've got a very important question for the crowd. Have you all had a drink? Yeah. Have you all had too much to drink? Uh, James Banks, you okay? You're good? Another drink, we're fine? He's fine. If James Banks is fine, we can continue with the proceedings. Vibe check positive. So the proceedings do move us on to our next category in HLTV Awards. The Rookie of the Year, of course, an extremely prestigious category at the HLTV Awards. And before we dive into it, I'm going to address the camera. I, just talk about the dong situation for half a second here, because I can hear you guys on the forum. I can hear all of you, all right? So here is the situation. If dong had been nominated now, he wouldn't be eligible for next year. So if you're a dong fan, just be patient. Be a bit more Swiss like we are. Bide your time. Next year is going to be your time. We're going to be fine. We all love dong, OK? So everybody take it easy. Have a drink and enjoy the night. Have a drink and calm down, Matthew, because I want you to Reminisce to this time last year. Think about it. Manasi here in attendance himself, That's crowned right. Rookie of the Year. And this is a trajectory that potentially our three finalists could follow into 2024. We're talking about some players who managed to make it to a major grand final, no less, or alternatively, lifting their first Tier 1 trophy in 2023. You're absolutely right, Freya. And listen, to award this Rookie of the Year, we need an announcer. And it does feel like 
HLTV has a bit of a love relationship with French Counter-Strike, just much like a, you know, a girlfriend or a boyfriend you cannot really forget. They just want to hold on to French CS. We're going to keep on with this sort of testimony, and I'm going to bring up to the stage the maker of kings, a double major winner, the puppeteer of the French Counter-Strike. Please welcome NBK. First of all, just a big thanks again to HLTV for organizing everything. And I think more than that, there is a lot of purpose that is being given by HLTV. There's like awards, there is rating, there is everything. But every player, every photograph, every person, uh, HLTV, for 20 years, if not more, uh, gave us yeah purpose, I think, for a lot of us. So big, big thanks to, to them for everything they've created. It's, uh, it's a big honor to be part of this and to have everybody here. Um, Rookies are generally like a big, big part of uh, teams because of the driving force. When you see their talent, when you see how eager they are to win tournaments, um, it is an honor to be able to present their Rookie of the Year. So the nominees are... The finalists for the Rookie of the Year award by one Bet are... Iman. <laughs> Jim Fett. Nerds. And the winner is Nerds. Now, sadly, Nurtz couldn't be here to accept the award in person, but we do have a short video acceptance speech from him. Hello, guys. It's Nurtz from Heroic. Thanks for Rachel TV for the award. I really appreciate it. I wish I could be there in Belgrade to have fun with you, but unfortunately, I need to qualify for the major for you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Afterwards, coming out of Nurtz, but what a breakout year it's been from him. I'm just throwing it back to when we first saw him coming onto the tier one scene back at ESR Pro League season 17. We were questioning, you know, exactly what he was going to put in to the server, and it's been nothing but extraordinary coming out of him. As it feels so little, I feel like it's been a while that we had it, but no, it's not the case. <laughs> Definitely a rookie ends always on point with the recruiting. You have to give it to them, bring in these diamonds and nerds straight in that following. Incredible stuff from nerds in 2023, but now it is time to move on to our next category. Now, women's team of the year, I can tell the crowd and myself are very excited to be crowning this one because we're talking about three squads who have been exponential in 2023, but uh, one match you it does stand out above the rest. Yeah, really, I mean, listen, Neva Galaxy keep winning. It's almost a question of who's going to be second, and I feel like this year maybe there was a, a different name, right? Navi Javelins with all these finals, but just falling short of winning it. At some point, like, do we have to create suspense? I wish I could try, but there's only so much we can do. The domination is still here. It is an unprecedented domination, truly, in Counter-Strike World. Well, maybe we can create some suspense for our announcer. Now, five-time Counter-Strike World Champion, but some say she's Canada's smartest person. Others say she was the winner of Canadian Celebrity Big Brother. All we know is she's called Miss Harvey. Hi, everyone. It's uh, quite an honor to be here. Uh, so many of you faces I've seen for the last 21 years now being in CS for me. And I just can't believe we're having this moment together. Um, I'm just super proud. One thing that I want to say as well is I'm so happy 
to see all of the women faces here today who cheered for the Women's Award and who are competing in Counter-Strike. I truly believe that Counter-Strike wouldn't be what it is without diversity and without everybody in the crowd, like looking at everyone. It makes me so proud to be here today. Now we have to present the team of the year on the women's side, and I'm not gonna lie, being a dynasty is something that is so taxing and so hard. And whoever wins today, we don't know who, but they've been working really hard to create that dynasty for the last couple of years. So without waiting, let's see the nominees for Women Team of the Year. The finalists for the Women's Team of the Year Award by OneXBet are Fluxo Demons. <laughs> Navi Javelins Nigma Galaxy I was told to keep suspense, so we're gonna take our time. All right, and the winner for Women's Team of the Year, Nigma Galaxy. It's really stressful. I was thinking about this day for so many weeks, and it's really stressful to be standing here, even worse than in finals. But anyways, I will do my best representing the team, representing the women's scene. So uh, I want to start that uh, with that. It's a privilege to be standing here, you know, for the second year in a row and getting this award. Uh, the last two years, we've been winning the, all the biggest women's tournament, and I really hope that in 2024, we will continue our win streak. No, no, no. <laughs> I can see our opponent sitting there. And um, of course, I want to say big thanks to ESL Impact. Uh, because of them, we have uh, seen big. Yes, thank you. For real. Because of them, we have seen so many female players coming into the scene and uh, the competition is raising and therefore we'll see eventually the growth of the skill level. And uh, I really hope that we will see in the future, in 2024 maybe, more tournament organizers entering our scene to support us and to make our scene flourish. <laughs> and... I need to remember about my back, you know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I want to say a big thank you to our organization, Nigma Galaxy, for the big support that they're giving us and to HLTV for having us here. Thank you, everyone. It's been an absolutely incredible year coming through for Nigma Galaxy. We're talking about a team who have lost only one series on LAN this year. They've taken gold at every single opportunity. We're talking Katowice, we're talking Dallas, we're talking Valencia. Right. Talk about such an instrumental team for the women's team. Yeah, and talk about having a target on your back, right? Everybody's gunning for you, everybody's looking at your demos, trying to understand how you play the game. In the male scene, we always say it's so hard to stay on the throne. They've been doing exactly just that. They are undeniable currently the best in the game. It's been such an incredible year for Enigma Galaxy. Back to back to back. But it is time to move on to our next award. Stay together, team. Yes, indeed. Yeah, we won that one, don't we? 
best team of the year, uh, it's a little more straightforward. You, you're usually looking at results, you're looking at placings, you're looking at trophies. You can always have the odd conversation, you know, what is a big elite event? What events matter more? But at the end of the day, it's maybe slightly more objective, if you will, because the teams that lift the trophies, they are undeniable. Yeah, I guess you can look at the teams that have you know, lifted the trophies this year, and that's exactly the three we've got as the finalists in this category. We're talking about phase and netting that Intel Grand Slam. Three trophies back to back to back in CS2. We're talking about G2 taking gold at both I am Katowice and I am Cologne. And of course, Vitality taking the final global offensive major and two trophies to be rounding out the season at the end of CS2. Wasn't too bad at all, and now it's... Uh a great pleasure for me to bring our next guest. He's one of the most beloved personality we have in esports. We're talking about the MVP of Katowice 2014. He left his house six days ago on his bicycle to make it here on time. Please welcome Pasha Biceps. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am glad uh, to be here. I am even more glad I can announce the best team uh, in the world. Being the best team in the world, I'm sorry, only understand the best guys. <laughs> you don't know how much uh, love, passion to the game, training, hard work, the players need to live on the servers. Like I said, only the best uh, understand this. From the last year, this event, like uh, HLTV Awards, is my favorite event because I see a lot of uh, faces. I share my best uh, gaming moment in my career. So thank you, HLTV. <laughs> and, uh, and the last one, Valve, Counter-Strike, Mr. Gaben, please take care of our lovely game, Counter-Strike. It's not too late. <laughs> right now, it's a finalist here. The finalists for the Team of the Year award by OneXBet are FaZe. G2. Vitality. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to announce the best team in the world 20, 2023 is Team Vitality. Everyone, um, it's an incredible honor to be here on behalf of Team Vitality. I will give the stage afterwards to Dan. Don't worry, the players will speak. But first, I want to say thank you to everyone for this year. Um, this also belongs to some people that are not here today. The Danes, our Danes, this year did an incredible job, and they do deserve the applause. And then, of course, it's. It's the team, it's the staff, but also in this particular moment, it's the organization. It's the people that are usually not named. It's everybody behind the scenes, and I just want to give a shout out to everybody at Team Vitality that you know works their butt off every day, and we love you. Well, thank you everyone for voting for us. It's a, it's a good prize. Um, obviously, we had a lot of roster change, and uh, we made it work all the time. I think what made us really good is the, we had a strong core with Pinks and Zaiwu, and that made us helping to, to get the other guys 
getting into the team easily and, um, and I'm just proud of the work we've done this year. The guy behind me, I've done an amazing, uh, an amazing job, sorry. Magis as well, Dupree as well. And I want to thank everyone for, for that and, um, and yeah, that's it, thank you. I will try to be quick because as they said mostly everything, but when I founded Vitality in 2013, we wanted to win and to win like uh, relevant titles. Winning this major was a dream come true. And when we joined Counter-Strike, I think the entire company and the entire organization, uh, entire organization changed. And I think what I want to say is like, uh, Vitality belongs to Counter-Strike and we are here to stay and build our own legacy. Thank you guys. Such a fantastic year for Team Vitality. We're talking about three different iterations of that very roster, lifting five trophies across two versions of Counter-Strike. It's been an incredible year for them, to say Absolutely. the least. Absolutely. Dealing with changes. I think rolling with the punches is how you name it, of course. I guess it helps to have someone like Zai win your ranks, but we don't want to be reductionist. I think there's a system that's working, there's a structure that is working, and they've been able to integrate all of these players time and time again, three different lineups, to be our team of the year by one expert. Respect to Vitality, of course, unbiased opinion. I, I, all teams are the same for me. Uh, absolutely, but of course. I do appreciate the success they've been having. Now, I think it's time that we build some suspense, Mathieu, because two categories remain. The top three women's players of the year and the top three players of the year. But not before a short break. We'll be back in a bit. Very complicated job, but I love simple things so much. One move. One push. One touch. One love. One click. One X bet. We are back with the HLTV Awards 2023 presented by One Expert. And you know what time it is, Machu. The categories that everybody has been waiting for the top three players across both the women's and men's division. It's my, my most favorite, honestly. It's, it's why you, you tune into some of these awards, right? To see, to nominate the individual quality, the individual beauty in the game. I will never have enough of that. Without further ado, let's get into our women's top three players of the year. Three women who have had instrumental impact across the scene throughout 2023. And a chance for one of them, Mathieu, uh, to go back to back as world number one for 2023. There is a very realistic chance. You are absolutely right. We have to mention as well, Vicky's effort trying to fight back against the ogre of Nigma Galaxy is so hard to beat. There's something to be said about fatigue as well. When you're in a team that's winning on and on again, how do you maintain motivation? How do you make sure you don't get people to catch you, I think is as hard as getting on the throne. So for that, huge years, of course, huge year for these three nominees. Well, to announce this award, none other than one of the first stars in Counter-Strike, oh, a yeah. trailblazer for lurkers all around the world, and a man who wears his heart on his sleeve. <laughs> it's, of course, none other than Get Right. Hi everyone. Is everyone having fun or? Yeah, great. 
So I got asked a couple of months ago to attend this Asia 2 award once again, and also presented this award once again. And I was a little bit skeptic, mostly because I feel I was doing a miserable job last year. But then I remember why I want to do it again, because I was the first to ever get two times in a row winner of the best player of the year. So why not do it again, and also prove the fact that maybe this time, that person I'm presenting it one more time, maybe get the chance again. But I wanted to say out one more thing that I'm gonna talk a little bit about myself, where it's like this. For my whole career, I was never really spoken openly about the female industry, and I actually been supporting it that publicly. And I think that's very necessary for a professional right now, and I should step up to the plate and actually supporting it more and more, because women need more and more support in this industry, because they're great at this game, and we need to show them more love. So, I don't want to speak more because we'd rather be hearing from the winner itself. So here's the finalist of the Women's Player of the Year. The finalists for the Women's Player of the Year award by OneXBet are Anna. <laughs> Tori. And the winner is Anna. to be once again on this beautiful stage. So I want to say, first of all, thank you for HLTB to give me this opportunity to be in front of you guys. As well, I wanted to say thank you to my family, of course. They were always um, with me at the tournaments. They mean everything to me, so I want to say thank you to them as well. Uh, as well, I want to say thank you for ESL to keep my dream alive. Thank you so much, ESL, for everything that you do to me. And as well, I want to say thank you for my beautiful teammates. Um, without them, I couldn't be here tonight on the stage, so thank you so much. As well, I want to say thank you not only to my teammates, just in general to every female player for having so many great memories together, so thank you so much. And as well, I want to address something very special. I know that uh, we got some um, not so happy news for the new season, but I'm really hoping that uh, in 2024 more organizers will support us and will see that we are important for the CS community because we are. And if you don't believe me, I'm standing tonight on this stage showing this trophy to you. Thank you. Back-to-back -back top one women's player of the year for Anna, ending out the year on a 1.36 rating, which is disgusting, by the way, but such a trailblazer in her role and a well-deserved victory here. Yeah, spectacular year, spectacular numbers. You're mentioning it, and there's a word that comes to mind. is the idea of a legacy. I think this is what this player and this team is starting to build now in the history of women's Counter-Strike. It's a name that you cannot ignore. Back-to-back -back best player in the world. Honestly, hats off. One more category left for us to award, and this is a very exciting one, Matthew. It is. I'm so ready. Let's I've been get ready into the whole it. night. Nice work, everyone. The HLTV Best Player of the Year by One Expert. And let's not lie to each other, this is the pièce de résistance. That's why we're here. It's the highest honor that an individual can get. It's, it's become a title, it's become a, an item on its own. It's got its own life, being the number one player of the year. It is something that is very hyped, and we have an opportunity to 
write history today. Let's talk about the three players that are the finalists for this particular award. We've got Zaru, the potential to get his third HLTV number one. We've got Nico, obviously make it to back, to back, to back. Six years in the HLTV top 10. That's nothing to be sniffled at. It's crazy. And for Rops, already this is his highest placing, no matter where he finishes in the top three. And he's been such a trailblazer coming into CS2. He absolutely has. Uh, but before we find it, we have to have a guest. And if you guys haven't really paid attention, HLTV is trying to put together the old Titan team. I see what's happening. We've had NBK. We've had Sharks. We've had Smiths. So who else are we missing from Titan? What about this guy? Was it the magic stick? The superstar? Can we put it together for Kenny S? So to start um, and finish the evening, I would like to thank Ashel TV for that great event. And as Nico said earlier, for everything they've been doing for, for CS, um, amazing. Remind them that they're missing one of my medals. So um, yeah. Uh, also Relog for the production, amazing guys. Um, so. Yeah, player of the year, which is the, the best you can get, I guess. Um, beyond the fact that you get the player of the year and the best player of the season, you also mark a generation. You mark um, uh, yourself as one of the most iconic players in the history of Counter-Strike, which is quite amazing, right? Um, so let's move on with the nominees. The finalists for the Player of the Year award by 1xbet are... Rops. Nico. Zaiwu. What a great honor it is for me to give it to Mathieu Zero Herbo. Guys, I need help now. I don't know what to say again. No, actually, I'm really proud about winning this, uh, this title again. It's my third time, and obviously, it's, we are close. We're simple to, in this cycle, kind of. And I'm really proud to have this, and winning this title again. It's, it means a lot, but also, I want to thank my team, because alone, I cannot win this. I mean, I'm not 1v5 every month, so. Obviously, it helped me a lot to, to win this trophy, but oh, I cannot, uh, I mean, what can I say? Without Vatai T, I'm nothing, Kanda. So I want to thank Vatai T, my teammates, all my teammates too this year, because obviously we lost some during the, the way. But I want to say Vatai T, thanks my family who helped me a lot to, to be myself every day, to, to having fun, to have everyone on stage, to, to have a smile, to, to be myself and just to be me. Thank you, guys. A 
such eloquent words, as always, coming from Zaru. As he said, his third year as the top one player in HLTV's world rankings. And I mean, it was such a decorated year for him, right? His first major trophy hoisted above his head on home soil and such an established player. Well-deserved victory. An incredible year, you're right, reaching the major. That's something that we all wished for Zaiwu as well. Uh, we can talk about his cultural impact, but what about today for Zaiwu indeed? I'm just thinking of G2, they've seen this clutch like seven times. It's seven times they've seen this clutch. I, I understand you guys. We had to play it once more. But again, what a year from Zaiwu. Huge, and I really hope next year brings more of the same quality of the Counter-Strike and we keep on writing history. We keep on pushing the boundaries and the barriers of the game because individuals like these, the Nico, the Zaiwus of the world, they create what Counter-Strike is. They make us excited about watching the game. They give the passion to the game. That's for you guys. Congratulations. Oh, I mean, if there's anything to go by with Zaru, it's only going to continue to get bigger and better. Yeah, we had the first four maps in CS2, which some people took as gospel, but then Zaru, you know, he flipped the script, and he is certainly here to say, Matthew. Oh, I hope so. I'm ready. You don't need to convince me. You're preaching to the choir. We were already sold. Well, that does wrap up the action for the HLTV Awards 2023. Up here on the stage, at least, presented by One Expert. I want to say thank you so much, Matthew, for being my dear co-host tonight. Thank you so much to the HLTV production staff as well, and, of course, One Expert. And most importantly, everybody in the crowd, because uh, we've got an after party to go do, right? We'll see you all there, but not before we head back down to the couch with Chad, Stryker, and Prof. Player of the year, author of the year, player of the year, his third time being the first in the world. Uh, congratulations to Mr. Zaiwu. Uh, couldn't happen to a nicer guy, could it? And he's a bit of a beast in the server as well. So that wraps up uh, all the awards, gentlemen. The night has come to its close. Yeah, I mean, we even saw Zaiwu practicing his speech giving. Like, he had uh, three outings tonight just. So I feel like as the night progressed, we see him uh, get better and better at it. So that, that's amazing. Which worked yeah. out perfectly with uh, the most important award being the final one of the evening. So, uh, yeah, quite a feat. Uh, three number one placings in the World Striker. Him and Simple, huh? Yeah, and I mean, he also has two number twos in the five years he's been at the tier one level. It's so, so he's crazy. literally been a top two player for every single year he's been here and matched Zywoo's triple, you know? So that, it's, uh, it's that, that's no small feat. That stat right there is insane, right? Because he debuted in 2019 at number one. Yeah. Right? He started yeah. at number yeah. one. You kind of set the bar extremely high, don't you? I yeah. mean, it's one of those things where, you know, how in football they do with a Levy Ashen award for like the goalkeeper or whatever. Right. It yeah. could be the Zaiwu award for the rookie, right? Sure. Because we never yeah. had something like this. It doesn't make sense because he's playing right now, but yeah. let's say in a few years it could be that's how we call it, right? Yeah, just the absolute phenom it is. So congratulations again to him. Congratulate to, congratulations to all of our winners this evening. Uh, it's been quite a night. And now, as everybody can see, uh, everyone's head now. There will be an after party going down. Yeah. All that fun stuff to happen still. But uh, yeah, you can see everyone getting a bit rowdy come the end of the night. Yeah. The drink's definitely flowing. There's some, some more canapes. I saw you two having a bit of a nibble before making your way I here. Mean, I actually don't know when I ate last, to I be honest. I have been needing to take a leak for the last like four hours. <laughs> so, you know, I might get a bathroom break after this. It's the it's classic. Good. You just get carried by the by the energy and adrenaline of the of the event that you don't know what's happening. Hello. It's the G unit, Henry G himself. Do you want to say hi? Come on, come on, sit down. Do we, come even, on, have a sit down. Do we even get a microphone? Ah. I don't know if we have mics. To, <laughs> I don't Can know you just if we have sit mics there here. and be pretty? Just be, just be just, pretty. Just hang out. How's it going? Hey. <laughs> uh, I, don't know if we, I don't know if we have... Well, the microphones will come at some point, I'm sure. Hopefully. Yeah, but there, there's so many people coming out that I don't there feel production. Go. Oh! oh that was quick. What's That's up, good. guys? Save. Great show tonight, Save. by the way. Hello. Really nice stuff. Real smooth. Enjoyed? This is this is iconic. This is historic, almost, I would say. This is great stuff. You're in Stockholm as well. Yeah, competitive Stockholm, this blow, it's been blown out of the water. Really? This, yeah, okay. you blown out of the water here. I like the fact you guys are kind of doing like subsidiary stuff. You're kind of like, you guys are not part of the show. Like before you were part of the show, right? You were in the background yeah, in between. Yeah, community awards you and stuff. Make, yeah, yeah stuff. No, it's, a, it's nice. It works really well. I've, I've really enjoyed it. Like, look at look at this. Everyone's scrawny here. Yeah. Love you, love, love you. <laughs> love you, love you a lot, actually. 
And congratulations to Chad as well. Oh, thank you very Another much. Another award in the cabinet. Uh, you know, we just get in Malta, they just keep growing, mate. Exactly, we, yeah. Alex, we, we, we breed winners out there. in Malta. That's what we do. <laughs> He's a stag right there. I love that. It's working great. No, but it's great to, uh, you, like, it's great to get the, the larrikins out. You and obviously Stunner, and we got Tom Newman sitting there. And, you know, you know we're, we're making sure we kept the claps going for everybody. We Dude, weren't, I, we weren't Alex and I were playing a game. It was, was like, who could keep the clapping the longest? The last segment, I have to say, I was putting in the claps. See? I was putting in the claps. Me too. Me too. I wanted to see who could clap the longest before it got awkward. I was always the last if you hear <laughs> clapping at the end that was always me so I, was, I was clapping it the hardest I, I was clapping the hardest going for, but I feel like I got it to like the most awkward point just before they started talking I kind of nailed it now who was your favourite speech of the evening Henry oh it's a good question actually I think Element to be honest with you hey. I think he he found a very poignant a sort of balance. a poetic sort yeah. of vibe to it right like I thought yeah. that was really interesting uh, I think a lot of people at home don't really know how iconic he was as a player us growing up probably you as well like Element was the guy like yeah. even as me as a source player like it was a that was the guy you, you looked to I was like looking he at, was the pro I was looking at Twitch chat and it was like 50% who and 50% exactly right. goat like, well, that's yeah, guy, which is, is kind of cool the guys like with Forrest get right and Element they were the guys who inspired me to go pro so that, that was a that's really cool. cool moment for me that yeah, was yeah. awesome yeah, and it's good as well to have like a lot of the, the older heads who have been doing it for a long time with that transition, like Adren and Edward there for some of their speeches. Uh, quite funny as well, you know. Yeah. Adren was actually killed it. Yeah. Adren was fucking great. That's he a was big really swag awesome. about it. Uh, so, uh, the leather jacket as well. Kind of yeah. killed it. Kind of stole the show with the leather jacket, yeah. to be honest with you. That was sick. But no real surprise, right? So we were taking him number one. He's been the best player in the world for this whole year. I don't think there's any conversation about that. Striker. Now, there was something you said in the green room. Do you yeah. want to say about the Zywu? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we were just looking. Because this is a big one, Henry. Cop this. Yeah, I mean, we were thinking about, like, this morning, we were talking to Peter about, like, okay, like, historic top uh, top 20s and, like, the number one race, basically. And we kind of, we figured out that this is the most, this is the biggest gap between the number one and number two player, like, ever, basically. Like, that's how dominant Zywu was. Obviously, you know, with simple kind of, I don't want to say falling off. I think he was still like at a very high level, but obviously also skipped out a part of the year. You know, maybe there there is obviously a step down. You know, from yeah. the simple that we know, and so like the gap this year just was massive. Like I even was looking at the like the prediction game numbers, and I think 97% people said Zaiwu was going to be number one. And I mean, just it couldn't get more obvious. You know, like it couldn't really build up the suspense. Everybody knew it was going to happen. Imagine, yeah. imagine how the workshop is going to feel when we actually have like a good race for the good, good one, That's yeah. going to be fucking. Right, and we don't actually know because a lot of the time we have a pretty good idea like yeah. who it's going to be. It's going to be great when it isn't. Stop making the stats public. If you if you guys actually start <laughs> hiding the stats, then we won't know. Yeah, you know, take can, it away from us. We can also look at the whole top 20 right now. Yeah. Okay. It's so. Re reveal number two and number three, essentially, right, for the yes. people at home. So Nico coming in second place, Rops coming in third. Yeah. Great to see Riflers embedded in the top three. Justice Good for point, Riflers, actually. Henry. Is, is it more because of CS2, or are we talking about uh, like CS2? I mean, what do you reckon? Say, what does he think is well, leading into? Strike is the man to ask these questions. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. Obviously, Rops, like, you know, making the push for number three, that's probably a big part of it, because obviously, you know, that, he, got, right. well, he got a couple of MVPs but Nico's from that, a mortal, so. But yeah, Rops, that's definitely, I think that's right. Exactly. Like, he kind of, I feel like, if it hadn't been for CS2 and the, the domination of Rob towards the end, maybe it would have been possible that he wouldn't That's be in the top point. three, you know? Maybe want to see would have been the number three I'd love three to see some Pius that high as well. What a, an epic year he's had. What a, like, what a showing he's had in terms yeah. of being like clairvoyant, being one step ahead of the game. Like he's one of my favorite players to watch right yeah. now. Great to see him get his flowers in that respect. And Simple first time in the top well, 10 six, as well. That's yeah. ridiculous. Didn't play, what, the last four months of the year and still up there, like... Uh, what, a, what an amazing career. Shiro as well, leaving Cloud9. Like, really great to see like the big names still uh, standing at the top there. Really yeah. an amazing year of Counter-Strike. So what's the difference, uh, striker, between number two and number three? I think there, I mean, towards, obviously there was a massive gap, number one to number two. We kind of, like, everybody knew that that was going to be where that was going to go. I feel like the number, like, number two to number five wasn't super, like, a massive difference. But I think Nico and generally was very obviously the second best player of the year statistically. I mean, he okay. even out-damaged Daewoo. He had like literally the number one damage. He had like number two kills per round and a bunch of these other stats. I would have to look, look up uh, at the sheet, you know, but it is like if you can go into the article, go into the graphic and you just look at Nico's stat sheet and compare it to Ropsis and even Monacy's, you know, who was maybe closer statistically but didn't have the awards, you know, just compare them and you can see like Nico is just quite far ahead of them, you know, sure. in a lot of the statistics. So I think from that perspective, you know, playing in terms of elite events, playing against the best teams, like top five teams, all these stats, like he basically kept up his level against on like an average one as well. <laughs> Just like. From one to drink, <laughs> apparently. Yeah, we've got the rack here. Pass it along. No, no, no. Yeah, we are. One one I'll take one of those. Okay. Yeah, 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 pass it along. Pass it along. Pass it along. Here, one more. There we go. Go on him. All right. Give one shot nah, as well. One nah, more. I guess no, I have to. I can't. 
I great speed. I can imagine. Hell of a Euro counter strike. <laughs> Oh, it props having a little sidebar Ke chat. Kenny right? says Henry, it's the speech. Hell of a year of counter strike. Hell of an HLTV. He's doing a speech. Oh, who's doing a speech? No, okay. you are. Oh, okay. I can't even go. I just look. Hell of a year of counter strike. Yeah. Hell of a show here at HLTV. You guys are once again killing it. Thank Jesus you so much for having us. It's been a fucking pleasure. Yeah. To counter strike in 2024. I hope you can all join us once again as we roll it right back. We've got a major right around the corner. And uh, yeah. To Counter Strike Cheers. and to the future of do this we, amazing game. Do we game. neck this or what? Yeah, yeah we do. Yeah, we do. Right. Oh, <laughs> responsible amazing. drinking. Oh, everybody. That, that's what we're talking. Oh, the white see, socks the out the tonight, Chad. You like that? I do like. I got <laughs> the big no white socks, socks out. Then you were wearing wear... sockless. Yeah, well, you actually, it's kind of cool though. I should have done that. The ankles out. You got the sleeves out. Okay. Well, look. Oh, here we go. So these were the community uh, voted events, Henry, over the course of the year. So Blast actually absolutely snowballed the competition. Yeah. It wasn't even close. Yeah, these are the votes from Twitch while the show was live. Essentially, for every category, we just had uh, people voting. Oh, the, while the show was live? Yeah, through a Twitch okay. uh, plugin ad site. So uh, we had some ads for it uh, if people caught it. Oh, so no, Pixel. So, 69%, so suck him dry. I can, I can, I can also tell you that <laughs> uh, for the streamer of the year, deserve. actually, when we had the voting on the site, he won super hands down. Like, really? He had 40% out of like 10 people that were yeah. that were voted. So that was a landslide victory there. Obviously, Gallus is not going to get <laughs> votes on our stream when 15,000 people are That's watching true. Gallus. That's true. So that doesn't make sense. But still, on HLTV, on a pixel, like swept the vote, which shocked me. Like I still expected, like there's a lot of Brazilian fans on, C on HLTV. So... And then creator of the year, like Nate King voted on, on Twitch, number one. Okay. How many votes and did Henry G get for talent of the year? No, you know, <laughs> what do you reckon? Was, that, was it low for Henry? No, no, but the, the, you this weren't like there. The top just a finalist. We this do is just know the, top the overall here. votes. Okay. The prof probably has them somewhere. Yeah, I have it. Did I get like, what, 3%, maybe 2%? Uh, I can show you later. Yeah, maybe. it's low, right? It At low. the after party. Yeah, it was all right. <laughs> We're going to make sure you back. You're not the last. Oh, that's good. Okay, yeah. thank you for telling me. Okay, I see that Mate. means a lot. That means a lot. Honestly. Harry and Hugo uh, didn't even make the list. That's yeah. They should have been there instead of me. To be fair, but it okay. means a lot being last. Okay, okay. we have Thanks. more. Okay. Okay, Kerrigan. Well, I just did out for well, Okay, I guess because this is a popularity what contest the? against Zyra versus Monacy. Come on, Hold like, up. that's way Own too close. Oh, the Pixel one anchor of the year. Okay. <laughs> what a, okay. an achievement. Don is going to be happy in with their uh, major qualifier tomorrow with uh, anchor of the year. True. True. Uh, closer but Rob's, Rob's, yeah. Rob's still, but the upper close close upper uh, voting <laughs> that surprises me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, look, Monty got a big cheer in there. I think when he, his name you was can also out. think of like Zaiwu is not playing the op that much yes. compared to other operas. Yes. So that's why like, I, I see the argument for saying Monacy, who is more op-centric than yes. Zaiwu. Yes, right, yeah, right. yeah, but yeah, that's fair enough. What else we got coming up here on the board? Uh, opener, opener of the year, oh. Nico. Yeah, fair enough. That was also a landslide. That's a obviously. landslide. And yeah. fair enough. I mean, if you look fair at the top, top 20, he was number two. Those two guys were just outside of the top 20. So Very I mean, classy very as well for Nico to say, you know what? If I got second place to rain, I wouldn't mind too much. The classiest <laughs> yeah, finish yeah, 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 yeah. ever. Yeah. Uh, the classiest yeah. finish I have to say also, really An like Anna speech, like the, oh, the yeah. mic drop at the end, That's so true. fucking good. I love that. I, I'm going to be honest, I'm nodding along here, but I was already sitting out here getting ready to do this segment, <laughs> so I couldn't hear anything that was going on for the right. last two speeches, so I'm going to, I'm going to have to go, go back and watch them on the stream. Yeah. Uh, do we have any more of those, Prof, coming No, uh, that's it. Okay. We have the top 20 frag movie to close out the show, and that's, uh, that's it. Okay, so uh, all in all, uh, I guess at this point, if, do we have any loose ends that we need tying up? I'm no. just having a quick look no, around. I, I can go get someone if you want. No, no, you want, no. You want any uh, special guests? I'm just seeing if we saw any like faces, someone illuminating the room, someone who wanted to get involved. But it looks like everyone's enjoying the shindy, the conversation, and that's where this thing's going to kick yeah. on to. So I think this is a perfect uh, opportunity here for us to kind of set things up for 2024. Obviously, we have the uh, open qualifiers for the major that are already going. They're even yeah. live probably right now. Uh, so Counter-Strike has already started for the year. We are well and truly underway. The Major is just around the corner, only three months away. But let's focus in on now uh, and celebrate what we had because we had the 10 years of CSGO, uh, the, the highlight video, the, the love letter. Fantastic stuff and great memories that we've all been involved in, whether it's you know just CSGO, whether it's CS Source, whether it's 1.6, all of that. This is our life and it's great to get to celebrate that in this type of environment. Uh, and yeah, the praise that HLTV has gotten this evening it's, uh, it's been massive, right, for putting on something which I don't think any of us ever thought we would be seeing in this space. 
especially you know, 10, 15 years ago. And Prof's been the man tasked with making all of this happen. So Prof, you put on an absolute banger of an evening, mate. Thank you. I, I just want to say thanks to everyone that's watching at home. Thanks for everyone that's co-streaming. Thanks for everyone, all the announcers that come, came out, people that came out on their own dime, all of the players that found time. I know it's super hard to find time in this hectic schedule that people have, but I really appreciate everyone coming out. I know not everyone could for different reasons. I just hope we have even more people next year. And it's, uh, it's amazing to have you guys here. Like We work on the show every week and to be able to do something like this. And uh, yeah, thanks to my creation crowd over there. Like Thanks to the Relog guys, like Yuri Chem, who I met like in 2015, putting on like lens in Croatia. And we're doing this now. It's, uh, it's really amazing. Apex. And thanks to HLTV. And thanks to 1xBet for supporting us to, to make this possible. And that's one of the keys. And uh, look, the man of the moment. Uh, do you want to have a chat in the mic here, Dan? I come between you guys. Yeah, come no. on. Prof is just... I'm, I'm, I, I thought I was fit enough to be between, but not. Oh, well, you've been working out. What? You've been working out, mate. Yeah? Yeah, I saw the shirtless picture. You got the little the, the six-pack showing. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to be healthy as well. It's not an easy task with all the trouble. Yeah. With everything, but I'm trying to be... Uh, I think with the late carriers, it matters even more. Okay. So for me... I think the sport and everything is... Uh, actually, I've done the best tournament of my last five years in uh, World Finals. Okay. So oh, I yeah, think you had a great tournament. It means something, man. maybe. So maybe on the way up with the stats, Dan. Ah, like maybe not that high. <laughs> I, I, next I, year's top 20. How old are you? No, I'm, I'm 30. 31, so, 31 in a month. next year. Yeah, but... Okay, I have four amazing players around me, and I prefer... If they are amazing, I will win everything. If I'm amazing... Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Blame have been uh, 120 rating this year. I think it's better as in game leader to have your player shine than yourself. And that's uh, stuff, sure. Yeah, Look at Kerrigan. He won so many things as well. He has one of the worst ratings, but who cares? As long as you win, right? Winning. Yeah. And you won a lot tonight, mate. Yes. Think about all the trophies that Vitality have taken home. It's been quite a successful evening. Yes, yes. Actually, um, even though we knew that we had like high chances to win a lot, you're never sure. You don't know what's the vote. You never know if you're going to win or not. Myself first. As I, as I said in the interview, I think that what's true is some in game leaders, I feel, are maybe underrated by their work. People always uh, put me like uh, because I have Zaiwu. That's true. He's the best player in the world without the doubt. But it's not only about that. It's on no. It's what's tough with having a lot of SAS players, it's managing to make the, it work all together. Having the four guys playing well together, which is hard. Yeah. And uh, I think Oxy also, as I mentioned in the interview, the last time before 2022, G2 won the trophy. I was in G2. It was Dreamhack Marmo. Yeah. This guy won three trophies in like eight months. And I think he doesn't have the recognition that he, he should get. And uh, I think some, some in game leader gets easy organization, some other don't. And I think uh, this guy is part, and I'm also part. And I'm so happy to win this this year. And hopefully, uh, my goal is to keep it for next year, obviously. Yeah, OK. Well, we're going to be kicking off very soon. We were just kind of uh, looking at getting into the major that's just around the corner here, obviously, defending champions about to get underway. Does that feel quite nice going into the next one, knowing that you are the best team in the world right now? Well, it's not an easy task because um, I think that it's really hard to come back from a break when you're the best and being the best again. Target on the back. Exactly. So I put a lot of pressure on the players. You know, I just told them we had a, tr a few pictures with the trophies and everything. And I said, today ends 2023. Tomorrow we're nothing. And we have to build everything to get those trophies again. So I expect all of you to grind and give everything to, to get those ones again. And... I think that's what it is important because it's, it's a way to get up, but when you go down to get up again, it's really tough. So don't dig too much and get up as soon as possible. That's what I told him. You got a young, hungry team around you, right? Like you think about the players around you. Sure, Zywo has been one or two in the world since he started playing in 2019, but the rest of them, like Mezzi, sure, he's had a couple moments, but realistically, this is the best team he's been in, and the same for the rest of them. Sphinx and Flames, he's only been on the scene for a small amount of time as well. So you've got a team that's really hungry to win. 
So I feel like with that target on the back, you might be uh, in a good position because they want to win just as bad as they did earlier in the year. So you're, you're in a lucky spot. Yes, but I think that when you're young, when you win, you think it's normal. It's getting normal. Okay. You win one event, you win two, three events, you're like, okay, we're the best. But you don't think the other way that you have to still grind because, as you said, you have a target on your back. Everyone wants to kill you. Everyone wants to strike you. Everyone wants to fuck you up. So you have to manage to do new things, to invent new things, new, new strats, work as much as possible, being sharp individually to, to not let them win, win those. And I think, of course, we're going to lose some games. And it's, it's Counter-Strike, it's high level. It's the way it is, but what I want for my players is to give the best. And we might be the best in 2024, maybe not. But if we give our best, I know we have high chances to do it. And that's what matters for me. So are you guys going in with the goal to win like Katowice or is the goal to win the major? <clears throat> of course, when you did 2023, of course we won only the major. We didn't win Katowice, we didn't win Cologne. We had only one major, unfortunately. I think we will have high chance to win a major if we were at the end of the year. But for now, we want to do better. So if you see, you, want, you have to win one of Katowice or Cologne in the major. So that's the goal of the team, of, your, of course, and, uh, and we're working out for that. Thanks God for once, we started a bit earlier than yeah. before. So we have more practice days and uh, it's good. It's good to have, we had a three weeks break, which is amazing. I really enjoy that. And hope, uh, hopefully we're gonna use those to get even better for next year. Awesome, all right. Well, congratulations on your evening. Thank We've you, thank successful. you for, for doing the, the, that show as well. I mean. Last year it was really tough for us to come because we were in a boot camp with our monster coach. We couldn't attend because we had a lot of struggle in 2022. So yeah. we had to, to keep working to get better. But yeah, yeah this year, uh, hopefully, uh, I'm going to come every year until I'm invited. Maybe at 60 years old, <laughs> I will see the uh, ICI TV Awards because it's such a nice show. It's good to see everyone. See also like all the old French faces that we, 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 we saw today. For me, just a pleasure to see my old teammates. So thank you, everyone, and thank you, guys, for hosting this show. Awesome. All right. Well, uh, we were just having Prof, who was, uh, you know, giving us a bit of fun stuff. We just had that from Apex as well. Have a good evening. We'll see you at the party. Cool. Have a good night. And, uh, yeah, let's wrap it up now, because everybody at home is probably waiting for this Frag movie, right? Waiting to watch. Uh, you said there's a new editor. Zodiac. Zodiac. People know him. Okay. Yeah. A new editor here. Okay, well... Uh, this is going to be it. This is the end of the HLTV Awards for 2023, brought to you by 1xBet. It has been a pleasure of an evening to get to kick the year off in style. Everybody dressed to the nines. Prof, HLTV, all the gang here making this possible. Striker grinding away with the likes of Petter and so what uh, to get things done for the top 20. It's been a great night. I hope you've all enjoyed tuning in here at, uh, well, twitch.tv slash hltv.org, because that's where HLTV will be confirmed. We'll be back pretty damn soon. But let's get into the Frag movie, shall we? Good night.